to successful trading. Hey, good morning, good morning, everybody. And uh, first and foremost, uh, happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there and to everybody who are enjoying this holiday. I really, really appreciate your service. Today is November the 11th, 2020. We are coming to you live from Southern California, where it's currently 6.18. Yes, not you, the usual five something. So the idea today is to do a day live trading session. I have no idea how the session is going to go. Either the session is going to be short because the market is not moving that much, or maybe there are going to be opportunity. But in any case, if you are new and this is the first time on here, uh, hopefully you will get to learn something and take uh, something out of this session today so thank you for being on here uh i see beautiful gates on there and a road 142 if somebody could just uh, um, indicate uh help me out with the quality of the sound somehow if it's acceptable we have been known to have some issues on here the markets will be opening in 10 minutes um thereabouts at 9 30 eastern time that gives us the opportunity to we do quick checks on here to see where is everything uh fall well falling or starting is about to start on here so we start with uh, let's say the one and only qqq <laughs> hey mr mickey <laughs> mr mickey it's uh an international <laughs> jet setter <laughs> it really it was like yesterday he was enjoying uh, uh the good the good scenery along the atlantic ocean in the beautiful city of Douala. Now he's back in the 531 area code. <laughs> so good for you. So glad to glad to have you back. Hopefully um, you, the, your trip uh, was satisfactory on all aspects. All right. So QQQ, I want to take a look at the chart of QQQ because yesterday, if you were not with us, uh, if you didn't see the video, uh, there was a great trade yesterday. A 20 bagger on QQQ that uh, was just one of those uh, on expiration day. I mean, we there's potential to, to make money, right? Because we trade very cheap contracts. So the contract we're trading was the 390 uh, puts on there. So when the stock hits uh, the low here, uh, yes, you can see the charts are three. The low was on this. What, what time was this? Uh, 2.40 Eastern time, 11.40 Pacific time. Uh, and But here, right, from the beginning of the day yesterday, uh, well, not really from the beginning of the day. They took their time. They, they have been doing that. This is a five minute uh, chart. So we have a little bit more candles than we would like. So, but let's say, let, let me make it do this. Let's go do this. And this is really, for those who are new on here, uh, one thing that you could take out of this session today, uh, at least an introduction to chart analysis with just a basic, basic concept on here, right? So we gap down, the market quickly could gap down yesterday uh, from... Uh, 395.26 closed the previous day to yesterday morning Wednesday opening at uh, 392.47. They put in a low, the stock put in a quick low um, 
on that first candle at 391.04 and then reverse the next four candles and a lot of stock have this pattern by the way uh the stock that have this pattern and stock that are part of qqq uh two in particular that uh i was trading yesterday yes i do not always trade tesla but there are times where i do trade tesla <laughs> maybe i can will tell you the story of why did i uh, why did i trade tesla and how did i trade tesla yesterday my my trade on tesla I always stand by. So let me show you the chart of Tesla and Nvidia. How the mirror QQQ to the T, right? So you you go and do your 15 minute chart on Tesla yesterday, and uh, I mean we, I can even do side by side, right? uh, side by side or a dual screen, split screen on here. So on the left hand side we have Tesla 15 minute chart, and here instead of Amazon, Amazon didn't go yesterday. Well, it went, uh, but uh, afterwards, right? I mean, they all were following QQQ, but uh, initially the, the the initial outbursts were not that much. Uh, but keep an eye on Amazon. I think Friday uh, there, there could be a surprise on Amazon. So we want to look at QQQ here on the 15 minute next to this one. So this is the 15 minutes of QQQ here. So the, the day start here, 6.30 Pacific. Uh, you guys cannot see that, that's bad. Let me see, let me let me move it. Okay, so if I move it a little bit here. So, and then this is what I'm sold, right? So it's on the right-hand side chart. The left-hand side chart is, is Tesla. How do we know that? Uh, because on the top here, I can show you Tesla. So notice the first three candle the mirror i mean the the, the size is right, slightly bigger so uh in here yeah uh definitely uh the same type type of move and throughout the, the rest of the day so coming back to this one on here this one how will you trade this one you will trade this one using a very uh, basic indicator that's really uh popular vwap uh below vwap posting lower lows this first candle here at uh, 11 30 eastern yes we are below vwap uh, but they took their time. Actually, immediately the next candle, they retest of VWAP, close above VWAP. So what do you do in that case? You are patient. Why? Because the yellow line exponential moving average eight period is still resistance and it acts as a great resistance from that point on. Patient, patient. So let's say entering this trade here, but actually entering this trade here is not yet a confirmation because we needed a candle that actually lower than 392.83, the low of this candle. This candle didn't do that. So the first time where we have such scenario is really these two candles here. We are below VWAP and then the next candle is posting a lower low. So perfect. Entry at 12.30 Eastern. And then all after 30 minutes, you will have seen pretty much what was to come. Because here, this huge candle here made a lot of money. And then after that, really just the downtrend all, all the way. Uh, this here, actually the last candle here, 15 minute candle here, there was a 10 bagger here uh, from 389 to 390. Yes, I was speaking with a trader yesterday about this in the coaching session. So this is how the door went yesterday. Of uh, Now, from a daily chart perspective, this morning the stock is gapping just above um, the yellow line EMA 8, right? For me... Yesterday in pre-market, I spent time scrutinizing a number, 392.80 there about, yeah? And when we started yesterday, that's pretty much where it started pretty much around the same. Look where we, we it's, it's allegedly starting today. So 392.5, 392.8 there about. As long as we are below that, the trend still remain bearish for me. So that's that's the, 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 the price of admission today is, okay, what's the direction of QQQ, bearish or bullish? So again the you can use that yellow line as reference overall or on the daily chart but uh, we will that's what uh, we we came out here to see what's going to happen that stock that are gapping that stock that um moving in pre-market let's quickly set you up with that so these are the movers on here has has my screen on here let me make sure that we can see that i mean the stock affirm holdings is just one of those stocks. i guess they don't want it to come down right uh, three red candles over the last three days especially with a huge gap down yesterday and this morning complete reversal plus 24 percent how do you trade this i don't know <laughs> i don't know so <laughs> i haven't traded this actually uh, just 
I mean, some of the, the, the stock, the, the implied volatility and the cost of the, the contract is just so much. I was looking at er, earlier, if you were yesterday closing at what? This thing closed at 138 or 135 yesterday. If you were to buy the 170 calls, you needed over a dollar 50 or something. Is, is that true? Let, 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 let me check that again. So, yeah, some of these stock uh, options are very, very expensive. So, yeah, the call on... So yesterday close one was 133.53, right? So yeah, the 170 calls, which this morning you you are waking up and are almost there, five dollars away from being in the money. You needed um, one dollar forty-five thereabouts. That's just the type of risk that you will want on today. So uh, this morning is gapping up. So far it's gapping open. It is gapping up. Uh, up. As well if we go maybe more interesting more interesting stock that we are more familiar with down the berry side folks be warned this trade I uh, shame on me I didn't think that's one <laughs> mr. Nick hopefully you took the trade on uh, be one because you could have traded this one yesterday and um, made some money I think uh, just the minus 3% yesterday and try they gave 150% gain but for us we were definitely talking about uh, the 70 in the 70s puts yeah right right now the stock is trying to go above 80 but i've seen this one on uh, which one did we see this type of thing on peloton maybe today is nothing but tomorrow and monday oh yeah definitely i'm going to be aggressive put uh, buying some puts on, 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 onto this because if the stock is doing something new for the first time another stock uh, dear to, well dear to us another stock well-known stock that was gapping down here i thought i missed it so here's the chart of disney so i need to adjust a little bit here the chart of Disney, this is what Disney is doing. Major gap down. Yeah, three month low. Interesting. I mean, and it doesn't seem as if there's support in sight, right? Because this stock yesterday was minus 4%. This is not minus 6.5%, folks. This is just wow. So basically, earning has been feast of famine. I've been saying that all along, meaning, hey. Every single stock now that's going into earning either, most of them actually have been seeing a bearish move. I think the only stock that really did something bullishly was Qualcomm last week. But most of the other ones that we are tracking, we have uh, a quant analysis data that I will share with some of you here uh, shortly. So they, 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 they were bearish. So, uh, so let's say hello to more people who just joined as we are one minute from the opening session. So we say hello to, uh, the name here is Sylvia Array, but, so uh, she's known to me as, uh, the, the queen of, uh, Jollof Royce, uh, no, Jollof Rice, Jollof Rice, <laughs> Jollof Rice, which I still have not tasted. Yeah. I say less. <laughs> so if you have, uh, for those who are joining for the first time, if you have, so we are going to trying to do as long as we can or as long as the market will be interesting if the market whenever it start getting boring i will be talking about shibu i will be talking so i need to update you on my purchase of Chi of shibu <laughs> <laughs> and what i've done since i last posted on that so i will do a screen capture and then post it in our discord and share with some of you i mean and then we will depart whenever the market stops showing us anything so if you have a stock of interest type it on here on the live chat I'm going to be using uh, the, the multiple a screen, well, the multiple screen, the multiple view that I have of uh, trading view to just keep track on anything, right? So here to start, we are going to put the five minute because that's a question that we get. Hey, Telex, you like the 15 minute? The market is starting right now. Uh, QQQ, here's the chart of QQQ. And this is how it is currently trending. Disney opened at 162, 163 thereabouts. And... Uh, that's what's going on. So I will just keep um, bringing opportunities. But I mean, on this on this type of day, folks, right? It's Thursday. QQQ doesn't have any expiration. So the name of the game is patience. I kid you not. The name of the game is patience. Most of the stock, most of the stock gapped up from yesterday because yesterday was lows, right? So uh, Tesla, for instance, uh, let's say we can just do a. Here we go. So here's your screen for Tesla. And then maybe we're going to leave Tesla and QQQ here to start. I mean, you guys tell me what stock you want uh, us to be taking a look at. When a trend starts or anything. So here's Tesla. Major reversal here, folks, after this gap gap, um, gap up, right? So, yeah. I heard Mr. Musk, uh, he, he sold 
5 billion worth of shares and the stock is gapping up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So <laughs> that, that, that's right there uh, for, 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 for you. So and because of my setup today, I have to, I'm trading myself folks live. So I have to use different screen to just make sure that I am all set up in. So uh, let's see. Let's see. So okay so let's do this okay all right so let's see here uh, and i can make this thing go all the way here that's where i can speak to you and while i'm still trading myself without being uh <laughs> without impacting the quality of the sound all right so let's and then we will have obviously uh finvis to guide us through whatever movers that's uh that's available let me actually size this properly so that uh you guys can see it all all right so here we go okay so qqq is standing at 392.30 so still not above that level that i spoke to you about so on the daily chart so that's very very important on here regarding the potential trend that's uh is to to form itself Let's see, uh, what else am I seeing on here in terms of movements, really? Uh, NVIDIA gap top uh, at 301, uh, just, just like uh, yeah, mo most of them. But for me, really, if you have to ask me my expectation, I expect that some sideway actions and then eventually the downtrend shall resume so a tiny stock that we like on here that's uh, trending bullishly and it seems as if every single thursday that's what it does even though for us we have been trading it for friday no hour is fcx fcx is up plus four percent at 39 dollars so maybe we need to change that friday no hour to a thursday <laughs> no hour in the case of fcx so this name minus 7.5 percent so disney is posting lower lows right now so it's, I, let's look at the five minutes interval so this this is this is the difficulty of uh, making a decision right folks uh after let's say first five minutes i mean we see something but there is no really telling the exact overall direction on on here and of course for the subscriber you have your subscription trade alert watch list so I will be keeping you abreast on that. So JD calls. Remember the, the stock from China that we spoke about? Uh, so JD calls, uh, the 85 calls, they are trending up on the, the successful trade alert. They are up 440%. Okay, so after the first five minutes, here on uh, this is Disney, five minute interval, at least we have two pieces of information. The first piece of information is we have the high and the low so far. So the high is 163.55, the low is 161.05, right? So our trend, uh, let's see, let me, I have to adjust. So this, this is it here, it's, it's better this way. Uh, so let's make sure that you see this. So the trend here, it in order for a trend to establish itself, so we close below VWAP, the second condition that we're waiting on is, is the stock's going to put in a lower value than the previous low, which is, if the stock fall below 161.05, I'm reading the low here, right? I'm reading open high low on here, which is trying to do, then we say, okay, at least on the five minute interval, we have some beginning of a trend. And uh, then how do you take that trade? you can then start easing yourself into the trade meaning uh, you can buy one third of the overall position so in that case if you want to spend a hundred dollars in this you buy 30 cent 30 dollars worth of put option on here so here we go uh, right now the low of the day here it's 160.71 on this initial first candle this is really i'm hoping that uh, if you are following along on here you're going to be learning a pattern or well, pattern 
uh, technical analysis on, on here. So similarly here, if we go for instance on Tesla and we do that, Tesla the first candle closed below VWAP, yeah, with a low of 1078. So we will wait for a, the second candle to, close, to, to, to post a lower value than that to have some step of a trend. Otherwise, we don't have a trend yet. Like right now here on uh, QQQ, it's just, okay, it's trying something. We don't know what's, what's, what's going to be like. But one on formation here as time is passing by, right? After the end of this second candle here on QQQ, we will have an information that, hey, 392.50 is resistance. Meaning what? Meaning the next time that the stock's going to come here, we can actually take a trade on the relying on the previous information that, hey, the stock was rejected two times on here at 392.50. And trust me, it's just a matter of time because I've seen QQQ do this. At some point over the next 20 minutes on here, you will see this come back and test this, this level. Same thing on here for uh, Tesla, right? You, we can use that, um, let's say 1100 is resistance or uh, 1095 is resistance and we just you just wait you can even create an alert to say so here how will i go about creating an alert i will say alert and i will say okay if it crosses it trying to cross below 392.49 then uh, uh what we are going to say this is resistance and we are getting some puts we can start building a position at that resistance level if it broke above hey we were wrong but if not we're going to get a great entry so you see here on uh, on my chart maybe let me do this on this one here let me do this on so oh yeah you see actually uh, i just created my alerts on there so you see the line the line is there so this is this is uh, the basic fun uh, foundation of technical analysis on here and you being able to follow along uh, today on this uh, live day trading on uh, Memorial Day here on our uh, YouTube channel So many many stock gap up and as of now it seems as if that gap top is not sustained because uh, I definitely see things that are trailing down. So FCX is the only stock. Oh my goodness FCX Wow, we, we need to change our tech. I need to I we I need to make sure that we change the, the the Friday no wahala on FCX because on Thursday nowadays this thing has really 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 been bullish. The stock is up plus five percent, folks, five point six percent, unbelievable. And this I've been seeing pretty much. I can tell in pre market. So uh, this is something that uh, we can set up as a. So here we go. So these are just two candles but uh, this is what it has been doing so far if i can bring it down like this uh, for you guys to see all right so let me just Okay, so after let's say uh, 10 minutes now, QQQ is definitely below VWAP and posting lower lows. That's the information you, you, we got out of this. And same thing for um, for Tesla on the left. But now look, look what potentially could happen. This is what we have been talking about in the video. It could come back and retest 392, which is the VWAP. So let's see if that happens and if it will be rejected or, or why that's why we say okay after that initial close below we were up and posting lower lows you can mark a pause you you are not in a hurry to take the trade and uh, here is the reason why because typically you will have and now now that we have this next to each other right the left hand side let me make sure that we have we can we have both in view so you have both in view instead of you looking at the so the left hand side is Tesla, yes. The right hand side is QQQ. Now you guys tell me what's going on. If this is your first time look, looking at this, <laughs> this in, 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 in this manner, those two charts are exactly identical so far. Yeah, the, 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 the size of the candle varies obviously because of the price difference. We have a stock trading at $1,000, $1,100, another one at, three, at $392, but I want you to look at the patterns and this is going to be your takeaway for today in this live day trading session on here where we are trading options live. So 
let's see exactly how Tesla is able to mirror um, QQQ. In the meantime, if you took that trade, initial trade on uh, this on uh, Disney, the put on Disney after posting lower low, uh, is definitely posting lower lows on here, folks. Yeah, so a couple of trade on here, Disney is one of them posting lower lows uh, on the five minute chart, and uh, the bullish one is this one. Oh my goodness, what a rocket! FCX, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? The, that's the, the, the overall market six percent at forty dollars. My goodness, how much are those options paying? So, if we go on here, yeah, so and go FCX. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking this on a multitasking on my phone on here. So the calls on FCX, the 40 calls, plus 650%. But plus 160%, folks, uh, the contract are only worth, only, only worth uh, 55 cents, the 40 calls on, 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 on there, while, while it is in the money with expiration tomorrow. Wow. Amazing. Amazing FCX. Yep. So FCX now, folks. Uh, the trade, the, the, the trade, the Friday in Wahala for FCX is to take that trade on Wednesday at the close. Not not so much. So I'm going to make sure now going forward that's that's the string trade that we are going to be uh, using on there. All right. Um, speaking of string trade, I believe, I believe, I believe, I don't want to switch the screen on you, but um, the, the, yeah, I got feedback that, hey, uh, I need to stay focused when I'm speaking on this video instead of switching screen left and right. So FCX trade calls are working, I believe. We gave you a trade yesterday as a swing trade uh, was a snap. Uh, the 54 calls, is that correct? Let me actually check, let me check without switching screen. I need to stay focused there so you can use other means to <laughs> show the people which that they want. So the overnight swing trade yesterday uh, was snap. Uh, 54 calls at 41 cents. All right, excellent. So let's take a look. What are they doing, snap? Uh, 41 no 54 calls what are they doing this morning as the stock is approaching uh, being in the morning okay they're up 60 62 percent at 70 cents bid 72 cents ask not bad at all all right good deal <laughs> good deal <laughs> not so bad uh why we say that a stock that i mean there's there seems to be action today folks that's uh definitely uh definitely congratulations if you had fcx uh for us, we were willing to trade it today. Okay, a test, a test, a retest of the WAP, folks, after falling down, and it's failing so far. It's failing. We have one minute left. This is a good sign. It's a good sign when you have puts, right? When you so below the WAP, posting lower lows, then we retested the the, the VWAP, it got rejected. Now let, let's see, that can only call for price. So the immediate price on here that we can have in mind is 390.58, the yellow line. Yeah, that's that 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 that's straightforward right there. Disney Disney is definitely still bearish. This is this is it here continuing its, its trend so far. And if we come here, Tesla, Tesla has already on the five minute chart, Tesla has already gone and hit support well support yeah initial support it bounced off of the yellow line the ema uh eight sorry about that that's my alarm actually i have an alarm that tells me hey go to finvis and look at what's going on <laughs> yes <laughs> oh boy so this is uh this is b1 on here is leading the berry side so let's make sure that you guys can see this properly. Okay, you can see this properly. Yeah. So here's um, our filters are always the same, right? Uh, optionable over fifteen dollars today. Yeah, I don't know why over fifteen dollars. I mean that's lead us with more stock over one million shares of volume. So B1 is the most bearish stock so far uh, this morning in the entire market. So um, yeah, Th those 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 actually let me check. How are those puts? If I were to consider, they're not in the money yet. I mean most likely. I mean. Depending on what happened yesterday, so the 75 puts on B1, huh, they're only paying 100% compared to yesterday. But then you have made intraday yesterday over 100%. So that's 200% under. The, they're trading at a dollar fifty. Little bit expensive if you ask me. And price volatility is still high. Definitely, folks. But to, tomorrow we will have a trade on this one because at, at the and even further, the 70 puts are going for 57 cents. As we'll say, be patient with them. You want to buy these below. If you can get those below 50 cents, that would be a great trade. 
Uh, GDD, wow, look at this chart. I know that is small, but if you can look at the chart, how the stock, this early this week, the stock got rejected at 34. And uh, this is a pattern that so you are to, to know as you learn technical analysis. Support and resistance can make you so much money in, in, in this market, really. Just look at the chart, noticing on Monday here that, hey, 34 has been resistance and you took some puts on there. Or even if you took a swing trade with puts and calls, guess what? Now the stock is trading at $25. That's a lot of money to be made. Disney, obviously, we are, we are looking at Disney and we are seeing what's going on there. SPC is a funny stock. This, this, this one, I mean, funny in the sense, funny ha ha ha, but for not funny really uh, to, 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 to make money. A lot of sideways, little bit too much on, on that one. So I don't want to be uh, biased on just the, 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 bull, the bearish side. Here's the bullish side. Open real estate services. I have no idea what it tra this, this, this one, how it trades like. So here's a firm. Whoa, boy. That gap was not sustained, right? So, folks, going into Friday, this will be a great, great stock to, to really set up uh, overnight swing trades later on today because it's, it's a guessing game as of now what, what, what's going on today. Gap down, gap up. So, on expiration day, hopefully some of those uh, contracts will get cheaper and uh, you can take advantage of them. So, so here's SoFi. So, this, this gives you an idea of what's, uh, what the big movers are. And so, for us... We are scrutinizing uh, Tesla versus uh, QQQ here versus Disney this morning versus uh, FCX. And let me take the opportunity to check in here. Is that a five minute chart? Yes, there, that was a five minute chart that uh, I, I have. I mean, I don't know which stock that you, you were. I, I'm on so many stocks, right? So uh, a couple of traders are asking for other stock. Let's do that. So. Uh, let's see what's the best way for me to do it. So FCX, I think we have an idea here is bullish. So the first request there was on Baba, and I said that uh, yeah, we saw that JD was was moving, so I'm sure Baba was uh, is is bound to be moving as well. So here's Baba sideways so far. Here it is. So look at this chart of five minute interval here so far. I mean, uh, so you're going to see exactly when I switch to 15 minutes, right? I'm going to switch to 15 minutes, let's say, uh, in about 12 minutes, because we will have two candles of 15 minutes uh, there about. Right now, the read here on uh, Baba is that uh, resistance is at 167.50. The stock gapped up from 164.50 to 167. Uh, in this case on here, we can say we are bullish when it crosses above uh, well, actually, when it's able to do which that we expect uh, for bullish, right? Above you are posting higher highs. Whenever that happens, that's the earliest that that can happen. The price will be 168. So if Baba can close, uh, that's it's trying to do right now. It just waited for me to come onto it and start doing that. <laughs> he can't close above 168. Then definitely there's a bullish pattern. Until then, definitely it's just going sideways, meaning no direction. And similarly... If we start closing below VWAP and we post a lower value than, let's say, what's the, the, the most recent candles low? The most recent candles low is 166.64, then you are bearish. Basically, yeah. It's a game of patience, really, into waiting for a stock to determine its direction and we trade accordingly. I'm just looking at some of the successful trade alerts. So... Uh, B1 was on the list, so yeah, it's up 300% uh, uh, with the 87 puts. Wow, that's uh, that's amazing. And let's see here, what else information do we have here? So the stock from China seems to be moving, be, seem to be moving, pro. And I'm going to give you the list here from uh, reading from our uh, successful trade alert. So JD calls. They're tracking plus 253%, worth only 24 cents, only 24 cents, folks. Um, Baidu, 175 called Baidu has been very disappointing. I mean, the, the, those contracts are up 154% compared to yesterday close. The bid is 11 cents, folks. The bid is 11 cents and the ask is 17 cents. Amazing. And then PDD, PDD actually was bright yesterday. Uh, we, we did see that the 98 calls, uh, 
tracking plus 90 percent 16 cents bid 23 cents ask okay so that's take care of baba on here which is approaching so let's see so can we have two consecutive candles above you are posting higher highs to see if a bullish pattern here is about to start i know that there is another stock that's otk otrk from mickey jams okay otrk let's let's go into that one otrk on track on track uh on the so today is the 11 the stock gapped up a little bit is an 11 in eight dollars and 60 cents stock and uh, the trend yesterday i mean this one i have to switch to the 15 minutes right away because there's just so much noise okay and once we do that we see a downtrend that has been going on uh over the last couple of days or so this, this gap down uh this gap down on november the 8th no not really let's see let's look at the daily first when i don't know anything about the stock the easiest place is not to start oh boy wow yeah these are the type of stock that i'm just looking at this and uh, it doesn't inspire me anything to i mean it gapped up massively on earnings right that's what we see on here uh from 967 to 1114 wow but then it reversed imagine actually if you can start trade this congratulations because on that day on here after this gap you took puts and call you would have made money on the calls and now i cannot even see it on the screen here sorry about that that was so small and now you will have been making money on the put so yeah difficult one to read under um uh, mickey because um there there doesn't seem to be much movement really uh over the last since september uh and the gap down from 20 dollars has been going sideways really and then there was this pop uh after earnings on uh, november the 5th and since then it's just dripping down below so uh, from a um, just intraday trade today so ha what is this doing in regard to VWAP so the first candle below VWAP on the 15 minute chart and then the second candle above VWAP is looking for directions is looking for directions so no no clear direction on how to trade that now and folks remember what we said I said that at some point QQQ was going to come back and retest <laughs> view up yeah yeah here it is and not only is really testing view up is going to actually it's coming actually and retesting our uh alert level meaning the 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 the, the line that you see there uh which was which is the the the, the ema uh eight on the daily chart so let's see what happens uh here now so yeah here here we go and this is the beauty of it live folks my alert trigger this is the live the, the alert that we put on the earlier that hey so for us we did say that when it hit this level that this is resistance yeah and then we should be taking puts so let's see how that goes so i'm going to go here uh let me go here and <laughs> input in my my put <laughs> because i i need to, to 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 respect that right so here there is no expiration today so in terms of Hey Telex, what puts are you going to be buying? Let me go to option and put in QQQ. Uh, I'm doing that on a separate screen here, folks, so that there's just so, so many things that are clouded. So QQQ, the expiration is tomorrow. So what can we take on here? The ATR technique, obviously, yes, it will work. You can use uh, the default number of $3 per day. Uh, so that gives us $6. So if we're taking puts on here depending if we don't want to spend too much money on it so the put that we can be trading here on qqq if let's say this uh, this resistance is true um let's see is it going to blast above it <laughs> but I, I need to take that trade here i mean maybe not an aggressive amount but so so six dollars would be 386 six dollars from now let's say i take five dollars that would be 387 the 387 that are going for 40 cents okay fine or you can take the 388 there are 50 cents yeah so in that case let me just go do this here very quickly and okay done okay let me what's 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 the problem okay okay All right, my uh, yeah, 
yeah, I use E-Trade. They, E-Trade is uh, it's funny these days, but it's okay. All right. So the strike price I used was uh, 387 or 387. All right. So let's see what happened on here on QQQ. Uh, I mean, these guys, they have been known lately just a lot of sideways at first and then they decide on the direction. But uh, it's, it's nice how at least if you are a new beginner trader, you are able to see exactly how you can set up an alert and then uh, wait for the trade to come to you. All right. Okay, Snap is in the money, folks. So Snap, the 54 calls that... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I say that... Uh, <laughs> the 54 calls that uh, we gave you yesterday as a swing trade. Uh, is it... Uh, Snap is printing 54.04. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see how high it goes on under. So for me, after, let's say, 30 minutes, uh, the overview of the market, right? A stock like Tesla that gapped up, if we go here, stock like Tesla that gapped up has given back all of those gains, right? As a matter of fact, it actually fill, fill the gap. So yeah, some traders will tell you, oh, when that happened now, it's ready to go up. I'm not so sure. My only thing right now here, looking at these charts of Tesla, and again, I'm using Tesla just really for the purpose of technical analysis, right? I'm not currently trading Tesla. Or if you, actually, the other thing that I want to encourage you, if you are new watching this uh, live day trading session on a successful trading YouTube channel, uh, find a trader, a, a broker that has a paper account. Yeah, I know one that does that very well. It's a power E-Trade. So E-Trade or E-Trade in general. I think Cosfim also has that, I believe. So and a practice 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 may, may, makes better so that's something that i really believe in so as of now on here using the five minute interval sideways on here so we, we can say that the bearish trend can really set on when let's say um tesla post a lower value than this low here so the, that level here meaning basically right now supports it's that yellow line so if it drop below that yellow line then we have a trend and very shortly we are going to switch to 15 minutes as of now it's five minutes how do we know it's five minutes uh, because you're on top i know that's small but you can read five right that that's what the, the five minute is there so when i toggle on here on qqq qqq uh we, it's five minutes as well on here so that's uh, both on five minutes right now and let's see let's make sure that you guys can see that and basically that's the default on here so yeah so most stock actually gap up yeah and then they reverse the 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 the, the gain dash is a stock that's moving dash is moving bullishly let's go check that here so if uh, we can uh more so dash dash had earning yesterday it didn't pan out for us so here's the 15 minute chart of dash uh above vwap posting higher highs well it's just one high but hey it's good enough <laughs> it's good, good enough poor starter too and uh, fcx is up 7.58 percent my lord <laughs> yeah yeah that's another alarm for me to go check um what's happening on finviz Peloton is trading at 48 bucks, folks. Uh, we had a long-term trade on Peloton. Uh, if you were not part of our Discord, let me read it for you. So, well, long-term. I'm not so sure about long-term. So, what's our trade on Peloton? So, November the 21st, we are tracking the uh, the 40 the 40 puts on, on it. And this week, the 45 puts. So, November 12, 45 puts. And next week... Um, the 40 puts on, on uh, Peloton. Uh, this thing has been dripping lower and lower. So my thought is that B1 will follow a similar path. So I'm going to be patient starting tomorrow to do a similar setup on. Yeah, we have to be patient with some of those. When stock go down sometimes, I mean, they sneak they, they, after earnings. The first couple of days, uh, people are still hanging in buying the deep uh, that we have a deep buyers. Uh, this stock market is known as Deep Market International. Okay, so now, see what Tesla 
uh, is training. This is Tesla on the left. You have to trust me that that's the case because I have to adjust this. Okay, now you can see you can see the name, right? On the five minute now, it's below the yellow line. All right? We are clearly below VWAP. Yes, we haven't consistently been posting lower lows, but here. Uh, from a technical point of view and this applies to any chart that you're analyzing because i have so many question traders asking me hey Telex, i don't know when to take the trade my entry this this and that notice how we executed a great entry on qqq using the fact that just after 10 minutes we look at the first two five minute candle notice resistance was at 392.50 we set that alert the alert popped up live while we we're in this session we took that trade under the outcome of the trade doesn't matter as long as you're able to consistently justify why you are taking a trade, hey, the condition may not be met for that one instance, but guess what? You are bound to be making money. Just like right now on the left hand side, Tesla, below VWAP posting lower lows, that's in full force. Yeah. So then this thing now, it's going to most likely bounce off of the, the EMA 20, that's the green line. Again, we're still on the five minute interval. That's okay. You can use the five minutes. Uh, uh, so both uh, on the left hand side, Tesla is dropping down. And now is it going to have support on there? Nope, it does not have support. It doesn't seem to be having support on there. It's dropping lower. So this is the time of the day where I typically, you don't have to do this, but for me, I do this. I want to go look at what's happening in Germany. So Germany, because sometimes these markets are co correlated, right? Germany is flat. Germany has been very, very strong this year. And the index that I'm using in, in looking in Germany because Germany represent pretty much if you want to know what's going on in Europe zone which hence tends to be correlated with the, the US market just look at Germany I'm using the DAX yeah I'm using the DAX and if you're interested I can set I can show you my setup uh, using a, a tool that so uh, we have review on on this YouTube channel called investing.com so typical right natural support and resistance on the right hand side let me make it primary QQQ is bouncing off of the five, the, 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 the five minutes EMA 8. That's the yellow line currently at 391.53. Yes, so it's bouncing off of it. Let's see what happens. On the left hand side, uh, Tesla is bouncing off of the EMA 20 of the five minute chart, the, 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 the green line. So those are natural support, meaning that the price will, will pause or will respect that level. That's meaning that. In this case, if it's coming down, it will tend to bounce off of it. That doesn't mean that it stopped going down. It just means that for the time being, there are buyers at that level. So computers, there are a lot of computers, actually 60, the majority of the volume, 60 to 65 percent of the volume in the U.S. stock market is generated by computers. So now you see how Tesla just went shoop. I was about to say shoop. This is, this is, I hope, I hope somebody, somebody who's uh, learning technical analysis is catching this so i'm not sure if uh, miss elaine well miss elaine uh, that's not <laughs> the, the real name but uh trader elaine in our discord please please if you are in this um on this hopefully you are getting something out of this and uh we'll definitely uh be uh highlighting this in our in our coaching session today So let's see, updates on the successful trade, alerts, um, yeah, JD, Baidu and PDD, they didn't carry on. I mean, from the 200 now, I mean, with the, I mean, I don't know, with the rest of the market, they are trending uh, slightly down again. Uh, for us, the disappointment, well, the disappointment yesterday, we took a trade on, um, on coin. We were hoping for a gap down. The gap down wasn't that significant, but so. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We are going to, we have a long day, right? And then there is tomorrow as well. So we are patient on it, just as we are patient on Peloton. Uh, again, we are tracking Peloton with uh, the 45 put for expiring tomorrow and for next week. Yeah, it's November the 19th. But uh, you, if you are in uh, E-Trade, it's November apostrophe uh, 21, meaning the third week of November of the year 2021 so uh, currently trading 47.82 so we see that on the we are patient on that trade just as much as we are patient with our paypal 
outputs as well. So let's see. So moving bullishly, at least we saw Snap earlier making some move. Yeah, Snap is definitely 54.15. So congratulations if you took that overnight swing trade. And I mean, more congratulations if let's say you anticipated the 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 trade on um, on FCX. I cannot believe FCX. That's just plus eight percent, folks. At thirty at forty dollars and sixty three cents. So those forty calls, they are paying big time. I'm sure they are ten baggers now. FCX. Let's go check on here. The fifty four calls are now. Let's see, FCX. FCX 40 calls. Yep, 10 bagger. <laughs> wow. Wow. What is Disney doing? Okay, so Disney is doing sideways. This is what I was afraid of after they, some of this talk, what they do after after the earnings. So they gap down. I mean, they gave, you, they gave us something here, but from 163 to 159. And last time, Disney, after its earnings, it just spent time going sideways. Let's check on B1 here very quickly on the bearish side. 78 yeah relatively flat the, so this one this one are the screener for stock tasks let's say tomorrow before market open no let's see let me go do custom on here so today before market open and yesterday after market close just to focus on stock that had earnings who's the first b1 obviously i mean about the same leaders on there open up so far affirm yeah weibo 10% up. I'm not sure if how much that's pay, those options are paying. Let me check that. I didn't trade them. I'm just I'm just curious. I like to see to have a good measure when certain stock are up like that, especially after earnings, how much they're paying. So uh, let's say we we uh, will WB 48. Let's say the 50 calls. The 50 calls are paying 189%. So it's, yeah, I mean. You have made some money. I mean, for me, the way to this trade would have been to strangle it, right? So I would have strangled yesterday uh, before earnings to say, okay, 50 calls and uh, maybe 40, 40 puts thereabout. So if the calls are up, let's say, most likely here, the, the most have made up, let's say 200%, you are making 100% on the overall trade if you were uh, balanced. Uh, you put the same amount of money on both sides. So that's, uh, that's, that's, that's that there. So we carry on here. Uh, technical analysis lesson this morning we're using qqq and tesla why because this i enable you this enable us to show you how correlated uh tesla tesla has been the main driver of other stock the other stock has been nvidia of uh, qqq recently yeah tesla is number four inside of the queues as you know if you do not um i invite you to read an article on the blog successfultrading.com the title of, of the article is spy versus qqq which is the best in 2022 we know which one is the best so if you do not <laughs> that you will be we will be providing you the reason research evidence of our reasoning all right so kqq after 30, 39 minutes at the, the session is open here on this live day trading session um, where we are live trading options on here on the successful trading QQQ, it's at support, folks. This support, when it's broken, 391.50, then the next support level is target price level here. Let me make this one primary. That's why I'm reading its value. So the, the yellow line, you see the yellow line, right, on QQQ on the right-hand side. So I need to make this, but every time I do that. So the value for that yellow line is 391.50. Uh, the green one is the EMA 20. The value is 390. Uh, 87 if you ask me if we are in a downtrend today so let's go back here on the daily chart right if we're in a down and here i can use really the 15 minutes or the four out uh, of uh, yeah 15 minutes so far sideways no clear direction yeah we are below vwap but we need to be posting lower lows here right so uh but for us we get a great entry at 392.50 using resistance yeah that we identify after 10 minutes we love doing that so in this case on here, uh, I was saying that if the trend is bearish today on here because KQQ could not sustain that gap up, it's too early. It could reverse, folks. We are just saying if, right? 
So if we are, that's the case. So here on the chart, you can clearly see the, the green line EMA 20 on the daily chart this time, on the daily chart. So for us, the price that we are looking will be much lower than the previous, the yesterday low, which was 387.53. So this number will be 385.55. So go write that down somewhere. 385.55 is a potential target price for um, uh, QQQ on, on, on here. Should we be bearish? A stock that is definitely not bearish is this one. Oh my goodness. It's even pop higher. 229.76. On DoorDash, DoorDash is trying its best. It's, it's really trying. So, uh, will will it, will it be able to to to, to go higher? It's, it's trying. So let us see how that, that that goes. Here's the daily chart of Dash, just to give you some perspective. So yesterday, the high of the day was 232. So a great bullish confirmation because this would be the all time high for this stock would be if it's able to go well above that. So 232 was that high yesterday on, on Dash this morning. I saw a bearish, yeah, I mean, gap top and then bearish. So this morning is completely reversing. So let's see, it's early on here. And we're following this on a 15 minute chart to see what uh, can materialize on here. Our friend Disney is sideways, I'm afraid. So sideways and no bueno, no good for us option traders because that's really just a theta decay and loss of money. So. If you follow along on FCX, folks, uh, FCX is still ramping up 40.72 plus 8.5%. Amazing. Snap 47, no, 54.47 on Snap. So, congratulations for the traders who uh, I'm not sure if I actually I'm going to switch this, this screen from Disney to Snap because we have a trade on Snap. So we may as well uh, show you the trade that matter to us. And now since uh, we have a few 15 minutes uh, candle, it's okay to use 15 minutes interval. Okay, so that's what happened. So the answer to the question, hey Telex, when do you use, when do you start using 15 minutes? So yeah, at least after 30 minutes, meaning at 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time there, because I have at least a couple of candles of 15 minutes and now here it's currently uh 7:15 pacific 10:15 eastern time and you are catching a live day trading session on veterans day on successful trading's uh, channel on here well welcome glad to spend your veteran day with us and we are monitoring a few stocks on here we took a string trade yesterday on snap here it is the 54 call they are well in the money 
so congratulations to our discord traders if you were one of them uh, how much is nap um, those tracking those calls 54 calls tracking at right now let's go ahead here and uh, 121 percent not too shabby yeah so let me know please in in the in the live chat if you're a discord member on here if you took that trade yesterday uh okay so this is uh this is the sideways time of qqq this can be very very frustrating this happened yesterday as well yeah the name of the game is patience but i can tell you right now right we are below vwap right we are below vwap and as long as you are below vwap something something will will happen and actually as we say that 391.29 is a fresh new low of the day on uh, qqq so really really looking good <laughs> at least for uh, entry there at 392.50 off of that resistance how much let's see how up they are how much up they are those contracts that we are using let me check on here so the 380 the 388 uh, puts they are up uh 50% yeah i mean it's not much but uh, for now <laughs> For now, definitely, but uh, not bad at all. And because QQQ doesn't have any expiration today, uh, you and I we can afford to be patient. Yeah, this is this is what QQQ. Look 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 at that five minute chart, folks. Yeah, when you see candles like this, but again, this type of candle is not a change of trend. It just means that hey, some algorithm decided to buy that low that lowest value. That's all it means. So you stay put, pun intended. <laughs> oh, this guy he say you stay put <laughs> you stay in your put <laughs> pun intended yeah we are below viva we just posted a lower low and uh, let's see this candle will be closing in a couple of minutes uh, the the confirmation of the trend is does it close below that yellow line so now the price is being pinched uh, between the resistance uh, VWAP the orange line above it and the support the yellow line below it so that's where we are right now on qqq five minute chart in total it's really nice to break it down like that hopefully if somebody is getting something out of this leave, leave us some comment folks if you are you're catching the this type live trading uh, for the first time and you're able to follow along leave, 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 leave us a comment on now uh, even in the playback right i believe in the playback we see 41 people are uh, catching the playback version of this so whenever you get to this uh, uh, how many minutes is this i think we have been broadcasting this live day trading uh option trading here on veterans day for an hour right now so we have a question under what contract did you get for qqq uh re let's reiterate i uh, using the 388 um puts expiring on november the 12th so let me uh, tap it here uh, we enter that uh, based on to um, the resistance level that we, we we charted after 10 minutes at 392.50. So when that alert came, uh, that's when we enter 388 puts for QQQ expiring November the 12th. Uh, at this stage, yeah, this is the stage where really the market is not doing anything, right? So mo most of the stock they put in either the high or the low, and uh, now they're trying to figure out the direction. This is, I've seen this a lot. Yesterday the, was the very, very, very embodiment of that. Yesterday, that sideways happened a great deal of time on QQQ, and actually at the time when uh, they decided to pick a direction, I wasn't even in front of the computer, but I came back on, I saw the price. So let's see how that goes here this 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 was yesterday here it was really really um, much further than today so um, just be patient 
on your position and uh, let the position uh, show you all the all the potential as long as you have the overall direction i mean yeah if you are eager to 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 to, to sell hopefully you have multiple contract but do not do not uh close all your position all of your contract at once later on just to find that oh geez if i were to stay in that trade uh, something something could have happened so okay now on the left hand side and even on qqq right now we can actually start interpreting this that hey but telex uh just like you did identify the first two candles you know like like that resistance was at 392.50 can't we say that support has been marked right now exactly for qqq at 391.50 that's correct absolutely because or we have how many candles on here? Let me actually use this this one here. Use that, that five minutes to show, but the, the five minute can be noisy since hey, just 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 beware. It's not because so here's that support, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Eight times now the price has touched 391.50 on QQQ on this five minute chart. So we have resistance at 392.50 where we enter the 388 put expiring tomorrow. Now uh, at one dollar so this is when qqq is range bound after one hour we have managed to move one dollar that's a sign we have that question hey Tex, how do i recognize that hey maybe if this is a day where qqq is not moving we have that right now if let's say um in about eight minutes on here the price is not below because the trend has been trying to go bearish right below 391.50 and they start and they start going to test back 392 then oh yeah you can tell yourself that okay for the time being it is completely sideways so that's how you will go about recognizing that meaning on qqq you give yourself a good 90 minutes thereabout well actually in this case will be one hour to say okay what was the what's the 80 hour so far after one hour because after a gap like this one right notice we got two and a half dollars almost yeah we got three dollars folks yeah so after gapping that much um if the bulls were in control we are to be able to go higher but we didn't so we are in between the two the two now so does it come to fill the gap is not currently doing that the gap is all the way to 390 actually yeah from yesterday right you can see that on on, on the chart on here so this sideways is market makers way of just Killing Theta Decay uh, and um, really and so we need to recognize that and in this case we can we can bail out on here if you got a great entry uh, sure but if not here as of now just be patient because this thing could be going either which way so for us the 390 the 388 put there they I think uh, when you look at them earlier they were paying maybe 50 percent um, but hey if if the trend is to 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 continue they can go much much higher but we don't just know as of now it's a one dollar move on qqq right now after gapping up three dollars that's that's like really really qqq <laughs> so that 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 that, that. all right let me hydrate myself Sorry, folks, I need to show you the charts, right? So, again, if you want a chart that you want us to, to be spending more time on, just let me know. Like, maybe Dollar Dash, yeah? <laughs> I've been talking about this stuff for, for a bit, so this is what Dollar Dash is doing. Its counterpart, a coin, is not, uh, is not in our favor so far. But let's see, let's see. 
The day is still young, folks. The day is still young. All right. So 232, 232, 81. Remember what we said earlier, right? So let me show you again the daily chart of DoorDash. Yeah. This here, the chart that you are looking at is the daily chart of DoorDash. And the price, the current price is the all-time high. How do we know that if I do this? Yeah, it's clearly, uh, yeah. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. There's this huge spike on here. I don't remember if I traded it on that day. January 27, 2021 is saying that the high was 256.09. Okay, maybe, maybe. I'm most likely, hey, the people are trading you, they know. So my bad, it's not the all-time high. So, but uh, it's definitely uh, something high. A five-month high, a six-month high. It hasn't been at this price since, shush, since that day. So, yeah. So from February to now, how many months is that? Can you count the next 10 months? <laughs> November. Nine months. Nine month high. Fantastic. All right. So nine month high. Let's hope it counts for something. So uh, will it carry through? Uh, we are about to see. We are about to see. Definitely bullish because we are bill above you. We are posting high highs. Now, the, the, what's, the, what's the drawback here? The, what's the concern rather? Not the drawback. The concern here is... The, you see the upper Bollinger, uh, traders always ask me, hey, Telex, how do you use the upper Bollinger? As a natural resistance, that's what the upper Bollinger is. So the upper Bollinger right now is 230.74 and the stock is trading at 232.20. A sign of strength, yeah, a sign of a bullish strength, bullish momentum is that actually a stock is able to ride the upper Bollinger, meaning that the price are able to track higher than the upper Bollinger. That is not sustainable over the long term, meaning that here we have four candles of 15 minutes. That's actually show how strong it is. So maybe this stock can cool off a little bit, allow the upper Bollinger now to advance and then uh, start tracking. So that, that that's something that's uh, healthier when the stock is going up. So hopefully that explanation there helps. In our case here, uh, back to QQQ, all I'm seeing is the curling down of that EMA 8, the yellow line, on the 5-minute chart again. So they are taking their time, right? They are taking their time. Now notice that QQQ has diverged from Tesla. Yeah? Tesla, the last three candles, is posting actually higher highs or higher lows at least. Yes? QQQ is not doing that. This is the moment where <laughs> I've been discussing about this with some traders in a... In a, in a coaching session, they will pick, they, market makers, yeah, F um, fast uh, fast trading algos, they will pick a stock, yeah, that's uh, they want to use to drive up uh, the index. That stock typically has been Tesla, that stock typically has been Nvidia, or that stock sometimes tends to be, um, let me check it here, tends to be Amazon, let me see. So whichever one, because those are the high, the high flyers, the high, um, holdings in um, in QQQ. So let me give you now. Amazon is up 0.71%. Google is up 0.3%. Netflix is on uh, Netflix. Uh, yeah, that one doesn't count that much. Uh, Microsoft is up 0.3%. Apple is up 0.34%. Facebook or Meta, it's up 0.75%. Uh, Nvidia is up 1.37%. So it's difficult to tell right now which one they are using. So whichever one they are using is not that effective because QQQ is coming down. When that's the case, QQQ definitely will be following that that's one. So it's a struggle right now really for QQQ as you see the, the direction. Look, let's pay attention to the direction of the yellow, uh, the yellow curve, the EMA. Yeah. If it spawns down, guess what? The stock will have a tendency <laughs> to go down. So look, look at this one here. Look how the EMA. 8 is pointing up yeah price is going up that's uh, for really for my the, the 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 beginner traders out there if you are watching this live day trading session on uh, november 11 veterans day 2021 so qqq on here if you have to ask me yeah trend is bearish um need to post a brand new low of the day below let me click on here to make that one active so the the low of the day so far on qqq it uh, was at uh, 391.07. So when the stock is able to go, actually, the yellow line, the green line on here, EMA 20, 391.06 will give us that confirmation. So it's just a matter of patience, patience. 
and they could find, at least as of now, the way that they have been piloting QQQ based on my experience, I don't see any one of the big heaters inside of QQQ that they are using to maintain. I mean, NVIDIA, but NVIDIA, I mean, yesterday got smacked, right? It was, was up and then they removed it. So Facebook and... Um, Amazon, yeah, Amazon is a sneaky one. So Amazon is up 1%. So they, they can use Amazon to, to prop that. And if that's the case, folks, then uh, we can take the trade on Amazon on call. Let's say $300, $400 out of the money and see them go. <laughs> so that that's uh, in, in due time should that happen. Okay, here's our friend Q now facing um, bouncing off of the five minute chart EMA20, the green line at 391.05.06, thereabout. So, after that mark of 391, the next level is going to be uh, below that. So, filling the gap at 390. And uh, should we get there, folks? Again, the target price on here. In case of a bearish trend today on QQQ is 385.50. We showed that to you from the daily charts. I should not just want to switch screen again. So we're seeing focus on here on the five minute charts interval. As for Germany, uh, the DAX is flat. Not, 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 not. So th these, these are sideways. We have seen these on some days. Uh, Tuesdays are known for sideways, a little bit of Thursday as well. So days in between expiration day. On expiration day, market makers are desperate to, to make moves. So they can swing uh, QQQ or other indexes in any direction. Uh, that's whichever direction will help them, help them make more money. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas on, uh, on Tuesday, Thursdays, it's like, um, okay, what's, what, what, what do we do here? Well, I'm at that. I want to bring to your attention that IWM also recently had intraday, intraweek um, expiration, meaning Monday, Wednesday, and, and Friday. I am yet to take a trade on it, but uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I will definitely, definitely be considering that. It's up 0.6% uh, right now. So let's see how, how, how that goes. But IWM, because that one is heavily manipulated with all of the meme stock as well, the AMC on the wall so that they are tied up to that meaning we can get more a little bit maybe i'm not sure if more but we can get some constant volatility on iwm here on on and then use the fact that uh monday wednesday and friday expiration um brings cheaper contract cheaper option to trade for us so um let that, that that's something that's a uh, look look for a uh, some some video on there when we we start setting up so some of those trades Okay, on the Nasdaq, the Nasdaq best mover right now on as at 10:30 uh, 10:35 a.m. Eastern Time on uh, Memorial Day 20 in the Memorial Day Veterans Day Veterans Day. This today, November the 11th. Today, you should know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, and, and I'm having it. I'm, I'm ha you, you see, can see my camouflage, right? Let me in honor of Veterans Day. So I have my camouflage. Actually, all the way 
from top to bottom. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I, I should know. So the biggest mover, the uh, bullish mover is Netflix. Netflix is up 1.9% at $359. So, okay, uh, um, this one fizzle, so snap fizzle. Okay, we still have tomorrow. So no, 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 no panic there. So let me bring you the chart of Netflix in case you're interested. And we still have Dash trying to break above to 32. So yeah, Netflix, wow. Wow. So this, this, this look like any day Netflix, right? So first candle, and Netflix is known for going bullish on Thursday. I can prove that to you. So one of the things that I do on here, I know how to do quant analysis. So I will teach you the best day to trade any stock. So Ted, you give me your stock, your preferred stock. I will do a study, very relatively easy study. I will show you how to find the best day to trade any stock. So bullishly or bearishly, we, we, we have done that now. Hence, for instance, we know the best day to trade stock like JD. Yeah, uh, with a trader inside of our Discord room. We call that her own strategy. Uh, JD because JD those two initials are dear to her so Netflix Thursdays are bullish typically and recently I just shared with you that FCX has been bullish on Thursdays shame on us because we have been trading it for Friday uh, bullish I need to change that so FCX starting <laughs> you should have started today today so I started yesterday so Please, please, somebody's recording this, right? <laughs> Next week, what is the, 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 the Thursday Noahala FCX? 8% clean 10 bagger on the 40 calls. That, 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 that's what's up. All right, all right, QQQ. Yeah, retest of the EMA. Eight on the five minute chart uh, for Tesla rejection double rejection so far the EM at the VWAP on the five minute chart and uh, it's really really trying they are trying they're gonna try to use Tesla I guarantee you as to 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 maintain um, to maintain QQQ afloat because if don't if not if they don't pick a stock it doesn't seem like Amazon is complying <laughs> So Tesla has been the preferred stock to do that. So if not, if not Tesla, they use uh, Nvidia. Nvidia, yeah, it's trying 1.58%. As for Amazon, where is Amazon? It was up 1% earlier, 0 0.77. Amazon is stock at 33,509. A stock that's sneakingly moving forward is Western Digital, currently at 56.85. JD is back in the 200 um, plus on the successful trade alerts as well. It's actually chilly here. Okay, 391.60. Me. This, this, all of this, yeah, a lot of candles for nothing. So if we switch, let me, let me maybe show you this one on the 15 minute chart. Yeah, I mean, small downtrend on QQQ on the 15 minute chart, but um, need to go below that support. Now you see on the 15 minute chart, right? The EMAs are uh, eight, which is or, um, yellow and the EMA 20, which is green, the position is different based on the, 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 the frequency, right? The time frame that you are looking at. So now here on the 15 minute chart, okay, after an hour and 10 minutes, notice how there's less noise on the 15 minute chart. You can, ease, we can easily see, okay, we had two candles below VWAP. So now, uh, posting lower lows. So now is that famous retest, potential retest of VWAP, which it can do on here. So let's wait until this candle closes in five minutes on the 15 minute charts of QQQ. We will get a, an early indication. It's not definitive, but we will get an early indication should the current candle be rejected 
at VWAP. VWAP is on the 15 minute chart is 391.82. So we are trading, trading uh, QQQ is going to be trading at 391.80. As I say that, it just did a tick, a tick above, a tick under. So let's see if uh, what, what what's going to be happening under. This this is uh, this is interesting. This is slow session, folks. And whenever we get together on this session, it's always a matter of okay, what's going to happen? How slow is it going to be? Today is one of those days where we don't know. It's going to be sideways. In which case, we quickly need to be start thinking about uh, maybe. Let me take a look at so uh, my uh, my <laughs> my investment on uh, on Shibu. <laughs> so to see, to update you on there. So where's Shibu? Uh, Shibu. Okay, so Shibu it's uh, trading as well. I don't give you the zeros. Fifty five nine six. Okay, not 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 bad. But I got a little bit more. I, well, I get I got a little. As I told you the other day, right? So right now I'm holding sixteen million coins of Shibu. <laughs> sixteen million coins of Shibu. So not not bad. It was I were I was able to get some. Um, to, to get some of them much lower than uh, the other day. So my objective was what? My objective was 20, 20 million, so I'm 4 million away. So let's see if I have enough. Um, so most likely tonight or tomorrow morning, I will buy to, to, to get closer to that target of 20 million Shibo. So when I say that, so my 16, 16, not 60, 16, 1, 6 million shares of Shibo, uh, let me go here and do a screen capture and share that inside of our Discord for those who are crypto fanatics. I'm becoming a crypto fanatic. <laughs> I'm becoming a crypto fanatic. All right, so let me let me grab this. Shibu. All right, let's post this inside. Okay, 392, here we go. That, that's why QQQ does, right? So that's why QQQ does. So has to come and retest that, that view up. And it's okay to see it above. Remember how, where resistance is? Resistance is 392.50. As long as the price is below that, the puts are still in place. So let's see on here, huge, huge, huge ramp up. And before I show you the chart, we, you're going to guess it. Tesla is going to be showing a big candle. Bang. Here you go. Look at the symmetry, folks. Tesla versus QQQ. Look at this. This seems as if they were uncorrelated a little bit for, let's say, 30 minutes or so. But now it's like, uh-uh, it's on. <laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> but here, I mean... In this case, that's why the five-minute interval is not that is not great, really, because here, my friend, it's panic time, right? I guarantee you, everybody and their sisters, right now, they're going to be closing those puts. And that's what they want you to do. <laughs> that, that's what, they, who's they? The algo, the algo, folks. <laughs> the, the algo, that's what they want you to do. So after doing that, let, let's see. But for us, we know resistance was at 392.50. So we stay put. <laughs> it's easier said than done. While I say that, let me bring back the chart for Baba because I'm seeing JD moving on the successful trade alert. Watch this. So, uh, Baba, uh huh. Well, Baba, same thing, right? Uh, let's, let's, instead of five minutes, let's go to 15 minutes just because. All right. So, Baba, we said it about uh, 45 minutes ago. Bullish if we start posting values above 168. So, we need to clear. We are above VWAP, but we will need to wait for the next candle to show us higher. That's how you wait for confirmation, folks. Yeah, that's how you wait for confirmation. This is important. So I'm pasting my uh, my um, increasingly <laughs> captivating Shibu <laughs> Shibu Inu coin position inside of our Discord. So there's a channel that I want here is. Uh, cannot ignore crypto forever. Current position, current uh, Shibu position. Well, they, they, they say Shiba, I call it Shibu. <laughs> Shiba Uno position.
All right. Okay, 168.55. Okay, for Baba Bulls, um, there could be there could be something coming up. Yeah, nice gap up of three dollars sideways for an hour and uh, yeah, a good hour now posting higher highs. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see, it, it needs to confirm, folks. Yeah, this is where you are patient, meaning really the next 15 minute candle naturally. Yeah, the natural progression here is that. You will need to see this stock hitting 169 to say, okay, it's doing something. So, uh, speaking of doing something, look at uh, QQQ not doing something up to no good, right? So, they, they spike it up based on Tesla and then now back to reality. So, again, how do you, you, you make sure of this? You just, the trend didn't change, yeah? The trend didn't change really on just that one candle. So, sideways this morning on here. And um, this live day trading session on Veterans Day. So the market has not been making that many moves. The, the most successful trade that you could have gotten this morning based on your pre-market analysis is FCX. And uh, tracking on here yesterday for us, if you took the trade on um, Snap 54 calls, they went in the money. So FCX paid 10 by girl overnight on those 40 calls. But a piece of that was still available to you. Um, and it's still, I mean, 40.62, that thing is solid like a rock right now. Mm, one that's uh, trying again, as you saw the, 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 the fake move on QQQ, NVIDIA. Yeah, it's, it's try, trying itself to, to participate. I'm really keeping an eye on F, um, Western Digital. This one has been just doing no work. So Dash, Dash, uh, just, uh, it's not, uh, there, there's nothing on there. Let, let's try Western Digital here a little bit. Another underperformer but uh, we i'm not that we like underperformer well yesterday folks if you gotten in in the low from 55 to 56 something yeah hey for this guy for this little guy that's actually a big deal this stock has just been beaten down recently i mean look at this daily chart it's like wow but it makes moves it makes moves so the trend has been bearish overall here so after the earning, they put in a 50, and since then they have been trying to rally. I mean, the rally stall uh, at this level here above the EMAs. So, yeah, let's see. That, I mean, this uh, this 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 one, a perfect. Uh, we use it for Friday, no halas. So, any big move over a short period of time. Okay, so we are approaching uh, almost 11 Eastern. Nothing has really been decisive so far. A lot of sideways in these markets. So when will they decide to pick a direction? Baba is Baba is doing it smartly. Smart Baba. Good Baba today. <laughs> good Baba, good stock from um, from a uh, stock from China. Baidu. Well but Baidu, those contracts, I mean ten cents. I mean good lotus for tomorrow. Oh uh, yeah. JD is the leading one. It's better than both Baidu and PDD. We don't have... Do we have Baba? Yeah, we have Baba on that watch list. How come I don't see Baba on that watch list? Yeah, because the 187 and a half calls that we pick on Baba for this week, folks, they are trading at 2 cents, 3 cents. But hey, this if Baba, if this move is continue and it, given a little gap tomorrow, folks, I'm not kidding about those two cents contract, three three cents contract on Baba. They could mean something, yeah. Maybe if you want to trade it on the safer side, don't go with uh, the 187. Maybe pick a strike price. That's uh, let's help people here, Telex. Help people here pick a strike price on Baba. That could be decent to take advantage of this run. Should it should should the run uh, sustain itself on Baba? So let's see here, uh, Baba. If I go to the option chain. Expiration November the 12th. The 175 calls, they are going for 33 cents bid, 35 cents ask. Not bad. Not bad. I can I can imagine the scenario that hey, these stocks they, they can do something. But for the big trade for me would be Monday really. So tomorrow at the close, I will be setting up some trade on some stock from China. Yeah, this is the daily chart. Look where it is. It's at the middle of the upper Bollinger and lower Bollinger. So meaning, more trade. 
something has got to give will it be rejected like last time when it reached this level which was literally uh, a week ago on november the 4th went from 169 to 158 the, the next day so baba has been slow on here so if they are willing to do this folks what will be happening uh, tomorrow or monday will be massive gap that gap will be above 172 i kid you not so in that case some of these contracts they they, they they could be paying so we, ha we have uh, baba on the radar it's signaling itself no regardless of what's happened today it's signaling itself to us so what's else signaling itself to us our little guy western digital yeah it's trying it's trying so just under the radar so we don't know who's who's uh who wants it up let's uh, keep it up western digital <laughs> The 58 calls on Western Digital, I think that's the next strike price available since the 57 are in the money right now. They are going for uh, 23 cents bid, 29 cents ask, meaning you can get them at the middle door for 25, 26 cents. Dash is still trying, 231.37. For those I see that new people are joining us on this uh, day live trading of uh, option at uh, successful trading on uh, Veterans Day. Uh, so this this is your first time on here. Uh, we have a Discord channel uh, that uh, you can join if you're a beginner trader. We can teach you technical analysis. We did a great expose this morning on entries and how we set up an entry per, almost perfect entry i mean let's say it would be perfect if the trade makes money uh, we took the 388 puts on qqq based on the first two candles showing us resistance at 392.50 so at some point the stock has only been a, has moved only a, has been in range moved only a dollar of a, yeah i guess a dollar 50 from the low of 391 to a high of 392.60 there, there, there about there so range bound so far range bound so far just means that theta decay and the market makers are the big winners when things like this happen so um rule of thumb really after like right about now in seven minutes time 8 a.m pacific 11 a.m eastern after that establishing new position in in this type of market is not sustainable because if the sideways continue your position is going just going to bleed to bleed money so uh that's uh that's that's part of the game that's part of trading options and you just you just can't wait so what do you do in that case hey you close your position you wait for the end of the day the last two hours of the trading session to set up some swing trade so um that that's really that so but maybe in the meantime let's see is there anything really moving from finv from finvs on here because this canal gives us the entire view of the market right at least based on this filter optionable stocks over 15 dollars uh we are excluding the etf and um we are demanding we are requiring that the daily average daily volume be at least 1 million to assure liquidity so in that case open on here is a stock that gap if you go i don't think we saw it earlier maybe it was lower so far app app seems to have momentum folks right it was uh, was low but lower earlier gap top but now it's approaching 110, up 15 percent. CIQ, CSIQ is another one on the. I don't know anything about this stock. I'm just reading really what the chart is telling me here. Shows Technology Group. Wow, from 32 to 34, almost 35. That's a big deal for this stock. Azul, JKS, FSR. So these are yeah, yeah, things. We are familiar with things. We don't trade it as much, but uh, we are familiar with things. Mara. Mara is trying. AA. AA is um, Alcoa. Yeah, like this last earning at the beginning of the earning season, Alcoa showed, showed, showed two, two bullish days with 10 baggers on there since then. All right. I was wondering about this one. I was wondering, wondering about this one. QS. This is, this is uh, a stock that's uh, for us definitely we want to be able to we have made some good money recently on qs it's just i just want to be trading it more regularly oh boy 
and should that be the case nice good payout today so 300 percent on pretty much all of the options the 38 calls that are paying 364 percent the 38 calls 317 percent and qs if we go to that chart which one do we remove here let's maybe put baba aside to show you the chart for qs those in our discord room you should be familiar with qs right so let's go to the 15 minute chart this is the daily chart so yesterday it was down a little bit wow and QS, one of the particularity of QS is that you always have time in the first 15 minutes. It seems as if he always does this. Look at this yesterday, right? Yesterday, November the 10th, he put in gap down, put in a candle, and then before the run. Obviously, like everybody else, this is 15 minute chart. Wow, look at those candles there. I'm going to be using this too for teaching purposes uh, this afternoon on our one on one coaching session. Yes, we do one on one coaching session on here, and I record the session, your session, and give you that recording so that you have the video recording of each one of your coaching session that's something that really traders like here so look at the last yeah while we were busy analyzing qqq going nowhere and this is what qs was doing so for your trouble 300 percent nice nice so yeah i need to make sure that i add qs in my um in my default watch list because it has been a few times where we caught it afterwards okay fantastic so done uh, we are going to add it in the telex favorite so save that gives us another another one to 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 track under so yeah nine it's up nine percent 300 so remember how so, so traders ask questions so the time hey telex if a stock move by uh, this amount how much do the option pay so this stock is moving nine percent overnight and uh, some of its option still out of the money right so i gave you the 38 calls um the 38 calls are paying uh yeah 300 something percent uh, earlier so that that gives you an idea on a thursday for stock that are 37 cents yeah um if let's say this nine percent were to happen on expiration day tomorrow oh my friend, that would be a closer to 800%, 900% payout on their on expiration day. So hopefully that uh, gives you an insight into, into something. Hello, Mr. Douglas. What price did you pay for 388? If you are the Douglas, that's... Let me just, let me just shut up, Telex. Let me just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> let me just shut up. Ooh, let me just shut up <laughs> okay let me just shut up and go i, I have <laughs> i have personal reasons folks <laughs> to shut up so here's the chart for um western digital it's trying it's trying uh here remember uh, this is 30 minutes chart i'm not sure why we end up in a 30 minute chart but you can see how the upper bollinger band they act as a natural resistance so here the upper Bollinger Band on the 15 minute chart, it's uh, 57.06 and the, the stock, the price of the stock is right up. In the previous candle at 7.30 Pacific, 10.30 uh, Eastern, the Bollinger Band was at 56.86 and the stock closed a little bit higher above that 56.98. So this shows strength, just like we were sh uh, showing earlier with, uh, which one were we, were we looking at earlier? Uh, we were looking at some... It's stock at 232 dash yeah so that dash was showing that and say it was a little bit so uh, you see it's a little bit hot so need to, to cool off but nice 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 setup here on western digital you see it's my eyes are immediately drawn to this high on here 5760 um now just new candle new 15 minutes so it's eight uh, pacific 11 eastern another 15 minutes open up and now it has room so a stock that's doing something like this when rooms open up like that that gives us confidence that it could potentially be, be, be going up. It may need to cool off, but this is very encouraging on here. And here, really, because I have a way of actually predicting, there's a formula for the upper Bollinger, right? I've, that was my, my silence my silent there. I can tell you that uh, over the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, so that's over the next um, hour and a half this price can continue going up well not this price that's that's not true Telex. that's not what you want to say you the, what all you know is that the bollinger band 
on the Western digital here, they will continue rising because of the, the nature of that formula. So which imply, which imply that, hey, uh, the stock actually will have room to go further. This is something that can be very good as a trader. And uh, if you're interested, I can coach you onto that. How, when looking at this, how do I know that the Bollinger Band will be continuing going up to 50? Uh, so let's see, by how much are they going up every candle here? So the Bollinger Band here, the upper Bollinger Band here was at 68.70. Then it did six, uh, 56. Uh, 86 so that's 15 cents then another 15 cents here 5707 so they're going back by 15 cents every 15 minutes so as of now I can tell you that over the next six candles yeah over the next six 15 minute candles which is an hour and 30 minutes you can potentially so 15 times let's say four at least that make it a dollar this Bollinger Band they are poised to go all the way to 58 and a half over the next um, 90 minutes on here. So that's something, and that doesn't mean, I'm not implying that the stock will go that high, but that's a possibility, right? If the, 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 the bullish momentum is strong enough and they are following, they are rising as high as the upper Bollinger Band. So that by itself, just um, make Western Digital a stock for us to, 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 to get, uh, to, to get on, on here. So let me reply to this question on here. Um, all right, so 57.27 on uh, Western Digital. Uh, our friend, where is our friend? Our friend Tesla, I mean, the, it's mirroring, it's mirroring whatever QQQ they want to do with QQQ. So now the games, uh, the, the games begin because now you and I, we can, we can start reading shapes. This is a U. This is another U. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, this, this is, when sideways are happening, you are going to be seeing shift. Meaning we don't have a straight, a straight trend up or down. So in this case, we will have like <laughs> for for our sake for us who are holding the 388 puts from 50 cents uh, that we got uh, uh, earlier. But uh, hey, the action, folks, the action. If not Q, QS, is definitely plus 10 percent. But the action is on Western Digital. QS at this stage, folks, what you may want to do. QS is in the same scenario as 15 minute chart as a Western Digital, meaning that the upper Bollinger band will be rising, meaning, and we have seen QS on days where QS can go to, hey, um, plus 10% is nothing. It can go to plus 20%, right? As of now, it's lacking room here. But what you can set up as a trade right now on QS, absolutely, you can say, hey, um, let, let me go quickly look at some uh, strike price. You can pick 39 calls and then hedge that with uh, 36 puts. I think that's a great trade for tomorrow. And for today and tomorrow, for the, for that matter. Because either the, put, the call continue or we know our friend QS, it will reverse at some point and in which case you will be looking super smart. So this is about the time to do that on here as it is approaching 38 or thereabout. How do we know? Actually, you can be patient. You can be patient. I just look to the left. You look to the, to the left of the chart. And here's what you see. You see all of these touches here at 38. That's going to be your cue. So just you can initiate another right now just for, let's say, 36 puts. What are they going for? But you put a price such that which is much lower. The 36 put. So we're going to say we want to get the 36 put for 30 cents. Yeah. And how, uh, when are we going to get them from 30 cents? When the price goes above, let's say, 38 on here. So right now we are trading at 37.78. So this, this you, you set up that trade. And then on the call side, you pick, you can pick the 39 calls right now. And uh, you see, that is a very, very nice triangle based on this move on here. If you didn't get a chance to catch it when you post this first above you while posting higher highs. So here's Western Digital, still trying. So patience on Western Digital there to see how it materializes. And JD is moving, folks. JD is definitely moving. So let me see. Can I get can I add another one here without losing them? Uh, yeah, that's too much. 
Let me delete something here. So, which one? Yeah, I want you to show JD. Sorry, my bad, I froze. Okay, so JD, we say that stock from China, we have been scrutinizing them from the successful trade alert watch list or with the, our computer gives us stock ahead of time. So every Thursday today at, um, well, I, I don't know how I would like to be doing it, but before the close, I can generate the list for next week and our traders know ahead of time so here's curious folks that trade is about right now so the 36 uh put um they should be coming down so here's 38 or oh, congratulations if you have those calls 3805 3807 so if you're, tr you're trading the 39 calls on qs as we suggested those are tracking nicely right now but we know we know resistance has been here in this vicinity of 38 so this is a perfect perfect uh, time to be able to set up uh that um how do we call it a hedge but that hedge actually uh, should this thing cool of 3817 oh my goodness so yeah today a, a couple of our stock were, were, were treated us into into some 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 bullish run fcx 40.76 the 40 calls were 10 bagger and uh qs is here it's up 11.73 percent um going in for similar type of pair wow what a move qs what a move in the meantime welcome to boring world on qqq So yeah, so JD JD is posting a new high of the day. That's uh, that's uh, very encouraging uh, for the backers on there. It's up four oh six. The the strike price that uh, we took we were using in our successful trade alert. You don't have to use that one. Was the eighty five calls and they are worth thirty six cents bid, forty cents ask. Uh, they are up four hundred percent on the Baidu. Oh, I was mocking Baidu earlier, but you see, I was wrong. Buy the options now. Those options, remember, how I say 10 cents on the 175 calls. They are now plus 390 percent at 25 cents. So, which means to follow suit, Baba. That's one of the the viewer asking us about on here. 168.71. Yeah, it's. I mean, the charts of Baba look exactly like the charts of JD, right? The 15 minute charts on here. So, but the Baba option on there, remember, that's what I did say. The Baba 187, they are worth two cents. I mean, it's a little bit so far off the money. Again, we took the last track pass last Thursday. They spent the entire week going sideways. They, they, this stock from China. So, uh, today is a day that, uh, hey, something is bound to be happening on them. Alright, so we, we set you up with a couple of trades that there right now, Western Digital, uh, earlier, that, that one has been tracking for the last 45 minutes on here, and QS definitely on here, I, I think this, uh, no matter, what, one, one, it has to come to a re resolution, right, and if you are trading any one of the, the stock from China, Baba, Baidu, JD, 
uh, or even Neo, Neo, Neo's trying. Neo is currently at 41.86. The uh, 44 calls are 10 cents. Uh, you never know. You never know. All right. So QQQ <laughs> reverse U. After doing a couple of U's, now reverse U. So QQQ has traded in a 1.5 dollar range for the first 90 minutes today. Actually, for the first, yeah, 100 minutes really. <laughs> Yaks. Yaks. But it's okay. There's no expiration today. So they just, the market makers definitely, their goal is to kill some theta. So meaning to take money out of our positions. That's what it means, folks. Yeah. Western Digital 5737. So again, if you are just coming on now, let me zoom in a little bit to make sure that you got this. I said earlier that I know, I can tell based on the mathematical formula for the upper Bollinger Band, then the upper Bollinger Band will be expanding all the way to 58. Uh, assuming the price doesn't dramatically come down, right? Because if the, the current price, as long as the current price stay at least where they are, right? So there will be more room for Western Digital to continue going up. And we see the, pre the, the most recent high here, which was November 8th uh, at 57.72. Um, I guess the stock will be tracking at least two or two of that. So it's a matter of being patient here. So the 58 calls on um, Western Digital are going for uh, 32 cents bid. And 39 cent ask market because they like they like they love playing games on 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 this one sometimes the spread on it is a tiny stock actually the headquarters are just down the street for me that's not the reason why i trade this one so if you're wondering so <laughs> that's not the reason i, I trade it. it's just a stock that we have known to trade we like to trade for a while all right so look at the parallel the the, the parallelism between tesla on the left hand side yes it's tesla on the left hand side and uh, five minute chart versus QQQ on the right hand side, folks. And should we switch to 15 minutes on QQQ? This is what you are dealing with. Sideways galore. Worst case scenario for option traders, especially weekly option traders. Nothing is happening. <laughs> nothing well nothing is happening well except really if you had a perfect entry earlier for the 388 but but how much are they right now let's check here let me check how much they were uh, that, that position is only or oh, is only it's only up 29 percent only folks only <laughs> JD up 520% on the 85 calls uh, from the successful trade alert watch list. 43 cents bid, 47 cents ask. Not too shabby. Okay, if you took that trade on the, the that we recommended based on resistance level here at 38 for QS, you are looking awfully smart. Which has been a while since we went to Findwiz to see are there, are there any new movers on here on both sides. I guess EVGO, right? EVGO was, wasn't number one, now it's number one. Because this, this year is automatic updating every 10 seconds for me, folks. Yeah? So that's the value of uh, the, the, the screener. So if, if you haven't had FinWiz right now, you, you should consider having FinWiz. It's a nice, 
intraday scanner under for the entire market. So if it goes start with, I think it was earlier number five or something, but definitely the bullish move here is continuing, is now top of the bull, of the bull list on here. Our firm is still there. So Bombo has been the most bearish one here. Bombo, B1, Figs, those are pretty much the same. D, 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 Triple D. I mean, look at this chart. Wow, it's just woof. Stock moves every single day. The ATR on this thing for a $30 stock, I, mean, I don't know, it's close to 10%. Wow. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's, uh, that, that's something on there. Anything worth mentioning here? Uh, SPCE, Virgin Galactic, has been just at the same level, really. Not much. So the action on here has been on Western Digital, QS, and stock from China. Though those are the stock that uh, we see we see movement on. I um, mean, QQQ. It's it's taking its time. We we are patient. We have nowhere to go today. It's a uh, well. I hope it was a national holiday per se, but the holiday for some for some for some traders, and uh, we are taking advantage of that with this live day trading session option trading on successful trading on Veterans Day here. All right, all right. So yeah, uh, yeah. Earlier I posted my Shibu. Let's see, I posted my Shibu uh, position. So I said that for if you are joining now and you are into crypto as well, I started trading uh, Shibu last. Uh, was it last week? No, November the first was my first time to buy Shibu, and uh, I currently have accumulated sixteen million sh coins. That's how they say it. They say coins. Yeah. So. Let's see. I'm just going to continue building that uh, step by step uh, to see. It was actually down yesterday. I, w I was laughing with my wife because my wife, uh, she bought, she, she bought, I mean, uh, she, she said she's learning, she's learning trading. So I say, go, okay, great. So she bought some Shibo as well. So but she, as a new investor, she, she the notion of losing money, no matter how small, <laughs> is not something that she 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 was taking with a can eye. So, but no, she will recover a little bit. So the position is slightly up. How much up is it? I think in the Discord. Uh, if I, I look at here in the Discord, uh, overall the position was up only two percent. But you know, I mean, the, this thing we just take one day. Uh, yesterday was may have been down like I don't know. Was it 12% or 15%? So now this much. So QS, oh my goodness. Second breath on QS, but doesn't matter folks. Resistance is at that level, right? So if you are holding the 39 calls on here and then uh, the 36 puts, you are in a perfect situation, right? So this thing has got to be able to show you something. And uh, again, the same thing as we said on, um, on, on, on Western Digital, as time passes by here over the next hour, the upper Bollinger will be continuing going up. So it's very possible, folks, that QS can go all the way to 40. Those, those 40 calls right now, they are going for 63 cents bid, 65 cents ask. The, 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 this stock, it's, when it's moving, it's big, big moves. And what I, want, I was about to say is that um, I like it because for a thirty dollar stock, the spread are very very nice. Not I just give you the spread there for the forty calls, two cents, the spread. So that's really really not 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 bad at all. So that's the chart, the last chart that you have right now on your screen. It's a fifteen minute chart of QS, which has been posting on a fifteen minute chart. Oh my goodness, this is a case for study, really, right? For how to use VWAP. To trade to today trade yes put on 15 minute charts you need at least two candles of 15 minutes in order to make a decision at least two right so above we were posting higher high so meaning that the entry on this one could have been now you can say hey telex but on the five minute charts it looks better that's fine but on the 15 minute chart you will have gotten confirmation here at 36 this trade from 36 to 38 42 right now my friend easily would have given you 200 percent and all you have to do is to master that one uh, technique that we show, we teach here at Successful Trading, how to recognize a bullish setup using VWAP, how to recognize a bearish setup using VWAP. And in, this, in the case of bearish, it was yesterday on here, right? Bearish below VWAP posting lower lows, bullish above VWAP posting higher highs. That's it. You master that, you can trade anything. 
And I say anything because it's not function of. I mean, I can apply the same reasoning on uh, Shibu or on any crypto <laughs> or on any commodity that uh, you you will like to trade. So that's really um, the, the 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 value of technical analysis, which is just mind boggling to me that some people uh, in 2021, 2022 soon uh, say, "Oh, technical analysis doesn't work." Uh, trust me, it works all right. And it's not a perfect science. Yeah, don't say, yeah, we, we know that there's no perfect science, yeah? But there are a way with, just let's say technical analysis works 66% of the time, two-thirds of the time. Well, my friend, that's an edge. That's an edge. You can trade with that edge. So meaning if, if you're doing something, anything in life, you are doing it and you're successful 60, uh, two-thirds, 66% of the time. Oh, heck, if you're even successful, I don't know, uh, half of the time in trading, Oh yeah, I will teach you how to take advantage of that with specific set of uh, strategies that we can do. We do that here with uh, the Friday Noah Hala trades um, on a consistent basis. Wow, we are up to 64 playbacks. Okay, thank you folks for spending time with us today. Too bad the market is really not moving. I mean, for some, some but at least we got some opportunities on, on here, right? So the stock from China, they seem like they have stalled, so they Sometimes they are taking a step back and then they're coming back. Uh, so QQQ has not been moving. Yeah, that's the problem with that. And I don't control this. Traders always tell me, hey, Felix, why don't you do more live day trading? Yeah, it's boring to do a live day trading when the market is not moving. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, very boring. At least we have, we have a few trades on here today that are trying to do something. But that doesn't mean that the entire day could be like that. We saw yesterday what, what transpired in the afternoon. So... We have to be in it to uh, to see what happens. So let let let's see. FTX forty point NZ there is flat, hovering between 300 and 301, so nothing there. Tesla, we have been monitoring that, nothing there. X has been moving a little bit for, for the the Friday, no, how I feel for the F, X and FCX. So, yeah, X, FCX and Western Digital, they are moving a little bit. So you know what to do. And then here's QS, 38.45. So really right now, QS 40 calls, 36 puts. Between today and tomorrow, one of them going to be in the money. It's a matter of that thing, that uh, picking picking a side. Just like our good friend, QQQ. Oh my goodness. Every single time we do a live session, pretty much, pretty much, it goes into this boring, boring session, a boring session like this one. Wow. <laughs> so I need to stop doing this then. <laughs> I need to stop doing this. Square is not moving. Square is flat because that's another one that's uh, usually on Thursday like this. Roku has been a dog stock. But, I mean, sure. Making money on Roku has been so tough, literally. Because the trend is downtrend. But then how do you trade that downtrend? I mean, other than taking positions that may be uh, several weeks away. And then in which case you are paying for time, right? So... Not worth it. In that case, you just you just patient, folks. The market decide when they give us money. So that's uh, that's very humbling. But so uh, we need to accept that. Uh, Europe will be closing here in six minutes time. Uh, actually, six six minutes uh, plus five. So the eleven minutes time. They close exactly at eleven thirty five Eastern. Uh, last week was a little bit off because Europe went. Uh, they start the daylight saving time uh, before us here in the US. So, uh, but Europe will be closing. Um, that usually triggers some type of uh, after that usually triggers to have some type of wake up call for our friend uh, QQQ. Notice in case here yesterday uh, when he decided to drop below the yellow line, it was about this time really. So let, let's see what what transpired on here. It's trying, it's trying its way to pick a direction, but so far to no avail. As again for me, as long as we stay below 390 to 80 which we are one dollar below right now, the trend on this thing is still 
bearish on this thing this thing being qqq the trend on uh, our friend qs is bullish look at this it's clearing all of this 38 resistance like stelex what's resistance rubbish this thing is going places so those 39 calls they soon will be in the money wow The 39 calls on QS overnight are up 470%. Uh, uh, the bid is 88 cents. Yeah, I'm not sure about that bid and ask. Bid 88 cents, the ask 99 cents. Yaks. What's up, market makers? Where's Baba? Okay, Baba lasts 45 minutes, not going anywhere fast. It's facing resistance there. And though, though, notice on Baba, right? Though there is room on the upper Bollinger Band, so it's just that it's not fi finding, after posting a brand new high of the day, has not found buyers yet. I say yet, because always we have to always speak like that, yet. So should that change, uh, something new can happen. Let's say I just saw, what did I just see? Somebody inside of what it's called. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, one of our traders. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that Miss Eleni is on. <laughs> uh, one, one of the traders in our Discord room just posted a message. She said that it's not boring when you are learning. Okay. Glad, glad, glad to hear that. I, let me reply here. Glad to hear that, that you're learning. So, yeah, our goal here is to equip uh, traders with uh, the knowledge to be successful independent trader. All right, so, okay, so Baba here, uh, yeah, it seems as if it's turning around a little bit, yeah. This, yeah, this is, you see, it looks a little bit like uh, yesterday, some point here, right? So, Beginning of resistance and it spent two hours on there before dropping. Will we see will we see a similar thing like this today? So meaning we literally so now I'm stuck on here because I will have to <laughs> wait another hour and 30 minutes to see if these people they decide to drop this market. Um <laughs> hey, because folks, there's sunshine outside, okay? I uh, <laughs> if this is what's happening, I don't intend to sit here. I definitely want to go to the park to, or to the beach <laughs> before my coaching session in the evening. Hey, Miss Elaine, I haven't sent you that. Thank you for actually encouraging me. That's not boring when you are learning. Yes, we will be having our coaching session, Miss Elaine, at um, uh, 6 Eastern. So that's 3 p.m. Pacific. Yeah, so if I, I want some sunshine, some I will need to depart from uh, these screens at some point. We still, have, we still have time. We still have time. Really. Uh, I mean, there's you tomorrow, folks. Remember. It's on expiration day that the big moves happen on QQQ anyway. I, I've said that all along, right? The, st the strategy that we have here as successful trading is for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's for purpose reasons because uh, it's purposefully that so we do that because on expiration day, something has got to give. Bullish or bearish, we don't care as long as it's moving. When we don't like it, it's scenarios which that you are looking at right now. On the left-hand side, I have Tesla, which is just this is this how do the traders call this traders call this is like washing or uh, watching watching not washing watching paint dry <laughs> which is very boring <laughs> if you ever watch <laughs> paint, <laughs> paint paint dry so same thing here on qqq on the right hand side and they we are on the five minute chart so yeah five minutes look like this and 15 minutes on qqq look like this even not 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 conducive to making any money but it's all right it's all right it's all right that's why we have fridays that's why we have fridays because we have we don't need big moves on fridays on expiration days to make big gains um point in case yesterday video so while you if if, if, if you are here and you had not had a chance or you're new you're watching our channel for the first time yesterday a video uh, let me refresh this because i thought it had more than those i mean it's to get views on our videos it's hard to come by but if, if that happens maybe let's uh let's show the people 62 views on the video yesterday titled 2000 percent day trading qqq option on expiration day yeah i mean 
how many videos of that title should we have on this channel you guys tell me right because here was this is this is one of them this one was on a monday on both side actually uh puts paid earlier call calls paid later and then there was the one that started this whole um enterprise or series of uh, on qqq was may 15 when we first shared with you that hey there is um option trading on mondays and um on friday uh okay <laughs> i'm laughing because some traders are giving me feedback uh we this, this <laughs> one, one of the the there, there's a trader that's um uh his name is rod he's in st louis missouri we have been speaking for the last couple of days he was asking he was doing his due diligence he wants to join our our trading system but rightfully so uh he was doing his due diligence so i was sending him information for whatever reason actually <laughs> the email that i was sending him they couldn't work eventually i figure out that's most likely uh, my uh, professional email was being blocked so i sent him the email from uh, my personal email but the, the the reason i was laughing because he just he pinged me and he's saying that he's watching the channel so he's live on youtube right now and he said that you are funny i didn't know that i have uh I uh, was I uh, was having some uh, I had some uh, entertainer quality so thank you thank you Mr. Rod <laughs> for for encouraging me <laughs> in in, the, in that sense so yeah, I'm trying I'm trying folks I feel bad when the market is not moving because well, what do we want us to do here <laughs> it's just like okay we're watching pen dry <laughs> the, the entire day so but it's okay tomorrow tomorrow will be another day when when days like this days like this typically that follow especially the next day being expiration day so notice how QQQ set up nicely every other day is expiration day so that, that that's nice on the i haven't shown you a chart of iwm but my left eye is definitely catching that on the iwm is a stock that i mentioned and i need to to really start making trade on it uh, early in the year we made a lot of money yeah it was a lot of 10 baggers that we're making on iwm when the market was recovering right the v-shape recovery but iwm uh, it gaps. I mean, it's going sideways as well. But the point is, the point that I wanted to make is that they started recently providing week uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. Obviously, everybody has expiration on Friday on this thing. So, um, like I'm looking at it now, it's plus plus zero point eighty four percent at two hundred thirty nine thirty five. As you can see, if I can make the screen visible to you guys, okay, it's better on here. And uh, so, <laughs> hey, thank you, Mr. Rod. <laughs> so please, you're making, you're gonna make a blind mind blush on on uh, on YouTube on on a national holiday. <laughs> Mr. Rod is saying that you're very very good at technical analysis. <laughs> oh, and Mr. Rod, okay, Mr. Rod is uh, he's an electrical engineer. Well, he knows he he, he he takes one to to know another one. All right, so okay, Telex. No more touching your own horn on here, but thank you. Thank you for the compliment. So, um, yeah, we were talking about IWM, folks. Let's pay attention to IWM starting tomorrow, okay? Meaning that the same opportunities that we have on QQQ to take Mondays, Wednesday, Friday trade, and in, in the case of IWM, I mean, it could literally be like 1% move, meaning $2 move, and you will you can score over 100% on, on those. While we are doing that, notice how QQ, QS reverting, yeah? So those three 36 put that you set up, again, again, you will be telling me about them at, at some point. So yes, let's not forget about IWM. No, it's up to me actually to start uh, teaching uh, the opportunity on IWM because folks, on days like this, right? So let's say since uh, October on here, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, these last three days on here, nine days here since October 4, I guarantee you, there are plenty of money for us to be making on IWM, just like we make on uh, on, on QQQ because of that introduction of short-term uh, options. So put that one on your list. I have abandoned IWM for a long time now, but uh, no, no, no. It's definitely back in our repertoire, just as much as our friend, our friend uh, Western Digital. How funny will it be? I make money on Western Digital and then I will be driving on my way to the beach passing their, their headquarters. Their headquarters are here in Irvine, California. So I'm going to be passing their headquarters soon, 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 soon on here after making. So we are trading a Western Digital with the 58 calls on here. Let's see if this thing uh, can go there. There's one thing that we told you 
and uh, I, I can teach you how to do that if you are willing to 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 go through the boring mathematical formula. The mathematical formula for the upper Bollinger band. Uh, in our case, the upper Bollinger band here. If I right click, let me right click on it to actually unveil uh, not the formula, but at least uh, the the settings on here, the formula that's a uh, trading view and everybody use. So 20 period, meaning the, over the last 20 candles, the formula is take the average of the closing price. Yeah, that's what this means, source. Yeah, over the, those last 20 candles. Now plus two standard deviations, and then you get the upper Bollinger. Minus two standard deviation, you get the lower Bollinger. That's what I was able to do because I've done it so many times. When I counted 20 candles from here, from where we were somewhere here, and I was able to tell you that the upper Bollinger band will keep increasing. Why? Because the, the path in that formula, average of the 20 candles plus two standard deviation, the big side of that formula is two standard deviation. And the standard deviation in layman terms, right, without me being too technical, is basically the distance between where you are right now and uh, the lowest, the furthest, the furthest point. Look at this point. Every single 15 minutes that passes by, then 20 candles will be going lower and lower. That's how you will know a, a huge technique that you will know. So let's count them here live since uh, Mr. Rod is encouraging me to be technical. Thank you, Mr. Rod. It's your fault. Yeah. If, if, if the good people at YouTube complain that, hey, Telex, don't bore us with the technical details. <laughs> We're going to say blame it on Mr. Rod. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here's the 10th candle. The, the 20th candle, right? So meaning that of the next 15 minutes, the furthest away 15 minute candle will be this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. Guess what? The distance between these candles, the closing of this candle, because they are red, yeah? The distance between them and this one is increasing, meaning the standard deviation is increasing, will be increasing over the next I mean, if it is this one, we still have a full hour, folks, yeah, of the upper Bollinger increasing on this thing. So, hey, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's cheer for Western Digital to go 58 or 58 or 58.5 or whatever. That's the only thing that's moving. Well, when I, when I say that, all right, here is QQQ again. I don't know which stock they are using nowadays to prop it because it's not Tesla. You see, that's the advantage of what we are teaching you today. You can identify and have... Talks, we've, we've talked about that with, uh, let's say, Mr. Nick, for instance, one of our traders here. Uh, which to, how to identify which stock that they are using to prop QQQ because it takes them now in 2021. It's as easy for uh, market makers and these algos to pick one stock and make it just drive the whole thing. While we say that FCX is up plus 9.53% at $41.12. In the meantime, I haven't shown you a chart of that one. To actually, we did at the beginning. We did only once. But hopefully you took that trade, folks. Well, this is daily. This Let's go to 15 minutes on here. Here's a 15 minute. Oh, my goodness. Folks, this chart right now, I, I just look at it. It can go to 42. Yes, it can go to 42. Why? It has plenty of room on the upper Bollinger band. Meaning that this is a perfect, whatever computer is driving this, this one today is doing a fantastic job. Gapped. Can only ride the upper Bollinger band for so long, but then now let the price, the the the, the upper Bollinger goes, make some room for it, and then now they can just deal. Oh my goodness! Wow, what a trade! What a trade on FCX today here! Wow, and it's not a Friday, <laughs> folks. Well, for for the 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 Friday no other traders, then what's going to happen tomorrow? What what are we going to be trading tomorrow? <laughs> Here's your Friday no Wahala trade, folks. Don't ask me for your Friday no Wahala on FCX tomorrow. What a move. And from a daily perspective, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a trade. This is what this thing is doing on the daily chart, folks. This sideways here has been going on since early, early October. This is a daily chart. And just in range, remember how we, wait, was it where we said you will have put an alert on here that hey, when the price close above 39, let's say 39.65, you go long. That alert will have triggered today, my friend, and you'll have been making money. Similarly, you'll have put an alert on here that hey, if the price drop below 36, you'll have gone uh, for for puts. So that that's how you set up alerts on here. So what a move! What a move on all the. On, 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 on FCX on here. 
Wow, amazing. Great trade. Yeah, Square is flat, Roku is flat, Trilo is flatter. Um, at least AMD, AMD is like um, AMD is like behaving like AM, Nvidia. I mean, those two they have been cousin for what for ten years now. So since I've been trading pretty much, I mean, whatever AMD, even when AMD was a seven dollar stock, there were always that competition with Nvidia because Nvidia at the time was like thirty nine dollar stock. Yeah, don't look at Nvidia now. Remember, Nvidia was split four to one. Yeah. So <laughs> it was paid four to one, and it's now it's trading at three hundred, meaning that this is a one thousand two hundred dollars in two thousand and sixteen. Exactly on May the sixteen, uh, uh, two thousand and sixteen was my first time to ever trade Nvidia. I didn't know anything. I took, I bought the option before earnings. The stock went up um, nine percent or seven percent, and then intraday that was the gap, and then intraday it added another thirteen percent. By the end of that year, the stock closed at 100 on the last day of the trading session. And I will always remember that because that was the best run ever that I've seen a stock make a move. I mean, we're trading. I didn't know I was a beginner trader at the time. I mean, I was just following whoever. But in that whatever chat room that we were on that day, everybody was like, Nvidia, wow. And then Yahoo named Nvidia stock of the year. This was in 2016. Fast forward. 2016-2021, you had a stock that in all actuality is actually worth $1,200. That's, that, that, that's what technology does, do, 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 does for stock and, and investing. All right? That little story. How many times have I told that story on NVIDIA? <laughs> I mean, you just have those things. I don't, I hope, hopefully, some of you, you will, you will get those stories that so. <laughs> we will mark yeah the day that that stock did this one oh yeah for nvidia i vividly remember my first day trading it and the first day ever that it went a hundred percent that was the last day trading day of uh, 2016. all right all right all right all right what time is it it is uh europe is close europe is close germany is close we know that and uh, germany i mean they didn't do anything over there today either right so the entire day was spent uh, the DAX closed at 16,000 range, there about, I mean, 15,000 something, 16,000. So they spent the entire day range of 16,034, 16,118. Okay, that's less than even a hundred dollars on the 16,000. Yeah, meaning nothing whatsoever. So, and for us, we are dealing with a similar nothing whatsoever for QQQ. My goodness. Wow, look at this. But the longer I say it like this, for, for, for people who haven't taken a position, the better. Why? Because option weekly option become cheaper. So I always tell traders that do not panic. When you see a stock going sideways, there is still time, especially Thursday and Friday. It gives you a great opportunity to set up string trades because both puts and calls right now on QQQ they are getting cheaper by the minute. So that's fine. So in starting at 2 p.m., then you set up your your swing trade for tomorrow and uh, the idea is will be for one direction to 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 make it big again i'm repeating myself i'm going to go here on the daily chart and show you wish that we showed you uh over two almost three hours ago when we started this live day trading session right this is the candle that we recorded yesterday it closed below the exponential moving average eight the yellow line this morning, we gapped up exactly there. We gapped up three points, but we have been in range of a dollar and fifty cents since the opening on this uh, Veterans Day. So tomorrow, what do I expect? As long as we stay here in this range, right? As a matter of fact, let's say the opening yesterday was 392.45, 392.47. If we do a tiny candle like this, tomorrow I don't care where we open. I'm expecting a similar candle like this, meaning the targets, in this case, the 388 that uh, for us we got into today at 50 cents, they may be worth, because of sideways, right? They could lose as much as 30, 40% of their value, but that's okay. That's okay. We will reload and we'll be ready for tomorrow expiration day.
Hola, my friend. So we have somebody, iBoom Inc. iBoom Inc. And everybody who's watching who I do not know, could you just please tell us where you are trading from on this? Where are you day trading live? Uh, open something live on this um, Veterans Day. Que pasa? <laughs> so welcome to. I see iBoom Inc. Should I know iBoom Inc.? Has been a while. We used to do a daily show on here, but it has been a while. So some of these names I should be familiar with. Where are you trading from? For those who do not know, I'm in Southern California. between Los Angeles and San Diego. Atlanta, Georgia. Excellent. We have plenty of uh, trade. Well, plenty. Who, who's, who's trading from Atlanta, Georgia here? We just have a famous trader here from Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome. Welcome. How did you find out about uh, the, live the live show? Because I'm not sure, folks, based on uh, the... the well, I've been doing this for a year now. I I'm not sure how... Um, YouTube even uh, uh, YouTube even pr pr broadcast uh, the the live show to 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 subscribers or anything. I have no idea, folks. I really really have no ideas. So. Ibom is saying that a Nigerian brother told him about that. Okay, well, thank, thanks to our Nigerian brother who told you about our live day trading, <laughs> day trading option session here on Veterans Day. I used to watch the other live show. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah, I thought that though your name sounds familiar. Though people can change the handle at any time, right? So, but uh, I, usually when I read the uh, Read a name. I my brain tends to capture that information and store it for a long time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. JD is back on. JD. I mean, those those stuck from China. So let's say let's. Let, what's JD doing here? JD is back on. I'm watching on the other screen. I'm watching the successful trader. A lot of watch list folks. That's why I'm able to keep track of any movers. Yeah. Brand new high of the day. So let's repeat, right? Because uh, as time passing by, uh, somebody could say, hey, 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 you didn't hear about this here. So JD, uh, PDD, uh, Baidu and Baba, they were all, they all, were all parts of, they are all parts of this week's uh, trade alert. So JD option, we were tracking it with the 85 calls. They're up 593%, 51 cents bid, 53 cents ask. And Baidu, 175 calls that one is like out there because really that stock hasn't moved all week long but they're up 200 percent 14 cents bid 19 cents ask uh baba uh what strike price were we using 187 and a half this was from last thursday folks so yeah i didn't just pick those strike price yesterday so <laughs> but because the stock didn't move they are now trading at two cents three cents the question is will they be 10 burgers tomorrow or sometime today that's uh, that that question is there and how about our friend PDD? Pundudu, we like Pundudu. I just like saying that. It makes me, <laughs> Pindudu, PDD is the ticker for that, PDD. Not Puff Daddy, come on now, come on, Tenex. PDD, Puff Daddy. <laughs> Pundudu is up 200, we were using, we are using the 98 calls and they are tracking at 219%, but what, 32 cents on the bid, 36 cents on the ask. So that's uh, the picture of, because definitely they, they have gotten momentum. They, the market has been boring, but at least those, those stuff from China, they, they have been trying. As much as Western Digital, QS, uh, who else did we see? Basically, that, that's it, right? Uh, snap, snap, um, snap, fake, fake us out. We, we, we set up that trade yesterday, when the 54 calls. It got into the money and then nothing, but it's hovering at 53.19. Am I concerned? Not at all. Why? Because NAP is on our list of Friday no Wahala. We have this multi-year study. We know the stock that moved on Fridays. Yes. If you are new, you're hearing this for the first time. Wouldn't you want to know 
stock that moved the most on any given day? I can teach you that if you had successful training. Yes. Man, this session is really, 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 really under. No, I need to stop saying that it's boring. It's not because traders are learning out of this. That that's that that's okay. That's so only that's comforting. That's not bad. All right, so plenty of room on the upper Bollinger Band for JD to do something. Uh, so for all of those, because pretty much they have the same setup, right? So spend forty-five minutes here. Notice, folks, yeah. So when, when there is a trend, you have plenty of time to get into the trade. So spend time on here consolidating, finding support at uh, 45 minutes exactly. Post a brand new high of the day. And then since then, tracking higher and higher. So yeah, uh, for the look of it, JD has all of the potential to go 1000% 10 bagger uh, on those 85 calls. That's uh, the successful trade alerts they shared with you last week. We will be sharing a brand new uh, successful trade alert watch list for for you uh, for the the, fix, the folks in our discord room so uh, let's see uh, what it will look like so yeah we do that typically in the last in the last in the closing session such that we have all the prices of today's action how about western digital okay so western digital facing resistance exactly at the same place as last time oh this is good this is good for learning here right remember how we said you're looking at the chart right now look left to find resistance and support. So as of November the 8th, the stock here, the Western Digital stock that we are looking on its 15 minute chart was rejected, meaning that it reached the, a price of $57.72 and then it started coming down. Today, guess what happened? The high was $57.73. One cent, one cent <laughs> difference between the high of this candle on here, uh, which was uh, three days ago, versus today. So let's, for our sake, if we're holding calls, that, hey, this thing actually can beat this resistance today. So, but it reacted exact, so far it's reacting to it exactly like it reacted here. That would be your indication, just like we did for QS to say, hey, hmm, let me set up some puts here because of that knowledge of where the resistance was. So. If you, you can carry a hedge on here, so your hedge, let's say at this level right now, 57 and a half, we can, you can pick, let's say, let me go give you a hedge here of, for those 58 calls if you are writing them with us. So for Western Digital, expiring November the 12th, which is tomorrow, and options on the put side, we want something cheap, yeah? I mean, because the, how much are they worth right now? They didn't sell that cheap, I mean, the calls, the 58 calls right now, bid is 36 cents, the ask is 43 cents. Uh, but for the puts, really, uh, we want something way cheaper than that. Why? Because that's the primary position. I think, I think the 56 puts, that okay as a hedge. And you want to say you want them for 15 cents. Because if this thing is able to break that resistance, you will see 58 today. So we are 50 cents away or 1% away from being in the money. So we want to spend no more than half, let's say 40% of the money on the hedge, of 40% of, of the current uh, position of the call on the hedge. So that's how, for me, I trade. So and uh, using those examples on here, support and resistance. All right. Okay, Album say that he changed his handle. He used to be a Aqua Album. Okay, and he uses the volatility uh, index as an inverse correlation for QQQ and SPY. Yeah, um, I know about VXX. My uh, well, volatility or VXX, they are not always accurate. Trust me, I've seen. If let's say yesterday or whatever, you will see the the QQQ and. Um, all three of them be green at the same time, which doesn't make sense. But I can understand. I can understand. So, from yeah, sometimes I take a look at it. Actually, I have it as one of my indicators. A couple of months, I was taking a, a lot of trade on VXX, but they don't pay that much because it's heavily manipulated. So, you will, like, say, the market is going down, and then you buy VXX call. And then you, you find out, okay, 
I'm making, let's say, I don't know, 500%, 600% on QQQ. Actually, that's when it really goes closer to just buy. And then VXS is paying 100%. I'm like, forget about it. I may as just put all of my money on the, the instrument that uh, I want to track. But yeah, that's uh, that, that that's something on there. Oh yeah, I've, I've noticed that as well. So yeah, meaning that at some, you can trade throughout the week. Uh, if let's say VXX is high, you just take puts on it for expiration. Yes, that has been, but again, for me it was the payout that made me not pursue with that. So we, 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 with that technique, but yeah, I de definitely, you, you have, you have a point on the, I experimented with it for, for a bit. Oh, we are up to 78 playbacks. Thank you folks. Thank you. If you are joining us again for this live day trading, uh, option trading on uh, successful trading, um, uh, veterans day, 2021, for whatever reason, my brain is already set into saying 2022. I hope I see 2022. It's not promised to me or anybody for that matter, but uh, <laughs> the year has just flown by. So uh, let's let, let, let's let's see on here. Ooh. <laughs> I cannot keep a straight face watching QQQ. <laughs> it's three minutes from noon, 12 p.m. Eastern or 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific. And I didn't even have breakfast, folks. So you see, at this time, <laughs> my mind is just those natural instincts, right? <laughs> that you have to, <laughs> to, 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 to abide by. My mind, it's uh, playing tricks on me. So I think I'm going to go downstairs. So because I'm here in my upstairs office <laughs> for this uh, live day trading session today on Successful Trading's channel. Uh, I need to go downstairs, get myself a muffin, a yogurt or something. <laughs> I don't know about you guys because, oof. <laughs> but QQQ, this 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 has not been that bad great. This has not been good at all. So everything is just sideways, sideways, sideways. Yeah. So not good. All right, let's keep an eye on JD then. 85 it is, folks, 85. I hope those in the Discord room, this is a trade that you, you, you saw, right? Before even we put it, uh, we put it on here on this uh, live day trading show show today because has been there we have been tracking so this option as i said right we know what we trade ahead of time so we have a, a we, every thursday we generate a watch list of option that we track yeah 
that's part of the successful trade hours. And I believe on this channel, actually, we have a video on how to trade that if you're a subscriber and you put your hand on that watch list, which is precious. That watch list today is giving gains of 800% right now on JD, 85 calls. So you're able to follow along. Baidu, 227% on the 175 call. Uh, Bing, was, Bing was there, BYNZ was there because of the, the puts, because of the 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 earnings so and here here's jd so qualcomm has been very bullish actually qualcomm yesterday the trade that works was the puts like most most of them but qualcomm has been very strong uh the 170 calls are trading at 21 cents and showing plus 51 percent overnight on that watch list of successful trade alerts Okay, so what are they doing with JD? It's cooling off just like um, Western Digital. But here, I mean, at this stage, we are committed on Western Digital, right? So we this we say the hedge, since resistance is that we are currently facing resistance on there. But it wasn't, I mean, a massive, re it, it had to be no massive resistance, folks. The number of touches, meaning you will have to go back to the left on here to see how many times uh, we have touched that. Actually, quite a few. But then there was one instance here where it went higher recently. This was October 22nd. So it's a significant level for Western Digital trying to go above this 57 and a half level. All right. We shall be patient. QS in the meantime, uh, congratulations to, to, to the, the, the call buyers. It looks as if the puts, uh, if it start dropping below th at, at 38, that the 36 put that we gave you, Maybe what something while we say that, hey, look what we have. Look what we have. QQQ. <laughs> Testing new law of the day, folks. Yeah. Maybe I did well not to go get my, uh, <laughs> my breakfast right away. So let's see. Will this time be the charm? So again, QQQ has tested this level. Here we are. Okay. This is beta on the 15 minute chart. So because both the exponential moving average 8, the yellow line, and the exponential moving average 20, the green line, they are literally on top of each other. So we drop below that. Now, obviously, we are below VWAP. And um, let's see. Does that bring the, the, the new trend? So many. That will have meant that uh, market makers did decide to spend three hours, uh, two and a half hours so far. Uh, the third hour, we are 26 minutes for the third hour, full th third hour, uh, to just go sideways and then uh, decide to drop. But it's not a given, folks. They can do this the entire day. Don't get that past them. And this is what I was afraid of because on a holiday like this, the big boys, the actual humans, uh, maybe they're there in the Hamptons, uh, the, the, the residents for the weekend already. So the computer in charge. So the computer being in charge, that's just they're going to have fun. That's what computers do. High frequency computers, that is. <laughs> so they, they, they can just have fun. So at our expenses, of obviously. All right, so uh, I will be right back. Let me go grab 
some natural forces for for I don't know how long we are going to be keep keep this up, folks. All right. Apologies. All right, we are back. We are back. Live day trading. Um, or trying to trade QQQ. All right. 
this uh, this gentleman wrote this trader wrote was speaking with me on a successful trading blog you can speak to me live on it he just mentioned that yeah he took the 388 QQQ put and doubled the position <laughs> sorry <laughs> I have to go up the stairs <laughs> I have just after 1130 Eastern from the Bollinger Band squeeze and the price touching the top of the Bollinger Band okay so Rob I'm guessing then that will be on the five minutes let's see oh here yes this is 11.35 so okay so you see folks it's currently 12.11 meaning this trade here that Rob took the 388 put they went a hundred percent after let's say 10 20, 25 minutes and this is a move of how much let's say here the price was 392.37 to here 391.10 less than two dollar move give you 100 percent congratulations sir i'm looking forward to trading with you because you are one of those that some few traders that definitely a lot of traders since we start posting the qqq video i'm not sure if you were trading qqq before most likely you were but so uh, based on my exchange with you so far i think we're going to have so much fun trading qqq so congratulations on that hundred percent on the we're still holding hours obviously although we got hours much earlier than that when we recognize this uh, rejection on here so if you are trading live day trading with us here on uh, Veterans Day, uh, we got you into some trade on Q on QS, QQQ obviously as, as of now. So on QS, we said the 36 put there to hedge when the stock was crossing above 38. So that's something that uh, you may be enjoying as well. So <laughs> let's see, I'm distracted on here because I need to go to the Discord and um, give Mr. Rod okay so mr rod you said okay uh you sh i should we should see you in the discord so please come into our discord come into our, our discord uh and um i need to give you access to the channels let's say i don't see you yet but the moment that you show, you show up in our discord you will alert me on there and uh this, this this will be fun so the page the page that um you sign up on mr rod it shows you uh the the next step right that's uh, on that page is just a very simple page that first page will show you um hey click here to join our discord while now qqq is really really even on the five minute but it's still testing the brand and the brand new law of the day because at the prior to that earlier today that low of the day was 391.05 i believe so let's see on here if they can carry on this action in which case we it was okay to 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 be patient i mean it's always okay to be patient in the market yeah <laughs> so patience patience really uh, pa you know how we pa we spell patience here right p a y <laughs> T T I E N C E. So yeah, <laughs> patience. Yeah, the market reward the patient. Yeah, absolutely. So meaning, I mean, look at this day. Many traders trust me, and I mean, it's okay because you don't want to lose money. Or, or also, right? But with calculated risk, because for us we have seen this for a while. With calculated risk, you, you know, okay, uh, we make that entry there, and uh, those go sideways. We still have time. Um, your gains. Or your losses could vary on here but hey option trading I always tell traders yeah you need to be comfortable accepting okay um, stop loss our stop loss that we use here is 30% or my stop loss uh, I mean I don't everybody know, doesn't have to use the same 30% to 40% so 30% um, late into the week like today and tomorrow definitely but Monday Tuesday 40% there about this is assuming i'm trading a directional trade and if really you practice your entries meaning you have confirmation most of the time you will you will avoid um uh, stop being stop loss the other way we avoid stop loss is obviously let's say if we take a trade like um 
our gangster trade in both directions or our overnight swing trade obviously yeah it goes, goes without saying our overnight swing trade are set up as a, as a strangle or uh, all the friday in ohala so three out of the five strategies that we trade here yes we have five strategies that's how we trade you a successful trading that I will coach you on, just like Mr. Rod, who just joined. And um, we go over that. And Mr. Rod advised me yesterday, I, I, I need to, to, to follow what, hey, we will be, I will be recording your one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Yes, you have access to one-on-one -on -one coaching session where the two of us, we come. And those are private coaching sessions, just the two of us, where I record the session and i give you the video so you have your private video of the coaching session i'm not sure if you have it somewhere else on there meaning what's the advantage of that the beauty of that is that you can go back and watch every specific item that uh we discuss in your coaching session and on your coaching session your question can be answered meaning the some of the best traders on here they come in the coaching session with a list of questions which i diligently go and <laughs> proceed to answering those either validating the knowledge that you have acquired or providing putting you on the right direction like on here oh how do i enter a trade how do i exit a trade yeah we do scale exit all of those things so because as a beginner trader those are the questions that uh, will trip trader the most okay folks we're full blown right now new brand new all low of the day on um on qqq at 390 80 so from here remember the numbers that's uh for for us that's uh we, we said, right, I said 385.50. How would I come up with 385.50 at a target price for QQQ for today if the trend was to be bearish? I'll just look at this daily chart. Let's bring it up here. So we have been using the five minute day. I think this is my first day to use five daily, five minute chart <laughs> on most of the, on QQQ certainly. That, but I mean, I mean, it was just, it was helpful to, to for teaching purposes. So that, 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 that's not bad. But typically, I use 15 minutes on that. This is the daily chart. So this low that we put in yesterday, 387.53, it's, it's doable, folks. Yeah, it doesn't, if when a trend starts, especially on the bearish side, it doesn't take this thing that long. They could go sideways again for another 30 minutes here or so. But at some point, those algos, they will say, okay, enough with this. They, they, they go with whatever that's uh they, they 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 want to do so that 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 that's really uh, that's on here so great great that's uh if you you are able to follow along and again this is still actionable so meaning if you are catching this now as we have 80 we have 80 people following and playback okay excellent can we make this 100 folks so if you are on the on the live day trading um a show here this morning on veterans day on successful trading Tell your friend, what are they doing? Are they working? Boo. I mean, those employers, they should be respecting Veterans Day, right? <laughs> they should be respecting Veterans Day, meaning everybody should have today's off, folks. Yeah? You come here, you learn something, you learn um, the option day trading here with successful trading. We are live today. And pardon me, I mean, I could, uh, yeah, we could even get into sharing my breakfast. What do you have, guys, for, uh, have for breakfast? I have a yogurt. I mean, last time, when was the last time? I think I remember the, the best day live trading that you have made here was March the 5th. We haven't done others in between, but the market was boring. The best one that we did, I remember Mr. Moses <laughs> and some others <laughs> with their feedback, was March the 5th, 2021. It was something else. Um, Hello, Mr. Rodney. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> The saying is that the up move takes the stairs and the downs, the down move takes elevators. Yes, yes, absolutely. So yes, that's why we love trading puts. There's more money to be made on puts than calls. Once you know that and you're comfortable trading puts, unlike a lot of retail traders, folks, you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> So let's leave this on the 15 minute charts of um, QQQ and we just watch, okay? So right now the, 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 the resistance is the middle, you see the traders, so one of the questions that we usually have as well. Hey Telex, what is the white line that we see on your chart? The white line, which um, TradingView calls the basis here, 
is the middle of the upper Bollinger Band in red here and the lower Bollinger Band in purple. So that's one as well behave as a natural support and resistance. Uh, here's an illustration of that, right? Notice how the price just touched that and currently that price is $390.60, $390.60 and then it bounces off of it. If it breaks that, then we're targeting $390 and again, the lowest price of this year. So from a, and again, I was never good at art in school, in my engineering school. This is the potential shape we could be looking at. What time it gets, it gets to the same level as yesterday, I'm not sure, yeah? But again, that's my lame attempt at, at drawing this. Will it be at 2 p.m. Eastern? <laughs> The sooner, the faster, the better. Why? Hey, the sooner they get there, the more money we make. So yeah, oh yeah. So for my breakfast, I have some dried fruits. Those, um, I mean, we're not gonna advertise for any brand here, right? <laughs> they call them what? Tra trailer mix. Yeah, I could eat those all day. Okay, okay. So Western Digital 5765. Come on, Western Digital. If the trade doesn't work out for me, folks, I will go complain to the corporate office. It's down it's down the street for me here. So Western Digital, how come your stock didn't go to see fifty-eight dollars today? <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> Mr. Rod, you are cracking me up more than myself. <laughs> Mr. Rod, because again, Western Digital Corporate Office are down the street for me. Mr. Rod saying he would like to see <laughs> the, <laughs> my visit to the corporate office, <laughs> Re the recording of that. <laughs> I think the will is caught me with prejudice, yeah? <laughs> That's what will happen. <laughs> I'm not even a shareholder, so... <laughs> because that's a, they don't care about option trader, yeah, if anything. They will ask you, are you a shareholder? Maybe if you're a shareholder, they, they, then if I say yes, they will entertain <laughs> my <laughs> frivolous complaint. <laughs> but if no, 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 they wouldn't. No, let's, let's hope it doesn't come to that, no. The stock is consolidating on here. No. I, I see 58, really. Well, I need 58. <laughs> we have three hours. Uh, yeah, we have three hours and um, 35 minutes. So, no pressure, Western Digital. You don't want to see this guy going to your corporate office. <laughs> uh, that's a good one.
So yeah, we were talking about this. Hey, what's the deal with this, folks? Tell your friends. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can buy one share, all right. <laughs> How many shares do you want? <laughs> I gave you my mis a measle, a meager $57.67. And then, <laughs> the stock, that my investment didn't pan out. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Oh boy. So yeah, could we get more people to for to, to watch this show folks? What's what's the secret? I mean of all the people right that are doing live day trading on the memorial on memorial on Veterans Day <laughs> today. So the good people at YouTube they decided that hey 80 people will show up. Where where is everybody else? <laughs> where is everybody else? 80 views folks. Out of three hours, over three hours of broadcast that you have been doing already. Maybe not, let me not eat in the mic. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, Western Digital. Brand new high of the day. I didn't. The candle, if this 15 minute candle will close in uh, three minutes, but uh, 57.80, we like that. Market makers are playing with this one. We have noticed that most of the time when Western Digital um, calls or put the get go into the money, they play with the spread. So like right now, the 58 call that's where we are trading, the bid is 47 cents, the ask is 58 cents. Should this thing get into the money here, please, uh, do not, do not sell it at the bid because they, they're going to be trying to that's their way of making money obviously they 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 are going to be to, to to try to just take some some dollars off of it so for me looking at this and again super patience on here because just just the trend hey if i perish i perish remember we predicted the advancement of the upper bollinger band so the the, the 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 position for us we feel comfortable is really that 58 50 that's where the upper bollinger band it is right now so let's see how long it's going to take it on here as long as this thing continue to post higher highs it doesn't have to be every single candle but you stay in this trade in that manner uh, being in the money today expiration is tomorrow still works into your advantage QQQ stop, yeah? This is how QQQ trade. If this is your first time on here, let, let, let's, let's do some teaching here on QQQ. The five minutes is the best for teaching, actually. You see this candle here at 12.15.
brand new law of the day. QQQ have this uh, propensity to do things of this nature. They put in a law, especially when, when it's going down. They put in a law, and then now they're going to spend here, this is so far 15 minutes ongoing, just either sideways or bouncing back off. And the reason for this because the price here fell outside of the upper Bollinger Band. Some traders will tell you that they have a strategy onto, hey, just buy calls on these indexes when they fall outside of the upper Bollinger. And more time than none, it works. Well, it didn't work yesterday here, right? Because here we were up, up lower, outside of the lower Bollinger, outside of the lower Bollinger, a little bit up of it, but then it continued. So in here, you will see this a lot when you are trading puts, right? So the 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 the, the knowledge here to gather is this yellow line, the EMA eight. It's going to be acting as your resistance. So as long as the price is below it, you don't need anything. Furthermore, I could even say, as long as the price is below the green line, the exponential moving average 20, you do not get out of those puts if you have time left. We have plenty of time left. The expiration is tomorrow. The trend here, finally, after a long time of sideways on, on this one on here, let me go back here on the, the sorry that I'm using uh, should we dish this Tesla? Yeah, let me dish Tesla because Tesla is of no good. It was just to make the point how they correlate. So, but now coming back here, five minutes by itself. Oh, and then obviously I dish Tesla, but that's I kept Tesla. Shame on me. So QQQ. So these three candles that we have here now. Oh, okay, Telex. This uh, this drawing here or attempt to draw. I need to get rid of it. Sorry about that. I've been struggling to get rid of those blue lines. They mean nothing. The blue line don't mean nothing. Don't pay attention to them. So you are paying attention to the yellow line on here, which is now being confused with that green line. Oh my God. I thought... Okay, okay, that's why. Okay, fantastic. Okay, now if I do this... Okay, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Good. Okay, sorry for the distraction. Okay. Okay, so this here is a test <clears throat> for you because you're going to see this a lot, yeah? That test is, hey, I was trading puts and then I saw a green candle. So what? So nothing. You still stay in this trade as long as the price is below the yellow line. As long as the price is even below the green line, you stay on this trade, yeah? Because all that could happen will be Reject the rejection at the yellow line and then the price continue down. Oh, why is this happening? This year happening because there's no room on the lower Bollinger side, right? That's why the price here fell below. So the computers, the fast, com the fast trading computers, they, they are programmed, they know the destination of this stock. You and I, we don't, right? So we are discovering this as we go along. So they know that in order for them, let's say, to go to 390 or whatever, to do that nicely, they will need for this... Um, pink lower Bollinger to continue decreasing. So this is just not time wasting, but biting time to get clearance into the, the, this year. I can make do a better explanation on that on our one-on-one -on -one coaching session, but this is something that I see a lot of traders. Hey, this will be a case here. Oh, I mean, selling on here, you will feel good about it, right? You will get some 100%, 150% like Mr. Road. They, there's nothing wrong with that. You can take partial profit there, but do not close the entire position because Hey, after this year, whatever this is, uh, the true direction is bound to continue. Or they can decide to reverse. That's perfectly okay, but at least we want to be able to see that. 82 playback. Thank you, whomever asked the friend to, 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 to come see with us. So we, we need 18 more playback. Hello. Some some people with the, on the channel, they will say, oh, they will do something if the number of viewers goes to a certain level. What, what, what should I do? I'm giving free trades here, uh, live day trading options on uh, Veterans Day 2021. So what else am I to, to, to do? Oh, I can give winning trade for tomorrow? Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. So we have 100 people. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to unveil our successful trade alert watch list live. Okay. Go tell your friends there. No more excuse. So next week, successful trade alert watch list start. Now if you're hunting, well, this guy's giving 
sorry the successful trade alert watch list what's in what's in there well today for instance that watch list is providing a 600 percent winner on jd are you interested in 600 percent last week can, can you show them telex can you show them some of the successful trade alerts or the overall some of the results that we have gotten here recently uh, yes we can if i can switch this view to go to okay now okay now let, let's maybe before we do that let's really see here this is the real test so hey telex you told me to stay in the trade <laughs> no it's reversing above the yellow line it's even attacking the green line <laughs> what say you telex i'm still on <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in. It's only 12.36. The market up closes in three hours and I still have tomorrow. <laughs> As a matter of fact, something similar happened here, right? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six candle. It went all the way to the upper bull in Durban. That's when Mr. Rod entered enter his trade, right? So here... It's barely at the EMA 20, so what the fuss? No worries. How do they say? No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to owe me money to Disney. To say Akuna Matata, everything, no, no Wahala. <laughs> no Wahala. <laughs> Now, this candle, again, this is five minutes interval, so may not give do us any justice. But now, on the 15 minute, okay, Telex, what do you want to do here? I don't want that, Telex. Come on. I want to delete this so that we have a clear view on the 15 minute chart. Okay. On the 15 minute chart, okay. So we bounce off of the, the middle of the upper Bollinger and lower Bollinger band. Come on, to like show people this, the, the right information. Yeah. So now here we are testing virtually is the same, the EMA 8 yellow line and EMA 20 green line. They are virtually identical, right? 31.45 for EMA 8, 30, 30. 391.45 for EMA 8, the yellow line. 391.40 the EMA 20 the green line the identical so the price here is going to go over both of them or is trying to go over both of them but we have this candle we close in seven minutes so the other way of that's how will allow you to be patient in your trading make decision at the end of candles meaning like in the middle of this candle we had three consecutive red candles though this one they, they will call it a hammer, okay? But, I mean, here, if you make a, a decision here in the middle of this candle, you don't know how it's going to close. It may well be that in the last three, four, five minutes of this candle, guess what? It has a, an upper shadow, meaning a week. Yeah? So, be patient. Be patient. Wait, wait for it to, 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 to work itself out. Still 82 people, folks. The deal is with 100 people here watching this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's what's the incentive? So yeah, I need it to go find. I need it to go fetch. But I don't want to upset. We need to show people the the ten bagger channel of our of our Discord. 
for Discord room? Can I? Can we do that? Felix, do you have the authority to do that? <laughs> um, respect my authority. <laughs> Who was used to say that, Mr. Cartman? <laughs> All right, I didn't do it last week, so my apologies. But at least this was um, at the end of October. This was a summary of uh, what's what's what we're able to do. But we did a ten bag on Friday from the successful trade alert watch list. So hey, remember how that trade? What was uh, was it? Baba? There are three cents now, folks. Hey, I'm not sure. We are not doing any live tomorrow, right? But uh, if uh, on Saturday, I usually do these summaries on on Saturday, right? I said, oh, 1,000 baggers on Baba. Well, that trade is available right now. And <laughs> of 3 cents. All it will take for Baba is to gap up 5 cents tomorrow, uh, $5 tomorrow, and you could get that. But these were the results. So these results, you can find them typically also on um, on our Twitter feed. What's my Twitter feed? At Gangster Trade. Mm -hmm. So tag us, follow us on the, oh yeah, secret 1000% strategy reveal. Oh my goodness. Delex has even a secret strategy on how he get 10 baggers on QQQ. Are you kidding me? So that was that week, really. La last week, the highlight last week, um, let, me, let me share that. One of the highlights was from the successful trade alert. Mm, last week was what? November, November. Oh yeah, this one you have you have to show this to people, folks. Um, I mean, here was B1. Yeah, this wasn't today. This was the the expiration. All right, actually today B1 did the highest that it did though, or maybe six hundred percent, two thousand percent on B1. This is what they pre-announced the result, and Snap was after the earning, meaning we could have gotten in this trade before, right, to to, to get the, 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 those pay up. But I want to show you what's a successful trade alert momentum look like the very embodiment of it and then after that i will let you guys decide if we deserve 100 viewers here at the same time okay november the 4th last thursday yes yes this is how it started 7 17 a.m pacific time meaning 10 17 eastern time nvidia 270 call again you have this trade the computer that created this that are the code that i wrote in 2017, it gave us this trade every Thursday, and we use them for the next entire week from Friday to Friday. So, last Thursday, meaning we, uh, we were on November the, 5th, the 4th, and expiration was November the 5th, this is what NVIDIA was doing. <laughs> but if you thought that so, your, what will be your reaction here, most of you? I'm asked traders. I know what the reaction is. Oh, I missed it. It has moved up too much. So I'm going to show you the next three screen capture and then I'll leave you to that. 9.06. The first screen was 7.17. From 900% to 1,715%. The contract were worth 15 cents. $15 rather. Well, obviously now. And the, you, you will have another, uh, some of you may have another concern about this, but I already have the remedy for that. So. $15 to $25. $35, 2,394%. $41. This is momentum. Successful trade alert momentum. I will I will not be a good host if I did not show you a, a because you could say, oh, that was a fluke or something, right? Um, prior to that, something big. I want to. I, 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 I mean, I don't want to be showing you things like eight hundred percent. Yeah, you, you, you guys are above that. Yeah, you come here, watch this channel for ten baggers. So, Telex shows the ten baggers. So, just a really a momentum trade that you all, you only needed a piece of that. Yeah, here's a ten bagger here on FCX, just like today, but on October eight. But hey, that's that's not the one that I want to show you. Yeah, no, 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 three hundred percent. That that that's too that's that's too little. Uh, this 2100% on here on SPCE, yeah, it's good, but come on now, Telex, show us, show us something. So show us something to show us. So I will oblige by scrolling all the way because, uh, again, it's just random, right? I have folks, people could be saying that, hey, this thing, 
this guy says that the headquarters of western digital there by his house so he must know something that some of us don't know no <laughs> i do not <laughs> remember earlier i was eager to go ask for my money when mr Rowe asking me to record that so but i want to show you a trade here i think it was august the 12th similar to the one from last week on here on uh, again those are big trade my friend if i mean if, if those two incidents do not con give you conviction okay so on this day 652 after 22 minutes this was the beginning of the day western digital 64 put plus 1571 percent the worst reaction that you could have gotten as a trader to this is hey i missed the trade why the trade this is was after 22 minutes what the the trading day lasts six hours and 30 minutes there was six hours and eight minutes left what do you think this stock was going to do well let me show you what it did 1900 uh, percent so we started at 652 pacific time 729 uh 727 pacific time meaning 1027 eastern literally this was then 35 minutes later than this they went from 1500 percent to 1900 percent still at that time you would have still said oh that, that i missed the trade it's up too much or it's down too much in this case so fast forward uh, 739 from 7 7 29 12 minutes later 2100 percent but look at the cost of the contract actually this for me i'd rather be in this type of trade versus the the, the nvidia one then 2800 percent these are how the successful trade alerts they work so i'm giving you a sample view of some of the most shocking one because you will be exposed to that upon joining yeah how will you be able to handle um a momentum like that will determine how successful you are going to be trading with us on here so that's why we're asking that hey uh tell your friends uh what we are doing on here we want so that they can witness this live right we want more than 82 playback okay let's check on our friend here what did he do uh okay let's go to the 15 minute chart okay the fat cannot close above ema 8 and ema 20 so what one candle doesn't change the trend i'm seeing <laughs> so telex when are you going to decide that the puts have not worked on here then hmm well remember what we said right for me i entered this trade when the were the price was 300 392 and 50 cents well i will say i switch from bearish to bullish if the price goes above that right now it's one dollar below that no wahala <laughs> Hey, I forgot to check. Hey, Mr. Rod, were you able to get uh, um, the link for our Discord? I don't see you in our Discord, sir. Unless you access it previously. So in that case, let me know what your handle is. So Western Digital, we need a mere 24 cents to be in the money on a Thursday. Come on, Western Digital, speedy. Don't me, don't me, don't make me go to your corporate office, okay? I won't be courageous to do it, and especially record it as Mr. Rod is suggesting. <laughs> I may sneak in, but it's not courageous enough to say, "Oh, I want to show the world." <laughs> How many shows were on one? All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm answering Mr. Road here.
So folks, when you join, for those who will be joining today, right? I'm using Mr. Road Experience here who, who joined today. Um, you will get, after signing up immediately, the, you will get a page that's called onboarding. Yeah? Do not ignore that. That's where the next step of your information are. So I need to send that to Mr. Road. Because no, it's not on the receipt. It's not on the receipt. It's uh, the page where you you sign up. That, but that's okay, Mister Rod. I I got you covered. I got you. So what do we want to do? We want to we want to send this to Mister Rod. And what are we sharing right now? We don't want the world. Yeah, so, okay, that's fine. So, I need to do this. Oh, yeah, but actually, yeah. So, let, let me show the people. Oh, maybe not. So, upon joining, there are videos, pre-recorded video that uh, will make it easier for you to get going. So, those, those are the basic video and really the focus on technical analysis. So, how to recognize a bullish setup. How to recognize a very setup. So reply to Mr. Rod, and we are saying that onboarding onboarding link with uh, Discord. Actually, let me type the Discord info on the as well. So control V. Okay. Discord. Okay, so I should have the Discord link where? Where's the Discord link? The Discord link is here. As a matter of fact, I think nowadays we're sharing our Discord link, right? So anybody can have access to our Discord channel. I mean, again, getting access to our Discord channel does not mean that uh, you are getting... Um, all of those resources that's our traders are getting that but having access to the discord because there are plenty of channels like our just winner channel uh some of the channels are free on here so we share information that will help you on the oh mr rod said he's on discord that's true he's on discord but i haven't sent the email yet how did you manage that <laughs> okay so let me let me just okay <laughs> control v <laughs> mr rod is on discord so here's Mr. Road live on Discord, and I'm going to say hi, <laughs> and I'm going to say welcome to successful trading. So yeah, I tend to greet people like that. Okay, trying to multitask here, folks. All right, so Mr. Rod, you are all set inside of our Discord. You should now have access to all of the channel. Congratulations, welcome aboard. So let's see here then, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, one of the stocks on here, oh my goodness, this stock is all over the place, but that's how I trade. Folks, while we're away, while we're away, when we broke momentarily from this uh, live day trading session <laughs> on the, uh, Veterans Day, QS was too hot, yeah, on the upper Bollinger. It was only able to go there for four candles. This rip, that's a good rule, right? So you're trading a stocks. Well, it can ride the upper Bollinger, let's say the 15 minutes uh, for, uh, let's say here, it did quite a while. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's an hour and a half. Today, one, two, three, four, then an hour of sideways, and then boom. I've seen this before. I have seen this before. You can notice this 
on the chart of this stock I and now it's at 39 meaning you are holding those 39 calls plus the 36 puts now you find yourself the calls are definitely making money on on, on here so yeah let's uh, so this sideways on here and then the burst so let's hope for the same thing you see you see what I'm saying as long as there's room on the upper Bollinger Band so let its power is nicely setting up here for Western Digital come on Western Digital <laughs> <laughs> so earlier when we look we, we start looking at this remember my comment was that hey uh, this thing can go to $40 yeah it's not that far-fetched folks the high here was $39.84 as a matter of fact on this big candle so Western Digital was your turn we are waiting the next online will be um, JD as well JD usually closes nicely when 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 JD stock is it has momentum it closes nicely either JD stock fades all closes nicely so there are three hours left on here so something has got to give so let, let's see how about our friend qqq mm -hmm. still misery where eh? it's still misery not much going on not much going on well i need to carry on then with my breakfast <laughs> before i was rudely interrupted <laughs> by <laughs> What's what's inter I don't know that anything interrupted my breakfast or anything. I interrupted my own breakfast. No problem, Mr. Rod. 85. Oh my goodness. No pressure, Telex. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are 15 viewers away from recording 100 uh, live playback. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Especially at this time, let's say it's lunchtime in New York, right? On the East Coast. So, come on. Who's going to be working in the afternoon on Veterans Day? It was about this time yesterday that the queues, they decided to get mad. So, typically, the same computer may control two days in a row. So meaning if you have sell orders, that's the one that's going to be piloting QQQ. So let's hope on here. Step number one, we need the current candle that we should be closing in two minutes to close below the orange and the orange. The yellow exponential moving average eight on the 15 minute chart and the green exponential moving average 20. Once that happened, then uh, that green candle, uh, prior green candle will be all forgotten. It was just a blip on the road you see this is how you will manage not to get uh, stopped out of your position now if you ask me hey but Telex how about my stop loss does my stop loss of 30 percent 40 percent be um, be met on here I I don't think so with expiration tomorrow but somebody tell me if let's say they trigger that oh yeah Hence, if let's say you had a trailing stop on here because here was 100%, that's why they do this, right? Because they know, they know that something like a trailing stop, they will trip it and then continue their way down after the, your position has been closed. So the way to avoid those instances is to make sure that your trailing stop is not too close, too close to the price, meaning... You will be willing to say that, hey, once you make those gains, you are go you are willing to give back maybe 25, 30% of that. Okay, Western Digital, Western Digital, here we go, here we go, here we go. Plenty of room to go to 58.50. That's what we are looking for. And now, the, the 58 calls on Western Digital, the bid is 52 cents, the ask is 55 cents. At least, at least they are getting it close. So we are 2 cents. No. Seven cents. I'm watching two screens on here, folks. I have, I have a big screen on the left. I have 
another big screen well i don't know obviously they are not big enough because if i have to skim it but i think it's my font that i need to change on one of them so and let me do that right away uh zoom larger all right uh, maybe not so large okay that's good enough thank you Terex. and also this lights actually the lights uh into this studio broadcast coming to you from live from southern california ah oh, come on western digital what say what's what's what say you come on come on you gotta do it there's plenty of room and here folks this year look how the exponential moving average it's the yellow line with uh, <laughs> how it's just tracking nicely yeah this is this is this is the type of trade that you it's a literally no one type of trade because since the price has been going up you never had a moment where the trend reversed i mean we had one red candle so what right from now on one, one of the biggest takeaway from some of our, my beginner traders out there is hey when you're in a trend a different color of candle does not change that trend yes so we are proving that on here on western digital we didn't even bother yes so uh here earlier it will let's show you qqq look now Look what's happening now, folks. <laughs> that green candle, do you remember it? I don't. I don't. <laughs> now, the only thing left on here is, okay, are we going to go below this white line, right? Which is the middle of the upper Bollinger and the lower Bollinger. And I said yesterday, it was about this time that I wasn't even in front of the computer, folks. When I came in from downstairs, I think maybe I may have gone for my lunch again. So two days, can we have the same scenario two days in a row? Well, but not today. I already have my my lunch, my breakfast. It's lunch in New York. It's breakfast in California. Yeah. <laughs> and whatever parts of the world that we you you are getting this uh, this after. we didn't get that many of you to say where they're trading from. 86 86 playbacks come on now come on now folks so i make me make me live up to the my end of the bargain so we will be revealing live our watch list for next week uh, expiration november the 19th yeah oh, oh, the watch list for expiration november the 19th had to be worth something right because it's the monthly expiration is the weekly expiration so it's going to be something Beautiful girl gets a positive vibration on, on, oh yeah, <laughs> Beautiful girl gets a sending positive vibration on, um, on Western Digital. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, positive vibration of uh, QS uh, tr uh, tr uh, traders, uh, they, they traders of uh, the 40 calls on here. Mucho, mucho gracias. So yeah, Western Digital is just, I mean, at this stage, really, it's just a matter of time. What could be uh, holding back or thwarting that plan will be the fact that our friend QQQ here has resisted, has resisted, but I'm pretty sure, I'm uh, I'm afraid that QQQ will have to, well, I'm not afraid because, oh, remember, they are holding the 40, the 388 put, so they will be uh, $3, uh, they're currently $3 out of the money, so... Uh, we are cheering for them to be in the money today on payday, payday, Thursday, November the 11th, The disappointing stock of the day is definitely snap after i got to in the money at 54 those 54 calls i was actually but it went to 54 40 or something yeah so yeah we had time to make money 
But if you are carrying it for tomorrow, as a Friday, no wahala, even better. But I mean, we have three hours left on here. What QQQ is ready to show us is true face, is true nature. Which, if you allow me to go to the daily chart of QQQ, you see this massive run here from uh, October the 27th? 10 consecutive days of higher highs of green candles. So now, don't let anybody know. Keep it on the hush hush. If today, if today closes with a red candle, this will be five consecutive days of red candles. Just keep it on the hush hush, folks. Yeah? Isn't this about a good time? Like, I don't know, some type of news coming <laughs> to, just, to just take your QQ. <laughs> just take your QQ. I mean, I don't know, it doesn't really matter which direction it goes. Just, I mean, wow. This is. This is less than two dollars, folks. The average throw range here. That's yaks. Yaks, literally. Okay, the broader market. So far. Okay, so far up. Evigo. FSR. Wow. That have been the leading, and now QS is joining into that. So look, let's look at this daily chart here of QS. Trying to identify, um, looking at the whole ch chart, what when will you have acted on on, to, on 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 this to take a trade? What day? Yeah. So yeah, you guys can 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 see this view. So I mean, I know it's not exactly precise, but uh, or oh, what price? What 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 at what price here would you have acted? It will have given you a definite sign that hey, it was a must trade. And post that, so post that on our, on our live, and I will and I will circle back in five minutes. Oh my! Let me see. Actually, uh, yeah, because those those lights in my eyes, they they, they were too much. Okay, so the stock from china they are stalling or they they are biting the time okay so in this this is literally me just a feeling so um we said oh yeah how about shibu uh shibu is so so 54.70 okay here's your five minutes and on the five minutes of qqq you can see clearly how the white line middle of upper bollinger band and lower bollinger band behave as a resistance rejected under so now the question on here now we are below 391 another major level is strictly when are we going to post a brand new low of the day previous low of the day was 390 and 60 cents oh, oh my friend my friend my friend uh...
90 folks 90 playback we are getting there we are getting there so telex you need to start warming up the computer right <laughs> you all the good people of youtube your live day trading successful trade alert for next week expiration november the 19 2021 did i say all all of it <laughs> Will it qualify if I give? And so how many of them, how many of those alerts will the computer be giving us? So typically, uh, let me show you then, let me show you. Uh, can we do that? Yeah, we can do that, Telex. Well, I mean, QQ is taking his sweet time to break. Maybe it's not going to break. So we have time to, to show the people uh, how our trade alerts works, right? So yes, we can do that. So let me bring it here. Uh, let's go to and this is something you can see on our discord inside of our discord without being a subscriber by the way so I need to switch screen here so switch screen and show discord okay okay so on this here uh, you will see this table which shows um, how many trade alerts per, per week and the average move per stock so meaning the uh, on these dates here 16 alert 16 alert 17 alert or 17 stocks they are not alert per se right so and um, then uh, the average move for each one of the stock now it doesn't tell you if it's up or down yeah that's why inside of the successful um, the, the, the trade alert watch list we are tracking we are ready to track each one of the stock that the computer gives us either with the calls and with the puts so but the entry the number of entries between 16 and 17 we don't have to trade them all no we trade the one with momentum and that momentum we identify it day to day based on the market percentage change of the options so that's a very easy on there so the idea is your option you're watching your option watch list if you want you can create an, um, an alert every night if you want on there but it's a little bit little bit of work but i mean it could take you like 15 minutes if you are not able to be in front of the screen for the day trading uh, session so when those that, that that option start moving like the jd calls today when we were telling you that they were 700 percent well before they get to 700 percent when they were worth 53 cents they started the day at 14 cents so they start going 14 cents 16 cents 17 cents and so forth right so that's when you take the trade so that 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 that's that's how that that that's work so we're sharing you in this live day trading today on um, veterans day 2021 uh some of the the secrets some of the inside of successful trading and the things that's happening here in our discord room all right all right all right all right so let me then let me then go back to the perennial question is qqq moving where are we and are we there yet no we are still not there yet on western digital 58 calls it's taking a sweet time next that feature uh i mean sell-offs looks to happen if not that if price drop below sixteen thousand. okay yeah uh, mr I mean, during during the day yeah that's some i look at the futures let's say in pre-market to give me an idea uh especially if i want to correlate them with the dax but during the regular session i mean I have the chart of the the stock itself right so the futures do not help me predict really that much what's um the future on the on the dax for instance um yeah they could show me something but the futures of the tech itself us tech nasdaq it's at sixteen thousand forty eight, but it's doing those reverse use so post a low bounce back up come back post a new low which is not bad which is not bad so here the charts for for today looks really like it could go back to fifteen thousand nine hundred. But again, whatever that action is, it will be mimicking itself on the chart of QQQ itself on here, which right now three ninety one oh five. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Decide something. Decide for yourself. QS in the meantime is resolute into going to forty dollars. I mean, it's just so you see this. this um, they call this a bull flag if you want, but I'm not. I'm not big into giving those names, dropping names like for for just the sake of that. Yeah. Okay. The stock is consolidating. It puts in a high consolidating, resting up if you will, and trying to go. So, Western Digital. When is your go time? The upper Bollinger of West on Western Digital 15-minute chart is now showing at 
$58.84. So we need a big candle. Just like QS did. And at that stage, we will be very happy. <laughs> Ninety-one, ninety-one. Uh, ninety-one is the number of playback that I'm tracking right now. So, <laughs> yeah, because I said ninety-one, and then on the right hand side, I was reading Mr. Ibom post that fifteen thousand eight hundred one four is his target for the Nasdaq futures. While in your main view, we have been treated into a is scrolling it's not even scrolling i mean what what was this here it's it's more than scrolls crawling it's oof this is yeah this happens so actually did we know if let's say this was the case last thursday because that's another technique you can go week to week to see what happening so last week uh was november november yeah last week was november the fourth no last week at this time we were all oh no 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 it was doing the same thing no not quite, not quite. Actually, in November the 4th, uh, look at this. Gap up, big high, consolidated a little bit. No, no, there was movement. The, the stock went from 394, let's say 394.51, all the way by midday, it was already at 398. So we gained $4 in half a day la last Thursday. But last Friday, last Friday, folks, this is what transpired. There was no trading QQQ last Friday. If you think that today is bad, last week <laughs> this this is this is these are 15 minute candle of qqq last week so for the first one hour two hour for the first three hours the managed the feast to be between 400 and four well the high here was 499 so they move one dollar in three hours so at least today we are moving a dollar fifty so <laughs> We're moving a book 50 today, so compared to <laughs> last Friday. So hopefully, uh, the last Friday and last Thursday, they will flip forward to, to this week, right? So today we are having a no trading zone on QQQ on, on Thursday. So tomorrow we get to have $4. So, but I still need this close to what well, I need. I still would like if this close, close below, let close as close to 388, 389 as possible then that $5 is going to be a big, four $5 will be a big, more meaningful tomorrow. So yeah, uh, this is not the first time it happens. And especially, especially when we do live session, 
Oh boy, because hey, but at least hey, we, we are trying really to make this as a coaching session today for a lot of our beginner traders out there. So thank you for sticking with us on this uh, live day trading session on Veterans Day, November 11, 2021. Because this is, uh, this is it. Even stock that, let's say, were promising earlier. I mean, yeah, look at this. Uh, this is 15 minutes on JD. This is now two hours of nothing after posting a high at 84. Here's a 15 minutes of uh, Western Digital. This one, I'm not so, so concerned uh, because um, it doesn't pay. I go to the corporate office. <laughs> hey, come on, this. <laughs> this option, this option is paying off really nicely. Come on, man. This the stock is up for almost five percent. You know the last time that Western Digital moved five percent, it has it has been in there has not done that in a while other than gap down from earnings. Yeah. So hey, some uh, some some credit to Western Digital here today especially when the rest of the market is not moving so i appreciate you western digital we appreciate you here <laughs> for many many service renders <laughs> oh boy 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 paypal oh my goodness i that's serious paypal <laughs> i i cannot even they, 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 there's no showing you the charts of that stock forget about it but now folks though no. tesla is red Tesla is minus 0.5%. Why is this significant? Remember earlier, if you were not with us, we showed the correlation of Tesla, which is part of the QQs, obviously, and QQQ, right? We, we had a chart where we did a split mode between the two of them. They track literally the, the, the same there about. But at the time, Tesla was still green. Now it's minus 0.62. So here, I think the last three hours, or well, the last two and a half hours, really, uh, plus 15 minutes extra for the Qs, right? they could be telling us something on here yeah another rejection on the five minute chart of the yellow line ema8 that's what you want when you are trading options and it's really just a waiting game yeah theta gk may affect you depending on how far your stock price are but for the most part the trend is like this you just stay in it sooner or later it will break down and uh, that's when uh, you will get the reward Everyone, because every one of these rejection, right? It will be attracting other traders. Yeah, I mean, we know the big traders who move the market, but they know the destination of this. But so, if let's say this stock needed some encouragement in the direction that is going, which is bearish in this case, we are three ninety ninety five. That's good. So let's see. Definitely below three ninety close here is more than possible. Is more than is. Yeah, well, it's not well. It's from a trend perspective, right? From a trend perspective, that is. Ninety-two playback. Ninety-two playback. Uh, Mr. Ibom is heading to Starbucks for coffee. If he will be back in an hour to catch the close, okay? Who wants something from uh, Starbucks? Mr. Ibom is is buying. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, so <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Though I may need it at some point because after a day like this today, I mean, no, oh, I need to drink water. I need to drink water. <laughs> So we need to see Tesla break down and uh, let me show, let me show those who may be catching this right now because this is significant. So I can do split mode here. I split my screen into two. Uh, that's a feature that uh, you can get on the paid version of, uh, so instead of Amazon, which is interesting, but uh, not as interesting as our friend QQQ. So right hand side, we're going to have QQQ. Now we can afford to go 15 minutes on it. Yeah. Brand new low of the day, uh, not quite, 390, 60 is hovering, it's flirting with it. And then Tesla on the left hand side, again 15 minute chart, 
to see the correlation. So the lower Tesla goes, uh, so that will take the cues along with it. Enjoy, folks, and leave comments on uh, on the live chats on there. It's okay if you 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 like uh, the content of this to to leave comments and to give likes into this show as well. Yeah. I forgot to ask about that. No, I don't know if I should be asking about that. I mean, should I ask people if they... I don't know. I feel I feel funny sometimes with those things. Asking some... Like asking people to subscribe. No, I stopped doing that a long time ago. If you want to subscribe, you think that there are value, you subscribe. It, doesn't, it shouldn't take me to tell you, oh, subscribe to my channel. Yeah. If you're watching it, that's fine enough. <laughs> Alright, so do you see similarities between the charts on the right hand side, which is Invesco QQQ um, 15 minute chart versus left hand side Tesla 15 minute chart currently trading at $1,059. So if you have $1,059, will you put that right now to buy one share of Tesla? Elon, Elon is, 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 is selling, right? Isn't it what we, we were reading on the headline this morning? So Tesla goes down minus two percent, then QQQ is gone. Is a goner. So here now the question is when is the price going to meet this lower Bollinger band? So the lower Bollinger band seems to be moving by uh, come on, that's Tesla one. Uh, so by three eighty eight fifty six three eight. So by fifty cents each time. So okay, so fifty cents each time. So meaning over the next thirty minutes, here maybe the price will be three ninety. I don't know. There's no telling with this guy. Hmm. (laughs) 
So what's the thing we show? Uh, any new thing? Okay, so it's a case of SoFi, EVGO, App, FSR, the most bullish ones. From the opening of the session, those, those top five have been consistently the same. Bumble fix B1. So B1, as you say, this is so meaning that there was no making money today on B1, for at least from the gunstar traders. Uh, trying to, 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 to catch anything on there. But tomorrow, we have seen this pattern before, right? So tomorrow, we're going to nibble at it, uh, intraday trading, day trading uh, beyond. So should we close here at 80? Anything, let me try to see here. So meaning I'm already scheming for on beyond for tomorrow expiration. So let's say, how about the 75 puts? How do they look like? 26 cents, not too bad. Yeah, the only problem is that market makers, here, here's the situation, uh, traders. So at this stage, the strike price on uh, beyond, they go by interval of $5. When you see this, it's relatively easier for option traders to, 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 to then manipulate the, the, the option because as traders, we have to pick. Either we, over, we pay more for the 80 puts which are $1.35, right? well, actually, let's say $1.21 bid, $1.30 ask, uh, you can pay for them, and then they can just tomorrow spend the entire day painting the line at 80, in which case you put in more risk and the reward is zelf. Or you can say, okay, let me pick the 75 put. You see that $5 difference in the, the, the consecutive strike price? That's too much. So you know, that's then make it tricky to trade this. So the 75 puts, yeah, they're going for 24 cents, but that will be 25 cents that could have no chance whatsoever tomorrow. So in that case, here's what we do. We realize that and we go to November 19. Yeah, because we have time. November 19 is not this Friday, but the upcoming Friday. And in that case, then we start looking for that. Again, the strike price difference will be $5, but at least we wouldn't have the problem with theta decay at, the, at those levels coming, coming sharp on us. So for me on here, the question tomorrow will be, can I buy the November 19 B1 70 put for anything less than uh, in the 30 cents range? 35 cents, 32 cents. Right now they are trading at 41 cents bid and 44 cents uh, ask. Uh, theta decay. Uh, is going to take in theta decay is 10 cents so hence tomorrow one day another day passes by theta decay is factor in so yeah if i can buy this or still trying to steal this i put an order in since expiration is next week i put an order in to say hey i want to buy these 70 puts will you kindly give them to me for 25 cents you don't mind sure market makers yeah on a misunderstanding i can get in cheaply tomorrow at 25 cents and below that's how i like to trade some of these because then because let, let's look at this chart here yeah you see this chart a prior gap down which again i mean this i mean hey come on this was a, that's fine that's fine that's on me i missed it on, on this trade there was no reason that i should not have made that extra hundred percent or so on this one because but a prior gap look at a prior gap here uh toward um the third week of october after that gap it went sideways for three days we don't want to fall victim to that so hence my uh, being so cautious with this stock just because they can really really just and they are doing that right now on paper paper is a stock that has not moved whatsoever after they drop it on earnings though well we made money on was it on monday yeah yeah we made good money we made good money we made good money on paper but my friend since then okay so it has only been 48 hours so i guess i'm being impatient on paper <laughs> dropping below 200 because the low on PayPal on Monday, was it Monday? It was Tuesday. The earnings happened after hours on Monday. So the first day we traded it was Tuesday. Uh, it put in a low of 268. Since then, we have gone sideways. But in the meantime, the lower Bollinger Band, it's opening up. So similarly, uh, November the 19th, what type of contract are we? can we get under on PayPal? Uh, just because we are just following the direction, folks. Yeah. So what's what's affordable? Oh yeah, we have, we have already taken that. Yeah, that trade. I mean, we started that 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 position. Hundred and fifty puts. I know it's aggressive, but uh, 
maybe then tomorrow I can change it to something a little bit with a bigger delta so okay 170 yeah so this thing will have five days to drop thirty dollars come on now that's doable but that's uh that's a little bit of me scheming on there because i mean on days like this one oh ba 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 yucks yucks Okay, we are stuck at 92 folks, so meaning that, okay, if I don't have any incentive, so I need to make a decision here because, let's say, it's going to, we are approaching 11 o'clock, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 o'clock Pacific, I need to walk away from this computer for a bit, yeah? <laughs> so, if there are no 100 playback, oh, and just when I say that now, we have 93. <laughs> because if there's no uh, 100 people playback on here right now, I have no incentive into staying in because my subscriber, the subscriber on our Discord, they will get their the trade alert, the successful trade alerts for next week inside of our Discord, let's say by this evening. And they can create the watch list and ready for tomorrow. So I'm trying to 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 to, to do newcomers a favors on here, but hey, we need seven more people. So the deal is 23 minutes for seven more people, otherwise. Because right now, folks, I don't, I don't see, again, I want to be wrong, but uh, this is just eating up theta, theta on everything. So for me, I'm comfortable with uh, my position on QQQ uh, for, for tomorrow. Hey, 388, it happens, it happens. If not, we shall see. Uh, so I'm comfortable closing the show in exactly 23 minutes, at least, regarding those number of playback if if between now and uh, 2 p.m eastern we get a hundred playback i'm staying on and i'm bringing you live the successful trade alert watch list uh trade alert for next for next week so that's the deal 23 minutes tell your friend i'm going to go downstairs get some uh get something else i guess whichever that i got here i got nice breakfast but uh and, and the yogurt was nice but i will be right back folks so hopefully by the time i come right back if we have uh, made significant progress on the number of uh, uh, playback, which stand currently at 93. And we have four likes. Thank you for the likes, folks. Thank you for the likes. At least that tells YouTube that uh, there's some, somebody is finding value in, in, from this content.
Okay, it's currently 1.44 Eastern Time. Okay, we are fast approaching the end of this fun experience, live day trading session on the Veterans Day, November the 18th, November the 11th, 2021. Okay, so, oh, we have seven likes. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's great. Um, 94 playbacks, folks. 15 minutes to go. So, shy of revealing the successful trade alerts, uh, watch list for next week. What can we give the good people who decided to join us today? So, we can help scan earnings for tomorrow before market open. Hmm, there are not that many. So, how will you trade the, something like this, Alex? So, AZN, over the last three months, the stock has gone higher from $58 to $63. So, this is drug manufacturer, United Kingdom. Mm. All of these earnings nowadays has been feast of famine, meaning that the way you want to trade this is take 10% up for strike price on calls. 10% up at least on strike price on puts if they are affordable and I'm gonna tell you my rule for affordability is 50 cents per contract <laughs> so ASEAN it has November the 12th expiration Oof, that's um yeah that's aggressive today the calls is this true it has earnings tomorrow and these options are so cheap oh my goodness really well i, I consider them cheap because 10 percent could be six dollars on this stock now i don't know if this stock does 10 percent on earnings but uh, the way that the, the the chart is set up so last earnings in july 20 on july 28 close at 56.81 Open at 58, but it went okay. 58, 6. So, yeah, market makers didn't know that this doesn't make that many big moves on earnings. So, hence, they're, that they are pricing them into this option. I mean, the implied volatility is high, but they don't cost anything. So, in that case, hmm, 65 calls, you can get them for 37 cents right now. So, AZN, November the 12th. 65 calls and you know you know if we, we're getting an overnight swing trade at least the traders in my discord room they know that we always hedge yeah so to that 37 cents we are going to hedge the hedgers is relatively easy for us we are going to hedge with the 60 puts they are costing you 18 cents right now so this is a trade 18 cents plus 37 cents this 55 cents for a strangle that we feel very strong for tomorrow all right so at least you got that for this stock i don't know anything about it but if you ask me i can pick 20 puts 30 calls just just like that i don't even need to look at anything this one Holy, holy moly. Depending if expiration is tomorrow or next week, 50 puts and uh, 60 calls. Okay, I just had something. A stock that was down. <laughs> that crazy stock in this market, really. Peloton was down earlier. If you may, we briefly made a mention of that. Now, Peloton was trading at $47.60. All of the while that we're wasting our time on now, uh, because yeah, that was a waste of time today, big time. On QQQ, this thing decided Peloton is now plus 1.6%. So a $4 swing, no, $2 swing, or 4%. Not bad. Not bad. 
Wow. Wow. Okay. And now NVIDIA is closing strong. So 303.40. So are they going to use NVIDIA now to actually, because now we are approaching 2 p.m. Eastern, right? 2 p.m. Eastern, the market makers, they know that they have done the dirty work, right? So option can, they have killed enough option now that if they want, look, I'm QQQ. <laughs> I can start moving now. Please, please. Okay, uh, let's see. 11 minutes. Oh, 96. Oh my goodness. These people, they want to see. <laughs> they want to see <laughs> a successful trading trade alert for next week. 96 playback. I promise that if we reach 100 by 2 p.m. Eastern time, then I'm staying on. <laughs> and <laughs> so I'm guessing. Let, let me guess. So some clever guy, <laughs> because a playback is pretty much anybody who just who can watch this. So somebody can come and but can they do that? No, because I was thinking of at least one way that people could go and increase the number of playback here on YouTube, right? We have eight likes. Okay, so another co another condition then is hundred playbacks and ten likes. <laughs> So the guy continue moving the post, right? As we come close to the post, come on, female, come on, Telex. We don't give people the what we wish at all. I just give them a trade. I give them a great cheap trade on ASEAN for 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 tomorrow. And I guarantee, well, not a guarantee. There's no guarantee in trading, right? But the, that 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 trade has that struggle has a great chance of making money for them tomorrow. But yeah, they still want, and I agree with them, they want to see the successful trade alert watch list for November the 19th, 2021. Now that's what it's all about, yeah? So for that, we need two, two more likes to, be, to reach 10 likes, and we need four more playback in nine minutes. No pressure. <laughs> and then, <laughs> well, then let's prepare the music, Telex. What type of music are you going to put on if, if the people they, 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 they get to that level? I don't know. I cannot play any music. If I play any music here on YouTube, that doesn't belong to me. YouTube's gonna ban this video from from being. Uh... <laughs> so I can only play. I don't only have successful trading music. <laughs> so. So we, we, we yeah, we, start, we started the show with this one, right? Hello, welcome to Successful Trading, where you will learn to trade options as a beginner. Bonjour, bienvenue sur Successful Trading. Successful Trading. Successful Trading. Hello, welcome to Successful Trading, where you will learn to trade options as a beginner. Bonjour, bienvenue sur Successful Trading. <laughs> uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. 152. I'm re actually, I am always prepared, right? So my car is ready direction the beach and i know yeah um uh, western digital didn't hit 58 it came close so will i be stopping by the headquarters on my way to the beach <laughs> they still have time though i cannot do that or before the end of the session because <laughs> because i love the end of the session for the time being we have seven minutes we are looking to get two more likes to get 10 likes and 100 playbacks come on people is that doable youtube Is that feasible? Is that too much to ask? What what else, what what sort of trade that there is that I can give? In the meantime, there is no trade that I can give on QQQ. QQQ is not moving. <laughs> and here, all of these that have been pretty much in stalemates. Yeah, look at this. Be one. Thanks God, we didn't take a gangster trade on this. So now we are getting wiser into, but. We need to do something different Well, for the rest of the earnings here. The earnings are going to continue, folks, until next um, the end of the month. So I can actually show you. Let me show you here while we are waiting for to get the outcome. 
so this month how many stock we still have 409 stock to declare the earnings this month so let's go through the ticker on here to give you an idea Agilin or uh, ABNB yeah ABNB it's yeah uh, herbal uh, ABNB the next common Akamai technology yeah that's um Amat AMC Amgen those are the ones that I know folks I don't know that many as you can tell right Baba oh yeah all the stock from China have not declared their earnings yet so yeah some will start next week that's going to be fun so join us next week folks starting on Monday with our pre-market analysis yeah so Baba what, what's the date for Baba Baba is always very very interesting to us or lucrative should we say we have traded one cent contract on Baba before folks and obviously trading one cent contract yeah you can't do that anytime but you talk about it when the outcome hits <laughs> give you 30 baggers <laughs> that, that's why <laughs> that's why we November 1918 for Baba big spots in five earnings oh my goodness look at this chart just over the last seven days or eight days from $25 to $41 big spots in good hubba 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 Badu, yes, it will have earnings as well. The chart is setting itself up to really go above 180. Yeah, should they start next week uh, to do that? I don't know, but uh, you will need. We need to be in the trade. Billy, 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 just like Pindudu is the name that I like to say a lot. Bumble, we saw that that was today. Uh, some of these stocks are just foreign to me. Coin, yeah. Uh, Coin didn't do anything. I've saw earnings on here. Dominion, okay, okay. Dash didn't do anything. Dupont de Mo, Triple D. It was was it yesterday? D Dog, Dell, okay. Disney. Huh, Disney actually rallied. Disney rallied from below 160, it was 158 at some point, now it's 163. Wow, something is moving in this market today. Guess we, we, we dismiss that very relatively quickly, right? <laughs> that five pump there is worth something, I guarantee you that. As a matter of fact, let me check here, just because I'm jo jokingly, I'm joking on there, but those Disney 165, for instance, I can show you that because we have seen this in the past. So the option on Disney, let's say the calls, yeah, that is, uh, we are going to go to the 160, 165 because right now the, the, the it's trading at 163.20 and reveal that the chart, ooh, there was a trade on here. The 165, meaning the, uh, the the cheapest we could have gotten them today was maybe 36 cents there about. They went to a dollar, so not bad. Hmm. I've seen better, but hey, on a day like this one, we take it. Etsy has had earnings already. What are these guys talking about that this month? Oh, this month they're showing us even the past ones. Oh, okay, okay, I know what's going on. So, Telex, your filter was not that that smart. So, you can then go custom. You can go next week. Yeah, okay. That's the best we can do. So, next week only. So, next week we have 45 stocks. So, Baba, we saw, Baidu, Billy. Pond, Pond usually moves. Pond is part of the network. Rostor. Yeah. Nvidia. Oh, oh my goodness. Nvidia is having earnings after run after a massive run since uh third week of October. What can potentially happen? Oh boy, I will be taking my chances. Mm -hmm. Down minus 20% wouldn't surprise me, folks. Or up that much for that matter. I'm not saying anything on here. Target is absolutely a trade that I want to take because I studied it recently. So let me give you the opportunity here 
and folks we're, we're 11 we're at 11 so next time that i watch the inside of that if we don't have 100 playback then i'm gonna leave you with this target option so november the 19th is it november the 19th okay november the 19th and my interest was really on the put side i wanted the 225 puts i remember studying them for an attractive price an attractive price for me is below 50 cents folks 225 okay those guys they are increasing the implied volatility meaning i need to get into them tomorrow because that's where as they come close to the earnings that's gonna help me so 51 cents beat 58 cents ask i want to get them below 50 so getting stealing them at 49 cents may be something that to consider so because the chart of target look at this thing on here it's poise it's poise for something so then on the call side i mean you have to go 280 or something right Ah, 285 they are 55 cents yeah i'm not attract, attracted to that at all so what else do you see on here so that that's it ready for the for next week so but next week we have a few candidates between targets yeah oh let's not forget about this one kss i mean i need to be trading stock like this more yeah so kss yes it will it will, it will be there i mean lucid for those who like uh, auto manufacturers from the usa versus the yeah, macy's yeah Ma lows macy's oh plenty of earnings next week look at this stock macy's folks look, do you recognize the pattern post in a fresh new high come back consolidate then bam again put it a, a new run consolidate so now it's as if the, this consolidation only lasted five days green candles so you have to expect more green candles maybe we put in a trade tomorrow for on this one Okay, so that gives you some of the ideas on here, folks, really. I mean, I could stay on here, but I'm just too tired. 97, 97 is not good enough, folks. We need it. We have, come on, come on. You see what they are doing? Just when I'm about to make the decision. We have, we needed two likes, yeah? It's 11.01 Pacific time, meaning 2 p.m. Eastern. We needed one like and three playbacks. Now, okay, so what do I do here today? <laughs> Man, come on. <laughs> I need to make a decision on here. I need to move on here. Nothing is moving, folks. Nothing is moving. Look at this. This this is stock. This is stock. This stock is stock. Pun intended. JD. Psh. But something will happen though. At the close on here, let me show you JD. At the close here, JD, what you will see is that the upper Bollinger Band will be coming down faster as you started right now. And when the start, let's say get to 84 or something, the stock will be coming, going toward that, that upper Bollinger Band. That, that's how, that's a pattern that uh, you are to know other. So folks then, come on, come on. So what does it matter to Telex that we had? Okay, we have 10 likes. Okay, so, so somebody then generated 10 likes. Okay, that's somebody who's motivated. How about the number of playback? <laughs> there are 97 playback. Go tell your friends. <laughs> yeah i have energy that's i i can con i can be i can get into my body to feel more motivated to go two more hours i've been doing this my friend since 6 a.m pacific time it's currently 11 a.m so you can understand <laughs> i don't mind doing it if there's something really of worth of something let's see how about some um, maybe okay we can close on shibu so let me close on on shibu Shibu, yeah, Shibu is <laughs> Shibu is resting. <laughs> Shibu is resting itself. So, for those who do not know, if you are catching this for the first time, I started building my position on Shibu. I currently hold sixteen million share uh, coins. <laughs> shares, sixteen million shares. You wish sixteen million coins? <laughs> That's not worth more. In case you don't know the price of Shibu, right? I just started. So. My plan, my plan of toward the rest of the year is can I build them to 200 million coins? That, that that's my plan. So this week, going, going to trying to get uh, 20 million, and um, I guess I got a great entry earlier this morning. But uh, I will set up another auto trade uh, for that. So we need three playback folks to for this show to 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 stay alive and. Uh, there is no little move there's very little movement so these guys they are playing we have been uh, below vwap for what for two hours now and refusal to go either 
lower low or to put in higher high so i mean two hours is a long time for qqq to do anything right so i'm not saying that this market cannot move after we have closed this show i'm not suggesting that it's just that for me it's awfully painful so thank you for whomever po uh, posted though uh like number 10 <laughs> but um you know what i'm doing on here right so i'm just i'm just feeling in right now <laughs> we need three more playbacks i mean if if people are interested in the successful trade alerts uh for november the 19th or somebody could say hey Telex, shouldn't you be running your computer right now to actually be ready for that it takes five minutes folks yeah and uh, if if there if is there's no rush for me to share it live by the end of this show, uh, I will just publish it later on after market close on our Discord channel, as I do every Thursday. To our for our subscribers. So this is this for newcomers, newcomers who uh, do not exist because YouTube is telling us that we only had we only we barely had hundred people. While I'm doing that, I, I just received an inquiry for, from a friend, well, a friend, everybody who writes to me on our disc, on, on my uh, direct email, is asking, I was dire directed to your site from my good friend, Heather. His father, Hamid, actually is the one who told us about you. Okay, so about that. 98, folks, we need two more. Well, I'm still, you see what I'm doing here for you, folks? I'm filling in, and messages are coming in to help me do that. So, Amir is asking, Hey Telex, I have zero background in the market and I'm absolute beginner. My question is, can I can a complete novice like myself learn to day trade by subscribing to your course? If you can provide me with some more information, I would appreciate it. Wow. A great question, Amir. So what, what do you guys think? So can a brand absolute beginner to the to, to, to trading actually learn this thing? Yeah. That's for me. I've said actually that in my teaching, my experience has been that uh, people who have no prior uh, background in trading, they are doing better. Why? Guess what? Because they don't they don't have any bad habit to break. They will know that hey, if let's say the person who's teaching them, they 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 believe in that person. They said, hey, uh, this is how you do scale exits. You start take. You don't sell all of your contract at once yet. Well, they will never have the problem that I'm hearing here over and over. Oh, I sold my contract too early. Yeah, they will just execute because they don't know any better, and that's actually better. But as far as the knowledge, so what type of information could I be sending to Mr. Amir here? Uh, first of all, I think I know who his friend's father that he's talking about. I think. So <laughs> if that's the case, then uh, <laughs> that that that's a great thing. So. I will be replying to Mr. Amir. While I'm replying to Mr. Amir, please, please, we need two more playback, right? It's uh, now 2.07 p.m. Eastern Time. So I've gone seven minutes above that time. <laughs> QQQ is not moving. 3.9160. Uh, Western Digital, not moving. Stock at uh, 57.88. JD, not moving. So <laughs> so let me reply to, 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 to this. Um, so hello my friend so i'm not being rude folks i'm replying to an inquiry from uh, ame who's asking if a brand new trader can learn day trading
we are still at 98 folks and western digital maybe i need to go to that screen it's tantalizing close you're 58 yeah it's teasing us Another rejection. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 98 <laughs> Oh boy, 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 boy IWM we spoke about is the one that's quietly just inching higher and higher. It's is actually pop above 240. Wow. All right, what should I be doing here? 215 Eastern flat markets on this live day trading session on November the 11, 2021. We have been here now for over five hours, oh, just exactly five hours, just slightly above five hours. NVDI is track is trending. So the, the recent action you may be seeing on queues because they can use NVIDIA. So over the last 45 minutes, it's definitely changed gears.
5803 bing 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 so mr rod i won't have to go and record myself embarrassing myself at western digital headquarters 5806 5807 okay folks come on now a western digital managed to go to go into the morning is anybody is anybody going to tell well somebody definitely did something there is a I think uh, there is a a trader who I played tennis with on the weekend who told whose son told somebody else about successful trading. So that's the person that uh, was uh, the email that I read live on there uh, was yeah. So yeah, all right. So that's that's good. That's good. So people are getting wind of uh, what's going on here at successful trading. I appreciate that. One step at a time helping traders go make uh, okay so now really uh, take the trading to the next level that's the sentence once you finish helping traders take the trading to the next level all right 58 13 nice consolidation on here folks patience does pay sometimes so now uh let's see can this thing give us 58 50 is the target price we are looking for and look how fast this is going so yeah so then you go into start taking some profit on here yes we are not fools yeah we take partial profit we are in the money Nothing like, oh, uh, just respecting this money and then tomorrow they being like, oh my goodness, the market got down by, no, 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 I'm no fool. So, but I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it here. I won't remember what we said, right? Our original target was that 58, 50 because the upper Bollinger Band, obviously this sideways here uh, may, may those upper Bollinger Band start coming down. But let's see on here, really. Uh, so I'm going to go to level two on Weibo to see, to see um if there there are there are buyers that, that that many buyers versus uh sellers on there so to give me an idea if we can squeeze in maybe hey why not go to 59 it's possible yeah the sell-off on qqq seems like has subsided subsided so they can they can use tesla they can use nvidia now so that could help something like Western Digital, the overall market being a little bit more bullish here to close. So the orders that I'm seeing on level two. So what I need to see on level two, I need to see on the left hand side. The, 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 the bid number 10 increasing and I need to have to see large volume on, on them. So am I seeing those two things as of now? No. Number 10 bid on the depth chart of level two is at 58 so when the price is currently i mean the price somebody got excited briefly there when they put in 58.25 right so we were expecting one big candle we haven't had one big candle so far so many if we have a candle this is a this candle here the second candle of the no it wasn't the second candle of the day this was the second candle of the day it was a one dollar candle yeah no a 50 cent candle so my bad so it goes by interval of uh, i was excited one dollar candle come on telex <laughs> so the each each interval here is 50 cents so uh yeah 50 cent candle that's not bad we haven't had it we had that at the beginning let close the day here by having maybe a couple of them yeah is that too much to ask just as is there too much to ask to have nine nine hundred <laughs> playback on this live day trading show on here folks yeah we're asking too much obviously well at least we saw $58 on now uh, on Western Digital today.
99 playback folks <laughs> no pressure no pressure is it youtube doing this or somebody really really motivated in getting the successful trading trade alerts for november the 19th on this live option trading day for memorial day memorial day jesus jesus, jesus. veteran day telex you are definitely how many times have i said memorial day it's veterans day today okay 58 15. 100 playback <laughs> okay congratulations uh, to you guys okay so 100 playback so i need to warm up i need to fire up the computer to be running that so in the meantime <laughs> we need to give <laughs> then if if i change the goal post here from 100 to 200 what's going to happen Telex, Pil don't even think about it yeah you barely had how many subscribers my wife's gonna tell me hey Telex, how many subscribers you have so you pretty much blackmail these people to give you 100 playback. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Successful Trading. That was uh, to, to mark the 100 playback and the 10 likes. Okay, so for the next, uh, I don't know how long does it take, doesn't take that long, does it? So I'm just going to be tuned to this computer on my left hand side because that computer is the one that's going to be running the successful trade alerts for November the 19th, which we will be unveiling on here live. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. Well, no pressure. I've never done this before. Inadvertently, I may have maybe in one video shown what it was, but here unveiling them live. Oof, oof, so much responsibility. Yeah, okay, so step by step, let me put the mic closer to me. Yeah, at least we are really, really thankful that uh, at least today. <laughs> uh, posted on Facebook. Uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Ibom said that the Starbucks coffee is amazing. Okay, congratulations on your Starbucks coffee from Georgia. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> okay, that's that's in Mr. Rod. Mr. Rod, Mr. Rod is a star. This show is sponsored by Mr. Rod because he's he's the the one trader that subscribed live during the show right <laughs> so he's saying i did not know what to think of the music that is how i know you are funny and fun <laughs> okay mr ibom said he mr ibom you posted what did you post on facebook <laughs> you posted this link on facebook oh mr ibom posted this face on facebook that's how people are able to come and uh, <laughs> increase the number of playback we appreciate you sir we appreciate you sir so uh, let's see then if uh uh, the good people of Facebook, they will enjoy the successful trade alert for next week. So um, it's, it takes, how long, much time is it going to take? I do not know, but uh, we have plenty of time, that much I know, to, 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 to run that program, to run that computer program and to reveal to us what we will be trading next week because that had happened on here. Now, once you get that, so let's say thanks to Mr. Ibo. Once you get that uh, watch list, uh, you will still need to know how to trade it. But that's not a problem. You join the subscription trade alerts, and then uh, you, you you we will take you step by step through that. Yeah. So all right. So let me go and uh, first thing first. I mean, I couldn't make this any live than it is. So I need to grab a list. I have a list of about a hundred stock so that I need to feed into the computer program. That's how it works. So. Um, 
that step is manual if you will but then really the rest is automated because then the computer program take those hundred stocks and then uh, study a signal a pattern that I've coded in it and uh, it spit out the one that's uh, showcasing that uh, pattern and that pattern when it comes out we know that those stocks are ready to make to make big moves the next day uh, how many how much of a big move in typically the average we show that to you here it's inside of our discord which you can join just like anybody and see the performance result or you check them on youtube as you have been posting many videos if you didn't watch yesterday 20 bagger on qqq you may want to go do that because qqq after giving a 20 bagger yesterday said uh oh i'm not willing to give those uh, those successful traders um back to back money on back to back days right so and uh, so today it has been going sideways But at least, at least, we won't be going to Western Digital Headquarters. The 52.8 calls, they are in the money. So when, when do I plan on, on selling them? So right now the bid is 62 cents, the ask is 73. Ah, there is no way I'm giving them back, let's say those 10 cents, right? So they, this is per contract. So i can i think that is a good price to sell this if it hits 58 58 50 will be 75 cents at least so that that's uh, my target sell price uh, start taking profit on those 58 calls of western digital there's still room you can see you can look at the 50 you are watching the 15 minute chart live of western digital on this live day trading uh, option trading show on November the 11th, It's only now that QQQ on the 15 minute chart is approaching the the VWAP folks. But even then, it has been it's being rejected, right? The, the last 45 minutes, as you can see on here, is being rejected at that level. That tells you the type of day uh, we have had on QQQ trying to day trade QQQ today uh, to no avail.
Tesla is moving. The last of four candles, you can see them on the left hand side, that's the chart for Tesla. On the right hand side, that's the chart for QQQ. Uh, Tesla is now testing its view up on the 15 minute chart, but the last four candles have been uh, a series of higher highs, if you will. So. Okay, so so far it's uh, the trend is still intact on uh, Western Digital. You actually, I'm not so sure. We just we're just waiting for the price to go all the way to this upper Bollinger Band. You see, it was coming down. Now it's going to slow down a little bit. So. This can, the conclusion of this candle will be in another 10 minutes. That's a possibility there, if not the next one. And as long as, and really, this is a very good example of EMA 8 yellow line you acting as supports throughout the duration of the trade. This is textbook, what it looks like, and how you can actually use a pattern like this one. Just like yesterday here, if I zoom in, so yesterday here, it's yellow line here is acting as a resistance, yeah? So the price never even tried to go there today, yeah. The price, but it's just accompanying it nicely. So remember how, um, um, the, the, so if you know uh, how to automate your trade, I'm not sure, but you can use this EMA, a combination of this EMA uh, 8 as a trailing stop. I will actually, I will be writing an article depicting that uh, this is something that I have an extensive knowledge on because I used to create computer program to do exactly that. So um, th those I, I need to share some of those things, right? It's just time, folks. A, time, a day like today, I could have been writing, but uh, I mean, instead of writing content on the website, uh, providing knowledge on here is another form of providing knowledge, right? So uh, the, the, e the EMA here, so what you could use here as um, a trailing stop will be the, the value of the EMA plus uh, a coefficient times the high minus the low of this candle, of, of the current candle that you're on. That's one, I've, I've perfected that one. I've done multiple tests with that one. It performs really, really well. So again, we'll, you say moving average, whatever, 15 minute chart is, is interval is better, 15 minute chart plus two times, well, actually in this case, yeah, plus two times, meaning instead, because the EMA can be very far from it, right? So you will put something on here. So let's see here, what's the high of this? The high of this 57.73, uh, the low is 57.32. That's a difference of 50, uh, 50 cents, right? So 50 cents, so meaning the EMA here being at 57.02. So you will have said uh, 57 and a half which in this case it will have actually it will have actually triggered a little bit I, I think it will have touched it a little bit so yeah i think it will have triggered but so uh, so ema plus yeah 50 cents 57 and a half but because here we're at 50 cents yeah but that you you, you get the idea so all you just say the ema by itself as your trading stop okay and while well, i was saying that you guys couldn't even see the rest of the chart on here all right so we are approaching 50. The bid right now is 70 cents and the ask is 80 cents. So, I mean, in the spirit of we got 100, uh, 100 people playback, 102 playback. Oh, Mr. Ibom is doing it. Uh, can you put the Discord link in the stream? Yes, I can do that. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Uh, in the past, we didn't always use to share our Discord. I That was on purpose. Nowadays, yes, you I will be providing the Discord to everybody.
And I guess you can, Mr. Ebom, you can share that on your Facebook Live if you want. Doesn't matter to me. Control V. How to get access to our Discord room. Here it is. Thank you. So let's just reset the show here. Uh, let's see. Let's wait uh, maybe uh, two minutes. Uh, no, three minutes. No, eight minutes. Uh, at 2.45, I'm we are going to reset and for newcomers into it. Currently, we are tracking... Uh, one of our loneliest tra trade under, well, I say that QQQ is definitely moving again. <laughs> now, as the, so, hey, remember the trade that's, um, Mr. Roe took, what, a squeeze of the upper Bollinger, that's the technique, that's a technique that uh, exists, right? I'm looking forward to trading with, with, with him, right? So, on the five-minute chart, a squeeze, a squeeze of the, the upper Bollinger. So he took that trade on there earlier and he made a hundred percent. You could be well be into that on there because this thing has been rejected uh, on, 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 on that. So let's see how, how that goes. So it is there. But for us, all eyes are on Western Digital 58 calls. Bid it's 70. Ask is 80 cents. The contract are up overnight by 630 percent. Could we ask? Could we kindly ask for 10 bagger on your life, folks? Yeah. So for that to happen, for that to happen, <laughs> that to happen um, we will need to gain another 37 cents. Whoa, that's, uh, that, 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 that's, yeah, so that's above a dollar. Though. So let's see. There is an hour and 20 minutes left for that to happen. No pressure, Western Digital. We count on you. Okay, for those who are joining now, now I, I am my distract my being distracted is that I am working on getting the people here what they want, what they work so hard for. They work hard into getting a hundred and two playback on here and ten likes on this live day trading session <laughs> option trading that we have gotten. And uh, I am running the program to, to, to make that available. So that's why you guys are seeing my eyes on that computer versus this other computer that's uh, or this screen that's here versus this other screen that's here.
all right i just fed the computer with the data and <laughs> it takes this computer what did it even run it took the computer 1.8 seconds folks to run <laughs> to, to run the data uh, the, uh, is this serious Western Digital, 58 calls, the bid is 75 cents, the ask is 91. Okay, okay, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, so 106 playback. All right, Mr. Ibom, he's our chief marketing officer now. So that bid of 75 is what we, 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 we were targeting, right? So we reached that, so this being in the money, so the ask is 71, so that's the ongoing price. You don't want to sell things cheaply uh, when you're in control as a the, the the seller on here oh so yeah it just picked oh my goodness it just picked at 50 58 51 briefly on there so let's see it really really need now to start pushing pinching against that so uh, upper bollinger band so in that case i think we could be able to sell this contract for one dollar so uh one more candle all right let's see here Okay, I put in a sell order, a limit order at one dollars and five cents for my fifty-eight calls on Western Digital. I, if let's say there is a spike above fifty-eight fifty, uh, then I want that to be filled. I, those guys they play hardball on them because the spread right now seventy-nine cents bid, ninety-two cents ask. So, but I'm I'm used to this. I've seen them them do that many times. We're in the money, so we play hardball as well. All right, so I have the stocks. So from the computer, the computer was super fast. Yeah? So the next step will be for me here to pick strike price for that. Into those strike price, I'm using um, E-Trade. So I'm going to create a watch list in Power E-Trade. So after I've written down the stocks, I'm the, from there. So let's say we should have the unveiling of that watch list in exactly 30 minutes or so. So meaning, let's say, um 12 15 pacific time or 3 15 eastern time is the unveiling of the live day trading 
Trade alerts for successful trading. All right, I'm excited. All right, let's see what the computer has. Wow, we have 20 stocks. The usual suspect. So, wow, wow, wow. This is, uh, this is going to be a tough one. I need to squeeze a 20 stock inside of that. So, inside of that, so watch list. Typically, we, we have 18, 16 or so about. So, we have a little bit more today. So, hey i guess uh, th those are the usual suspect meaning that they they especially the text one so the 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 a big move is coming because right now we are in no man's land so they and this list will be actionable starting tomorrow yeah so that's uh why for us we like to publish is on here so now i'm going to just go inside of my uh, uh, power e-trade accounts and uh generate create that watch list that process takes uh 15 20 minutes there about so I may be quiet here for a bit, but that's what's occupying me, just so that you know. And there are videos on YouTube, how to create a watch list of options. If you are using Power E-Trade, we made those videos many, many months ago. If you are using um, TD Ameritrade, that's something that uh, I think most of you, you are used to now. And recently we made videos on how to create a watch list on... Um, on Weibo, on a watch list of option, yeah, yeah, because uh, how to create a watch list of option on Weibo. I mean, 41 views, I don't know how many. There was a starter actually from a trader inside of our Discord who, who a beginner trader who wanted that piece of information. So, uh, QQQ got rejected again, and oh lord, now it is finding its way down. <laughs> So at this stage, when QQQ is doing this, folks, I'm not taking my chance in being greedy with Western Digital. I'm going to go right now and say, okay, uh, please, would you give me 800%? <laughs> so I'm closing them at uh, 86, 86 cents, 87 cents is the bid, 92 cents is the ask, so 94 cents is the ask. So, I am thankful for the trade. 
because this is where madness begins right so when when you see qqq this is a five minute chart granted but so i just violently dropping like that <laughs> we 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 do not want to 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 be giving back money but actually while that's happening believe it or not western digital actually 90 bid that's my alarm to go check um finvis while that's happening actually 90 bid 91 cents bid one dollar and two cents ask 58.56 on um not too bad not too bad we got we got ours out at uh, 80, 80, 89 so you can get a little bit more money on it right now but so uh, don't ask me to go complain to the corporate uh, center right <laughs> we got we got what we wanted out of this thing uh, everything is beautiful when a plan works i mean it can still go higher but first oh the reason why we're taking profit on this because for those who do not know we have a strategy here called friday no Wahala where this stock is front and center so yeah yeah okay back to creating the watch list for november the 19th
Wow, let's say 3.03 p.m. Eastern Time, live day trading on successful trading on uh, Veteran Day, November the 11th, 2021. Uh, we have spent the entire day, ladies and gentlemen, on here live for just to see a less than $2 move on Q QQ. That's what the chart, the 15 minute chart you are looking at here on the right hand side. Yes, Pacific. We closed the position recently, making good money on here on Western Digital, the 58 calls. Uh, QS, we gave you the 40, 39 calls on there, so they picked a while back. So if you're taking profit on that, congratulations. FCX moves a little, uh, not a little bit, greatly, if you were able from the get-go to follow that trend on there. So what else was on here for us? Uh... To take advantage to today live day trading here uh not really much else around for those so i'm currently uh building the watch list that we will be trading here a successful trading for next week because we know one week ahead of time what we will be trading i'm so excited folks i'm going to reveal that watch list shortly on here live with you guys but every single stock that i have my eye on the computer is showing that so meaning i could not myself pick a better watch list that which than the computer is giving us so uh, next week is expiration week obviously opex for monthly and weekly so we know that by itself brings a lot of shenanigans to the stock market so that's curious a chart that we are showing you on there but let's stay on here to see how we are going to close on here you see qqq folks from the get-go for me the trade that so we took here was the 388 put expiring tomorrow because of this rejection on here so it has respected that throughout so and uh, this thing has just been vacillating really one two point not less than two points folks really uh here so let's see here in the close at the closing uh, stage on here on this um veterans day uh, 2021 if they are going to take it lower so we have some on that i'm finishing the, the watch list and i will unveil it live to you with some a uh, bonus commentary right because we i used to make a video of uh, for the subscribers where i'm describing the the the, the live day the, the the successful trade alerts and um we're able, i mean for just for the sake of time that's we don't do that anymore but you guys are going to have the prime owner of getting that today on here uh going to see if i can create a live room to your discord okay why would you want to create a live room on my discord oh a live room on the discord or uh, to be able to broadcast for meta looking for cheap calls for tomorrow i want on qqq Okay, we will, we, I will be talking about that. I'm not sure. I don't know about the live room. So, yeah, Facebook now known as Meta. <laughs> well, what, 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 what that means. But, yeah, welcome to the Discord. I wasn't looking at the Discord as I'm occupied finishing the watch list. But, I mean, if you are in Mr. Ebom, you got, you know more than I know with uh, the Meta. What's... Uh, so let me just say hello to you here welcome mr ibon thank you for everything that you are doing because i am not I, I don't know of anything but since we stuck around folks now we have a hundred and eleven and hundred and thirteen playback so maybe 200 is not far fetched <laughs> all right uh yeah western digital i mean the the spread the spread the bid is 87 cents if you're still holding those 58 calls expiring tomorrow and the ask is one dollar so and the most recent trade was 96 cents or 860 percent compared to yesterday close not too shabby yeah so for me let me not let me not miss uh the one that i had here so we just did uh, so the next guy is this one.
All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, 3.15 Eastern Time. We are, we are, we are, we are live here. Day trading options on successful trading. And I am glad that you stuck around, folks. Thank you for indulging us on this uh, holiday. QQQ looking for target of 398.18 tomorrow. 398.18. You mean 388.18, sir? Uh, so if you are able to, to stock with uh, that uh, Western Digital Trade, folks, yeah, you are getting your dollar because the bid right now is 97 cents. The ask is a dollar or five. So you definitely congratulations. 900 percent. That's a 10 bagger overnight trade on uh, Western Digital 58 calls. OK, OK. So what I need to do, I need to do to do to do do. Um, I need to do what? I need to move this screen here, so pardon me for a bit, and bring in the successful trade alert watch list for next week. Uh, put that inside of uh, our Discord, and then share our Discord channel, and uh, we will be ready to go. So I see somebody say, see, 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 somebody saying something. There are so many things, so many distractions. Well, I don't know if that distraction, but so somebody's writing to me. F Mark is writing me live, which. Okay, <laughs> no. <laughs> so that, that, that's something else there. So print screen on here. I'm just doing a screen capture. Uh, I'm sure I had to leave some out. I have to leave some some of these out. So some of the alert out because there are only so many I can fit on there. But I will share every single one of them. And typically, if I leave something out, that's the one that's going to come and start rolling. But at least we will know that as well. So let me grab this. So we are going to say copy. We got that. Then go to the Discord and go to subscription trade alert and there i'm going to say at stenberger's trading system uh november november the 19th expiration uh the note that we have on here is that uh baba baidu jd uh they have earnings so they have earnings this week that's the only thing we need to know. Um, let's go paste this and say, voila. Okay, fantastic, that's done. And then we can go back and say, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so what is QQQ doing? It's three QQs going, just going through a bunch of shenanigans really. So that's what it is doing. So it is prerogative, it can do that. And for us, it's our prerogative to share with you, drum roll, t two minutes late <laughs> compared to our previously scheduled time. So I need to switch screen on here because you guys are seeing the wrong, well, the wrong screen. There's no such thing as the wrong screen. You're just seeing a screen. So the screen that we want to share is inside of our Discord. So, I mean, I I'm revealing everything today, today here, right? So this is the channel where you when you subscribe you will be able to enjoy this is just one strategy out of five folks right so know, know that for those who are out there saying hey how many strategy does telex have so without any further ado should we put the music again to just make mr rod smile <laughs> yes let, let's put the music on let's put the music on so <laughs> without any further ado the november 19 2021 successful trade alert watch list are coming upon you after this <laughs> After this, uh, how many seconds is this? This is 30, 30 seconds of uh, this recording. Do we watch the French re the French version? No, <laughs> just. Hello, welcome to Successful Trading. So everybody, this is, oops, 
uh, the next, what you need to do. Okay, so you are able to see, yeah, because I'm seeing that on my control screen, November the 19th expiration, option expiration. So again, how do we trade this? You need to get that video on YouTube. That's your assignment because this doesn't mean that we trade everything that's on this list. So how to trade that? If you wanted the list, it's up to you to do the homework. The video on how to do that is free on YouTube. I will actually post that video in the live chat on here. So we have, how many stocks do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, not too bad. The first thing on here is, hey folks, guess what? This is no uh, $16 contract trading of the, of the <laughs> No, I'm laughing at that because the trader <laughs> tell me story. But hey, if you are still holding the Western Digital calls, folks, you are being rewarded. You are getting more out of it. Bid is $1, ask is $1.09. Not too shabby, right? Clean 10 bagger, no, 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 no question asked. Congratulations. So, um, yes, so the, 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 this is the current price on them. So what time will be, has time will be passing by, this price will get, tend, tend to vary. So this is the screen capture as I uploaded this into this watch list. And how long does it take to create this watch list? I, I, you almost witnessed me doing that live. It takes 15 minutes to do that in power e trade. Same time of am amount of time will take you to do that on Webull. Yes, there is a video on how to create a watch list of option. That's different, option on, on uh, Webull, and you know how to do that if you have TDA Trade. I'm not sure if the Hooders, Robin Hood traders, they, 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 they can do that, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. If you are still trading with Robin Hood right now, come, come, come close to the camera. Really? No. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, option, the options here are very affordable. That's one, nothing, it's above $1 here, the contract. The one that are actually close to $1, is because of earnings. Baba had earnings next week, we know that, so we will be all over that one uh, before and after, yeah. Baidu has earnings, and JD also has earnings. So actually, JD is relatively affordable here, if you ask me, but you can see that by the implied volatility rank, which is really high. The, the meaning, the higher the implied volatility rank, the more expensive the stock. Look at this one, Target, which I say that I like, right? I really, really like Target puts. I don't know why, but. They seem a bit expensive on here. So we can scalp them going into the earnings and maybe take them off before, after we made some money on that. That's a great technique that uh, Mr. Stack uh, has used there recently for some of the newcomers on here. So what's uh, what's what's the deal here? What's the highlights on here? Pretty much, pretty much everything that we like the, the, so for next week is in here. The stock from China, absolutely must trade. So tomorrow, uh, because I think it's the 18, the 18, 19, the 8, 17, 18, so we have time. But tomorrow at the close, I think I will be getting some position, some cheap position, maybe not this strike on the stock from China for those who are in this court room. So I will sh 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 uh, definitely share my overnight swing trade on there. So um, what else is to say on here? So let's see, let me just scroll here so that you guys can view the entire list. What's happening here? I'm not sure why I cannot share that entirely. So be, uh, for whatever reason. So uh, the, oops. After Square, we do have uh, targets, uh, Twitter and Win. Oh yeah, I'm excited about Win, folks. Uh, I, I was expect, I thought they had earnings, but I don't know when their earnings are, but Win Win has been sitting alone doing nothing. So definitely we expect something to happen on there. In terms of, um, let's say this, this option on here, what, what else can I share with you here? So I can uh, sort this list from cheapest to lowest, yeah, to see which one has. So let me do that on there. Oh yeah, MU hasn't been moving much. So MU, uh, 75 is resistance. So for us on here, we are picking uh, 77 calls, $2 up on there. If it reverses, 71 puts is what we are tracking it with. So the strangle, it's uh, for 77 cents. I like it. I like my chances a lot. If let's say, but I mean between now and tomorrow, Theta DK will take in, right? So that's actually one of the cheapest one on here. Uh, who else is cheap? Twitter, and PayPal is getting cheaper by the minute because PayPal hasn't been moving, but a big move is coming on on PayPal. So I really, really like this watch list. So who was here that we didn't put on? Uh, D, the ticker is D. 
uh, it's and uh, HD D and HD are the two stock that we didn't put on here. Uh, I think I picked Qualcomm. Did I pick Qualcomm? Qualcomm. I didn't pick Qualcomm. Okay, shame on me. So Qualcomm D and HD are the one that we couldn't squeeze on here. So Qualcomm has been on fire and Microsoft. Okay, so D HD Qualcomm and Microsoft that you can add in there and I, I will actually add them manually um yeah on, on inside of, of there such so that hey the list you can just scroll on so that's it folks this is the reveal of the live reveal day trading of options for next week yeah you can see that the all show expiration on november the 19th we know ahead of time our computer tells us ahead of time what we will be trading and uh, you were treated to that here today on this show so oops 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 let's see something happened i'm sharing the wrong screen why would this thing not uh okay so the screen that I, i'm still sharing the discord screen i wanted to okay uh maybe this thing is finicky like this so let's go to our friend look at this <laughs> look at this one one dollar eight bid and one dollar fifteen ask Con congratulations to everybody <laughs> congratulations wow perfect 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 they trade on here on 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 this one just follow along Okay, finally, this thing is giving us. Okay, so th this is this is what I was sharing while you guys could not see. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Yeah. So for all of the people who were here today, so one of the learning it's hard to recognize a bullish trend. You are looking at a bullish trend on there. The entry on here was from the get go uh, above Iwa posting high highs and support being the yellow line at it never never back down from it. So. Here we caught you a little bit here during this time here, how to stay in that trade. And then we predicted 58.50 and uh, profit taking started uh, around the, the, those levels. So that's really, 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 really a great trade there for us. 124 playback. Let's go to 200. Win, win earning, uh, looking for target 398. Mr. Ron is saying win was, was Tuesday. Win was Tuesday. Win. When is the stock? W-Y-N-N was Tuesday. Earnings. Oh, oh, the earnings are Tuesday. Oh, oh, the earnings are past. Oh, okay. I missed that then. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So it didn't, didn't move then that much. Because with these earnings, easy for me to, to, to guess. Yeah, when, when was Tuesday? Seems as if that, that was the, 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 the earnings. So it didn't move at all. Oh, that's a shame. Let's go to the daily charts here. Yeah, we are on the daily charts. Not quite. This is the daily chart of win. Jeez, there is no telling that earnings is an, an earning actually take, took place. Well, it got here from yeah. Okay, on Wednesday then it traded from 92 to 98. Oops, we missed it. <laughs> we missed it. So so now then, uh, the computer is alerting us on it. So that's going to be interesting. That would be a good one. That will be a good one. So let me see the nature of the alert on wind. Oh yeah, that's that, that, that will be interesting. That Yeah, so wind earnings was on Tuesday here and then this is gap down and then went to 98, then came back up. I don't know if, if how they, they paid, but uh, 58 calls on Western Digital, 104 bid, $1.17 ask. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, I need not to forget about the Friday Noah Hala. But where am I going to take my Friday Noah Hala? All of the Friday Noah Hala run today. Well, they like that may. Why can they not run back to back days? At least they are moving, right? So that would be interesting what I will be sharing with um, the, the subscribers on the... So folks, any questions, any, oh yeah, I need to post the video, how to use the subscription trade alerts because now you guys have that. So, so the video is right here. Uh, 
or is it or is it or is it I need to go find that video here we go I will recognize that video because at least that thumbnail I made it it yeah the 30 minute video where I'm going to bore you about repeating the same thing Uh -huh, to use this successful trading three dollars which I just gave you so tell your friends that they are part of this video right okay what else 125 playbacks not too bad so for tomorrow it's i mean qqq i mean they they are spending their entire day doing nothing 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 here's the daily chart of qqq so for tomorrow uh geez they can gap up again tomorrow because that's what they do right so they can gap up but that doesn't mean anything just like we gap up to today but uh ended up going nowhere so that's not an indication of what potential will happen so in that case uh, is it worth taking an overnight swing trade? Maybe not. Because then that will save us on Theta Decay. In case it doesn't move at all. But then what are we setting up? What are we setting up as a swing trade? Uh, for me, really, I think I'm still insisting on Snap. So, yeah. Snap is still a, a trade overnight swing trade on here for tomorrow. Let's say PayPal's finally going down a little bit. Yeah, so I mean, Western Digital is putting in a show it has not put in in a long, long time in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> I just had to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say. So yeah, the, the, the only thing left on here, so um, 28 minutes to the close, you know that QQQ, IWM, they have an extra 15 minutes. They close at the option, the option, not the stock, the option for those close at 4.15 Eastern time every single day, including expiration date. So that's why I'm, I'm jokingly laughing about Robinhood because in Robinhood, for instance, you cannot trade those past um, 3 p.m. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me, please. But that's what our, our traders have told me. Right? Meaning in that case, that will preclude them from taking advantage of some of the 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 the. the clever strategies that we have here on QQQ, which we teach as part of our thin bagger trading system. All right, so let's see while you guys do, 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 bring in more, more, more people. Thank you, Mr. Ivan. Oh my goodness, 126 playback. Thank you, thank you. I need to go give the subscribe successful trading discord, um, which that's uh, the await at the <laughs>
have some powerful people who have some like this powerful sense. Yes, it's very expensive and some exercise talk of course I have a
Okay, so folks, uh, let's see. How about now? Testing, testing, testing. Is the Mac back on? Or is the Mac just going to finish uh, as bad as, let's say, uh, QQQ did today for us? <laughs> Okay, is this one is this one where it's picking it up? Is the volume back up guys? Otherwise we will just sign off here, right? Because there is no need to To, to be sharing something that uh, you guys cannot take value on. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rod. Okay, so yeah, I mean, for for me, I was even rather a uh, ready to 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 jump off, right? I mean. In 15 minutes, yeah, they can do a lot of things on on QQQ in 15 minutes. Just uh, if it was a uh, closing day, um, expiration day, yes, I will definitely uh, be looking for that. Now, I mean, that move, the move on here, if they want to close the gap, they can to just close it below 390. So.
139 playback so far wow nice 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 folks uh what are they doing with qqq nothing much the same old same old western digital 968 put 98 cents a dollar and six cents ask uh good trade under we gave you the watch list for tomorrow oh i need to post the video on how to use the successful trader that i posted that video on there so as the sound was a little bit recalcitrant as is usually the case on here yeah we cannot do a live day trading session on here without having any type of uh, technical glitches so i'm just so glad so glad so glad and uh, really really <laughs> appreciative of the fact that uh, they waited until the end for the gremlins uh, to, to come in because i didn't move from here right so i was just speaking and uh, all of a sudden they decided that hey it was time for those things to 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 drop so um, uh, we we have the, the 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 stock that we shared for tomorrow swing trades ready. Um, the name of the game tomorrow on a Friday expiration. Be patient. Risk as less as possible, and you saw that it's possible to ride a trend, a nice trend like this one on Western Digital today. Uh, oh my goodness! Look what's happening with uh, QS or QS like this one though this one was a little bit erratic here because i mean this is two hours almost three hours of no nothing and then this thing is waking up so the 40 calls there are of interest one once again so for us we will be looking forward to tomorrow watching the queues and um if you stick around late tomorrow between 3 3 30 p.m and 4 p.m uh in outside our discord yeah we will be sharing uh the late strategy that we employ on expiration day on the queue so looking forward to 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 many of you in our discord room and uh, uh day trading swing trading live trading <laughs> uh to 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 make money and take opportunity uh, take these opportunities that the market is providing to take uh, your trading account to the next level any question that anybody may have right now it would be a good time to bring them forward before we depart. Uh, let's the thoughts on QQQ remain the same. So let, let's once again showcase here, folks, what some um, what we said on QQQ at the beginning of the day. Let me remove the the split screen and go to a single one on here. So QQQ, we gapped up this morning. We gapped three points up, right? Yet we could not. It could not sustain. This is Tesla. That's not what we want. But Tesla will be helping QQ tomorrow. So we got up yesterday and we could not sustain that that that, that momentum. So um whatever happens tomorrow, the only difference will be that for me I'm still bearish. We are closing. Why am I bearish? Why why is my um, analysis bearish? It's not me, it's the chart set showing that we closed still below the exponential moving average 20. So that and you can see its inclination maybe it's my eyes Are you okay but um, may i suggest that the slope of the ema actually just stick a little bit just a slightly bit down yeah downwards right so that we put pressure into tomorrow 
a test of 388 it's still upcoming so should 388 uh, fail then the the green line EMA 20 we talked about that 385.50 is that target so uh, depending on how many option um, the market makers they have to pay out tomorrow they can play call early in the session um, trying just like they did today just like they did last Friday right we showed you the chart for last Friday it was a laughter for the three, first three hours yes so we are not out of the wood uh, from them doing that again so the Friday the 5th look at it here and then briefly did something but it should that be the case I mean all our stock here and there because not everything is controlled by uh, SPX 500 other stock that, that can have something but if they do that early we just back off actually we, we don't we didn't do anything today we just back off and then wait 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 until late the first 30 minutes yes there is money to be made in the first 30 minutes so uh, join our discord and uh, we will be exchanging those ideas with you tomorrow hopefully this helps No problem, you're welcome, sir. I should be thanking you, right? Uh, remember how we were saying 100 playback? Where are all of these people coming from now? <laughs> so, I guess Meta, <laughs> Meta Meta has some power in, in, in there. Well, for people who has uh, who have great influence well, uh, such as yourself. So, yeah, 142 playback. Let's close to, well, the market's going to be closing in three minutes, so... Um, I don't know, but knowing them, maybe, maybe here, look, look at after hours, for those who are wondering about after hours, so the market going to be closing in three minutes, right, but QQQ options, you can trade them all the way to 4.15 Eastern time, so let me bring after hours on here, I right click and say uh, I want all the way to extended hours to actually see what they do in the in the, the the next 15 minutes on here hey we did the entire day folks we have been here doing live day trading since they say go at 9 30 eastern today it's currently approaching three minutes to 4 p.m eastern on veterans day veterans day to x uh, 2021 and uh, this is my homage right so i have the the fatigue, <laughs> well, they call them fatigue or camouflage. What's the difference between the two? <laughs> or camouflage is that because of a French word? No, but fatigue is also, I think the French would say camouflage <laughs> versus fatigue. So, yeah, so I, I could stand, I could stand and show my, my the next show, show the, the bottom of your the fatigue as well. <laughs> so, where's the camera? Where, where's the camera? You, you, you are wearing. You're matching the, the, the fatigue all, all the way. And now you're going to show the shoes. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So really, uh, we, we, we thank you, everybody. We thank Mr. Ron, who, <laughs> who was very appreciative of my uh, my tidbits of humor here and there. Uh, we didn't have that. I mean, good. Uh, it was good. It was okay. It wasn't as good as yesterday. Yesterday was uh, a better training session, but we had some 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 wins on here today, and uh, more to come tomorrow. So uh, again, uh, FCX X Western Digital, the 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 subscribers in the trailer, they know that already. 
and Western Digital is just going ballistic right now. Yeah, somebody just won this thing. Look at this thing, folks. Yeah. So, but they they maintain the bid at one dollar and the ask at one twenty four. So, that well, uh, that's uh, that's a close right there. Fifteen, almost fifty nine dollars. So, for the Gansa trade traders, uh, the calls, the sixty calls that they had, uh, could be making money on here actually before before tomorrow let's hope they keep it up so what are they doing with qqq are they dumping it after hours let's see here we're just just gonna wait maybe a couple of minutes after really i i need to get uh, um, some water in me and uh, take a shower though i didn't trade puts today <laughs> there's a private joke here about puts trading puts are getting uh, get, feeling dirty about it so uh, <laughs> I actually haven't seen the guy who, the, the trader who said that in a bit, so, uh, what, what's his name? So, so uh, he, he's, he's part of our Discord room, he's, 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 he's a funny guy. So, we, we're looking forward, um, we're looking forward to, to trading that. So, alright, so 1pm. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern, and here is the first minutes of after hours on QQQ. Not sure what they are doing, but really, in any case, at this stage, is one of those that you say, I'm not interested. <laughs> no, I'm not interested, but I wish that you guys have to offer you in, enough of a, a sideways action like that. So, officially, we close at 390.59, well, a couple of dollars well below the starting price today. So that's almost the low of the day. The low of the day was officially 390.24. The high of the day, 392.75. So the ATR for this thing today was $2.50. Yes, folks, $2.51. Not too shabby. Yeah, needless to say, not that many opportunities to make money on, on here. I mean, the after hours, 390.63, they are keeping it as lame as uh, the, live, uh, the live trading session. It's all right. It's all right. We cannot uh, win them all on this on every and every day, but for it's the consistency that uh, we are after, right? So one last time, thank you, thank you, everybody, and um, we are looking forward to seeing you in Discord.